The plot of this film is purely fictitious. Please do not take it seriously, and please do not imitate it. Any similarity is purely coincidental. Thank you for your support. Your likes and subscriptions are the motivation for my updates. Chapter 1 About the fact that I changed my job and became a god. I cannot be reconciled. Su Chen roared and got up from the bed. Two sparrows playing on the windowsill were scared away. In front of him is a small room of about 30 square meters. The old windowsill sheds rays of sunlight and scatters on the quilt. Ha <laughs> ha. The only sound in the room was the fan. The old fan slowly shook its head and blew cool breeze. Here it is. My room? Seeing the mobile phone on the bedside. Su Chen immediately picked it up and looked at the date. January 1st. 2301. Am I born again? Su Chen fell into memories. On January 1st. 2300. A 100% realistic new world was released. Which became a hit all over the world as soon as it was released. But that's not 100% realism at all. But a real world. Soon after the game comes to reality. The real world becomes chaos. Su Chen did not play the game for the first time at that time. But played the game a year later. Fortunately. His gaming talent was pretty good. With his own efforts. After the game came to reality. He became a mercenary. And at least had the ability to protect himself. Not long ago. He was completing a task for an employer. The task entrusted by the employer is just a large-scale task. And the strongest Valkyrie in mankind is also participating in the task. He only needs to be responsible for cleaning up the miscellaneous soldiers with others. I thought it would be an easy mission. But in the end, I faced an army of the undead god. The last scene he remembered was that the Valkyrie burned her life to seriously injure the god of the undead. And the true blood of the god of the undead splashed onto him from the sky. Thinking of this, Su Chen suddenly remembered something. Look at your arm. What he remembered clearly was that the true blood of the god of the undead splashed onto his wound, causing him to scream in pain. At this moment, it was obvious to see a black energy wandering around his arm like a coiled dragon. When Su Chen raised his hand, the black energy was still coming out. This is too scary. Su Chen swallowed. He decided to wash his face and wake up first. The person in the mirror looked very young and even had a childish look on his face. He looked like a pretty boy with thin skin and tender flesh. How is it like when I became a mercenary and was exposed to wind and sun for a long time? So I became dark and had many scars. Looking at the pretty boy in front of him, Su Chin was still a little uncomfortable. The top priority now is to enter the game. But why is it not reborn on the day the game is launched? But one year after the game has been running? Su Chin felt helpless when he thought of this. He has also read the internet. According to the routine, Shouldn't he be reborn until the game server is launched? And then use foresight to gain the upper hand along the way? The game is already a year old, and most of the good stuff has been taken away. Moreover, he was one year behind others in level equipment. And the gap in combat effectiveness was huge. Even if he knew that some good things were coming out, he would not be able to compete for them. Maybe it's because I was a one-year underachiever in my previous life. So the time to respawn is not the eve of the game. But the time you enter the game? Su Chen directly booked a game cabin online. It was already a year after the game was played. And the price of the game cabin has dropped again and again. Game cabin sold for 500,000 to 600,000 units on the black market when the server was launched. And only exceeded 10,000 units during the double 11 event. It has also launched a lower end gaming helmet. And you can play New World for two to $3,000. In the previous life, Su Chen also bought a helmet to test the waters because it was cheap during activities. After washing up, I had something to eat. At the same time, he didn't forget to find a bandage to wrap his arm around so as not to scare the delivery man. It's like a ghost hand. Don't go in and check directly to change the job to a ghost hand. Seeing that he was like a seal, Su Chen was very happy. New World is divided into ordinary job transfer and talent job transfer. For example, some people with excellent swordsmanship changed their profession to sword master after entering the game. And science geeks also changed their profession to alchemist after entering the game. Generally speaking, the more powerful you are in real life, the more powerful you can be in the game. Soon, the game cabin arrived. Enter the new world. The background light and shadows slowly dim. Su Chen frowned. Remembering that it wasn't like this when entering the game for the first time? Scanning. Seeing this line of writing. Su Chen waited slowly. In his previous life, he had an ordinary job transfer and didn't have high hopes. 
Currently unlockable profession. God of the undead. Do you want to change professions? Good guy. Am I a boss? Because he has fused the blood of the god of the undead. Can he directly transfer to the god of the undead? This is too outrageous. Yes, yes, yes. But Su Chen didn't hesitate at all. Create character successfully. Please enter character name. Luo Chiu. Su Chen didn't hesitate. This was the name he had given in his previous life. No duplication in name detection. Birth points are being randomly assigned. The location is Banyu Town. Transmitting. 109.8. 10 seconds later. Banyu Town developed on the same trajectory as my previous life. Su Chen closed his eyes and felt everything around him carefully. The sound of flowing streams. The fragrant smell of earth. And the coolness of the breeze. This is the real world. Look. There is a narcissist there. He probably bought a helmet for $29.99 and was so excited. Husband. Let's go level up and ignore this fool. A couple passes by. Su Chen was happy to hear it. But he didn't care too much about those people. What he said is correct. We are already a year behind and we have to work hard to catch up. Checked his own panel. Player, Luo Chiu. Occupation, God of the Dead. Grade 1. HP, 630. MP, 588. Strength, 18. Intelligence, 25. Stamina, 16. Spirit, 28. Physical Defense, 101. Magic Defense, 156. Inherited Skill, Summon Ordinary Skeleton Soldiers. Su Chen? The basic panel of the profession of the god of the undead is quite high. And the level 1 panels of ordinary professions are in single digits. But what kind of rubbish is this inherited skill? It just summons ordinary skeleton soldiers? Ordinary necromancers can summon ordinary skeleton soldiers. And they also have skills such as strengthening and weakening curses. The god of the undead is at the level of a true god. Is this what a true god is? Su Chen patiently checked the inherited skill. Summon ordinary skeleton soldiers. The initial summon is 1 million ordinary skeleton soldiers. The level is the same as the summoner's current level. It can be consumed and upgraded. The upgrade condition is to consume 1 million skeleton soldiers. And the next level is 1 million heavy skeleton soldiers. Bullfrog is indeed the god of the dead. Su Chen's expression changed, and he praised the profession of the god of the undead endlessly. Who said this skill is a rubbish skill? Who cares? Chapter 2 I summoned millions of skeleton soldiers. But I couldn't upgrade. However, the conditions for skill promotion made Su Chen feel a little outrageous. It actually takes millions of skeleton soldiers to advance in skill level. What is the concept of 1 million? With 10,000 soldiers, the army is boundless. With 100,000 soldiers, it reaches the sky. All in all, a bit outrageous. I didn't stay in the town longer. So I went to find monsters first to try the effect. There are not many people in the wild monster area outside the town. After all, this game has been around for more than a year. There are many newbies. But the world is also very big. If the game is divided, at least it won't be crowded with people like when the game server is launched. The outermost ones are monsters, like little pheasants and little rabbits. Su Chen didn't stop too much. Su Chen walked directly towards the higher level monster area. Isn't that person also a newbie? I even said that I should invite him into the group to farm monsters together. Maybe it's a scenery party. That's right. Let's get to level 10 first and switch to a life occupation. The game atmosphere in the novice area is still very harmonious. The really irritable players are the combat players. And those irritable players entered the game early. Nowadays, most of the new players entering the game are still casual players or have heard that new career is very profitable. And being a daily life player can be considered a side job. There are also fighting enthusiasts. But they are usually students who are qualified to play games or workers who are new to society. The suburbs of Banyu Town are very vast. And gradually, there are not many people around. After making sure that no one was around, Su Chen stopped. There was a resting brown bear in front of him. And it became Su Chen's first target. Fallen creatures? Hear my will. Su Chen opened his skill bar and activated the skill. The summons is instantaneous. As for the second line, Su Chen added it himself. Suddenly bursts of black energy emitted from Su Chen's body. The black energy slowly sank. And the black energy slowly formed a circle. A bottomless passage was opened from the ground. Can you freely set the number of summons? Let's start with a hundred. Su Chen waved his hand. Crunch. Crunch. The black energy dissipated. Revealing bones and skeletons one after another. These skeletons are not a single type of soldier. 
There are those with long swords, those with swords and shields, those with bows and arrows, those with spears, and those with staffs. However, these equipment are very rudimentary. They were basically bone swords, bone knives, bone bows, etc., as if they were weapons refined from their own local materials. I randomly checked the attributes of a skeleton swordsman. Name, skeleton swordsman. Level, level 1. Limit, limit of life, 500. Maximum strength, 80. Strength, 13. Agility, 2. Spirit, 1. Endurance, 20. Movement speed, 10. Attack, attack speed, 10. Skills, heavy attack. Parry and counter attack. Heavy hit, charge up one hit. Causing double damage. Parry and counter attack, after successfully blocking. You can automatically perform a counter attack. In addition to the swordsman, Su Chen looked at the archers again. The attributes are similar. In short, speed is the weak point. After all, skeletons. The archer also has two skills. One is three consecutive shots, and the other is bone crushing arrows. Both increase damage. Apart from this, the same is true for other skeleton arms. With two very basic professional skills. Overall, it's not bad. After all, there are millions of them. After trying it, these skeleton soldiers can operate by themselves. And they can also attack by themselves. Whoosh. Su Chin first ordered the long-range skeleton archers to attack the resting brown bear. Ouch. He was hit by an arrow in the back. And the brown bear howled in pain. After it discovered the group of skeleton soldiers behind it, it immediately roared and rushed over. Boom. The skeleton shield fighter stepped forward and withstood the brown bear's attack. Then the swordsman, spears, and other melee output units behind them directly surrounded and controlled the brown bear. The archer, mage, and long-range skeleton behind also threw various skills at it. This brown bear is a level 6 ordinary monster. Even if there are all level 1 skeleton soldiers here, it cannot withstand the siege of hundreds of skeleton soldiers. The brown bear fell to the ground. Ding. Player Luo Chio gained 0.0001 experience. Level up experience bonus is 0.00005. Sucha nodded. This experience is really good. Etc. 0.0001? Suchin suddenly reacted and noticed something was wrong. Even if you kill a level 1 chicken, you still get about 10 points of experience. Right? What is a brown bear with only 0.0001? It stands to reason that a brown bear that jumps to level 6 should have 100 experience points. What is 0.0001 divided by 100? After Su Chin calculated on the computer, he finally got a number. 1 million. So, a strange experience is divided into 1 million units? Su Chin was dumbfounded. Originally, Su Chin thought that the consumption of skeleton soldiers could be slowed down a little. After all, the number of 1 million was too large, and it would make too much noise to consume it all at once. He could also use the millions of tool skeleton soldiers to level up first. Plans cannot keep up with changes. If he didn't use up all the millions of skeleton soldiers, he estimated that it would take several months to reach level 2. Broken. I have become a tool. I originally thought that it would be a good thing to summon a skeleton with the same level as myself. But my balls are so good now. Equivalent to their levels, they are all achieved by practicing on their own. You can't use the teleportation array until level 10. The carriages in Banyu Town just wait for merchants. If you travel by yourself, it will take at least half a month to reach the next area. Su Chin sighed a little. How can we consume millions of skeleton soldiers in the novice area of Banyu Town? Broken Bearskin. Bear Claw. I haven't learned how to decompose monsters yet. But with the help of a few skeleton swordsmen with long swords, I can decompose them quickly. No explosive equipment. The explosion rate of New World is relatively low. Which is normal. He casually put away the skeleton soldiers. This skill is a heritage skill. It has no cooldown and does not consume mana. It costs a fixed one million. One for each. So Su Chin gradually developed the habit of taking things back casually. Just like closing the door casually. Now Su Chin has no intention of fighting monsters anymore. Beating a bear by leapfrogging will only give you 0.0001 experience points. Who can withstand this? Killing 100,000 bears is equivalent to killing one chicken. Just go and pull monsters for me. And I'll kill them in seconds with just one skill. As I was walking, I suddenly heard a rough voice. What? After taking our money? We still want to attract monsters. That is, I won't take the buzz. Please give me your money back. 
Su Chen looked over and saw a high-level character and a few novices. Some people who are not doing well just like to make money as a beginner. This phenomenon is very common. The key point is that some of them are thugs, but don't have the consciousness to be thugs. There are often new bosses who are bad-mouthed. They even take money from the new boss and refuse to do anything. So they directly block or delete them and run away. In Chapter 3, I played red without adding any sin points. Hey, if you don't take the bus, you can get a refund. If you're not satisfied, you can open a red PK for me. The high-level player chuckled. I don't want the money anymore. I'm going to the forum to hang you up. One of the newcomers also has a temper. You are free to hang up if you want. But I can remind you that I am just idle. When you come out with novice protection, I may guard you. The high-level player said nonchalantly. You? After hearing this, the newcomer had no choice but to admit his defeat and leave. Those who can spend money to ride in the car in front of them are in a class with pretty good real wages. This kind of people are obvious scoundrels. Since he also practiced in Banyu Town in his previous life, Su Chen still had an impression of the people in front of him. I remember his name was Sui Feng Lai. Su Chen had never been in his car. But he had also threatened her. This man is a scoundrel who hangs out in Half Moon Town. Everyone. I didn't cheat him out of money. It was him who said he didn't want to take the bus anymore. Sui Feng smiled. Other newcomers who paid money also dared to be angry, but dared not speak out. But at this time Sui Feng spotted Su Chen, who was watching not far away, and walked directly towards Su Chen. After discovering that Su Chen didn't turn on the screen recording, Sui Feng stopped arguing with Su Chen. If you dare to say these things everywhere, you know the consequences. Get out. Sui Feng said to Su Chen and went back. After being scolded by Sui Feng, Su Chen was not angry. Instead he smiled. I am worried about how to consume millions of skeleton soldiers. I am so sleepy that I give him a pillow. There are many such high-level players in Banyu Town who come to make some new money. And most of these high-level players have a bad reputation. Despite Sui Feng's bad attitude, compared to many people who cheat money, this is pretty good. After all, many of the people who come here are people who have been eliminated by the big echelon, who is a normal old player who doesn't level up for a day and hangs out in this newcomer area. Su Chen memorized the coordinates and then ran away as if he was frightened by Sui Feng. Seeing Su Chen's fear of herself, Sui Feng felt an inexplicable sense of satisfaction. He is also an old player, but he is so bad that even those with good development at the same level can treat him like a dog. Seeing these new people, his fear of himself brought back his lost self-esteem. Regaining glory belongs to yes. After a while, those bosses who have clearly paid money are running around working as coolies for Sui Feng Liguai. Like an old man, Sui Feng took out a recliner from his backpack, leaned on it, and waited for someone to pull the monsters over and slash them one by one. Haven't you eaten? It's so slow to attract monsters. Seeing that the speed of attracting monsters was not fast, Sui Feng cursed. He did this on purpose. He just wanted to scold these newcomers away. In this way, even if they left on their own, he didn't cheat money. Several skeletons slowly appeared in front of him. Sui Feng frowned and raised his hand to kill him with a knife. Although he has reached level 65 and has not yet had his second turn, the second turn is unlocked at level 60. He is still at level 65 here after all. And the first level skeleton soldiers are killing him randomly. After a while, there were more skeleton soldiers. This time there were 20 or 30. Sui Feng got up and made a sweeping sweep, destroying them all. Who the H? L keeps dragging skeletons here? Sui Feng finally couldn't bear it anymore and roared angrily. New players around. You look at me. I look at you. Crunch. Crunch. Before Sui Feng could find the culprit. Skeleton monsters kept surrounding him. Call out. Call out. Call out. The archer with the longest range directly focused his fire and killed the confused novice player in seconds. What's going on? I've been in Banyu Town for so long and I've never seen so many skeleton monsters. Sui Feng also knew something was wrong at this time. If you pull monsters, you won't be able to get so many monsters. Sui Feng raised his sword and launched an attack directly at the place where the monsters gathered the most. Sweep. Bladestorm. A level 1 skeleton soldier was hit by such an attack and was instantly killed. Suddenly more than a hundred skeleton soldiers fell apart. Two consecutive skills also consumed Sui Feng's mana. But the gap of more than a hundred skeleton soldiers was immediately filled by the skeleton soldiers behind. Minus 1. Minus 2. Minus 1. Minus 1. Minus 1. At the same time, 
Dense attacks also hit him. There are reductions for the level difference. But one drop of blood is still lost. Su Chen, who was watching from a distance, also saw it. There is actually no force blood deducting mechanism in New World. After all, this is the real world. If there is a force blood deducting mechanism, players will be able to win as long as they have a health bar. And these skeletons can give a guaranteed blood deduction. Presumably because they have something to do with the god of the undead. After all, as a true god, there are differences between the skeletons summoned by ordinary necromancers. Suifeng attacked again and killed more than a hundred skeleton soldiers. But because he penetrated deep into the skeleton soldiers, he was also beaten by a group of skeleton soldiers and lost more than a hundred points of blood. He was originally weak in skills and couldn't dodge. So he basically relied on his level attributes to forcefully slash. How can I kill all these skeletons? After Suifeng killed more than a hundred skeletons, he found that they were immediately replaced. And as time dragged on, more and more skeleton soldiers surrounded the place. View. This is a reconnaissance skill. It originally had a more advanced eagle eye. But Sui Feng didn't. It's okay if you don't look at it. But you'll be shocked when you look at it. The endless black skeleton soldiers are approaching. Is this a stab at the skull nest? Although he is more than 30,000 HP, he will definitely not be able to defeat him if he continues to be consumed like this. If you die once, you will lose 50% of the total experience of the current level. And there is also a chance of dropping non-soulbound equipment. Sui Feng couldn't afford such a loss. The experience of leveling up was 50%. And even going to the advanced area to level up would take several days. Run! Sui Feng made this decision immediately. When Sui Feng was about to escape, the skeleton soldiers who were originally not very aggressive suddenly became violent. Surrounded in the direction of Sui Feng's breakout. Brutal collision. Violent. As soon as the Sui Feng skill was activated, he ran directly in the direction of the town. Skeletons like these would not dare to go there if there were guards in the town. The number of skeleton soldiers killed by Sui Feng is increasing rapidly. 300, 500, 1000, 2000, 3000. But his blood volume also dropped rapidly. 30,000, 10,000, 5000, 3000, 1000, 500, 300. After Sui Feng chopped down more than 5,000 skeletons, his blood volume bottomed out. Su Chen was speechless. Originally, he released 30,000 skeletons and hoped that Sui Feng would wipe them all out. Is this the result? Su Chen checked his dashboard to see if his sin value had increased. As a result, not only did the sin points not increase, but a few tenths of experience was gained. It seems that the judgment method for this profession is different. The god of the undead does not seem to be settled according to the player camp or even the human camp. Su Chen fell into deep thought. After all, killing players can also gain experience, which is not something players can do. Chapter 4 Copy It turns out to be so simple. Walking over to take a look, Su Chen found a sword on the ground. This guy actually exploded his weapons. Su Chen smiled, then picked it up and looked at it. Wolf bestows long sword. Type, long sword. Level requirement, 50. Strength plus 280. Effect. Each attack increases attack speed. Up to 20 layers. Equipment is divided into ordinary bronze, silver, gold, dark gold, epic legends, mythical artifacts, and holy weapons. No wonder they want to rip off newcomers' money. They are still using level 50 silver weapons after they are over level 60. And the game has been running for a year. Such low-level silver weapons are not worth anything at all. Although it was not very valuable. Su Chen still put it in his backpack. Su Chen waved his hand and took back all the skeleton soldiers. Since these skeleton soldiers are considered separate units, not only are their experience points and even their kills considered their own, then it seems very simple to consume them. Su Chen thought of a way. Monster siege the city. There are often monster siege activities in the game. As long as you let the skeleton army disguise as monsters and attack the city, won't it be easily consumed? I'm so smart! Su Chen gave a thumbs up for his IQ. After consuming the skeleton soldiers, you can keep one skeleton soldier to ensure that the next wave of millions of skeleton soldiers will not spawn. Equivalent to upgrading. You only need to distribute it to one of the skeleton soldiers. Upgrading one person is equivalent to upgrading millions of skeleton soldiers together. So in order to speed up the upgrade, we are not in a hurry to attack the city now. But first get a set of equipment. Su Chen quickly formulated a plan. Half Moon Town Resurrection Point. 
When Sui Feng comes out of the resurrection point, everyone is blind. He thought this was outrageous. Except for the mines far away in Banyu Town. There are no skeletons anywhere else. The skeletons in the mine don't look like this either. Although they are all skeletons. I feel that these skeletons are larger and look more textured. MD. My weapons have been exploded. How can I lead people? Then, Sui Feng discovered that his weapon had been exploded. No matter. Post this on the forum and see if you can get some clicks and make some money. Sui Feng just took a few pictures before hanging up. Soon, he posted about it on the forum. Break things water. It really amused me. I was killed by a level 1 skeleton at level 65. And I was told that there was something fishy about it. This person is just trying to trick newbies in half a month. And he is probably trying to cheat again. Although there were replies to the post. Only a few people gave him a thumbs up. And the post went silent. Su Chin directly found Banyu Town. The most difficult copy. Ruined Dungeon. Level Limit. Level 110. Please select the difficulty. Normal Level. Warrior Level. King Level. H. L. Level. Since the equipment explosion rate of the dungeon is obviously higher than that of wild monsters. The dungeon has more restrictions. For example. In order to restrict veterans from bringing newcomers to the dungeon to explode things. Many dungeons have a level cap. Without thinking too much. Su Chin directly chose the H. L level. Hell level has the highest explosion rate. And in addition to its own equipment, it also has rare materials. But the difficulty is also very difficult. Even if a level 10 player has full technical equipment, it will still be very difficult for them to survive hell. After selecting the H, L version, a name also appeared. Record holder, cool tone. 8 minutes and 51 seconds. Su Chen still has an impression of this person. He is currently one of the top 3 archer professions. And he will also be a strong player after the game comes. Su Chin was a little hesitant whether he should break this record. The record holder of a copy can obtain certain attribute bonuses. However, your ID will be announced to the world at that time. Moreover, the game system of New World is full of malice. And there is no option to hide the ID in the world announcement. Either you don't want it, or if you want it, you must go to the world announcement. Who is the creator of this game system is still a mystery in later generations. Many experts have analyzed it, but have not come up with any results. In short, judging from the various behaviors of this game producer, he has great malice in letting humans enter the game. Su Chen's plan was to equip himself with the best equipment first, so that he could quickly upgrade even when there were no skeleton soldiers. If you slowed down to keep from breaking the record, you will waste a lot of time. And this time I escaped. As for the next dungeon, the ugly daughter-in-law will always have to meet her parents-in-law. Do not care. Su Chen entered the copy directly. The surrounding area is dilapidated. With ruins and debris everywhere. This is the dilapidated underground city. Let's test the waters with 10,000 skeleton soldiers first. Su Chen waved his hand. Suddenly, dense numbers of skeleton soldiers appeared in the underground city. In this dungeon, there are many rat men in front of you. The Skaven's combat effectiveness isn't great. But they are numerous. But their number was completely overwhelmed by the skeleton soldiers at this time. Some ratmen still want to use their own speed to swim around. But the originally spacious hall has turned into a crowd of skeletons, leaving little room for movement. Before the ratman could take advantage of his advantage, he was directly killed by slashing in a chaotic battle. Still not fast enough. Another 50,000. Seeing the effectiveness of 10,000 skeleton soldiers, Su Chen summoned another 50,000 skeleton soldiers. The leader of the ratmen, Boss, just came out to see the situation and was bombarded with all kinds of attacks. Even though it has high health, it still falls like running water. Even players over level 60 can't handle it, let alone a level 12 Ratman boss. The Rat boss fell and a pair of shoes exploded. Shoes of Storm Rage. Type, shoes. Level requirement, 10. Agility plus 20. Effect, speed plus 10 when running. It's not bad. It's enough to get a Silver Storm Rage suit and a gold weapon. Su Chen nodded. Next. Go directly inside. Basically. It was pushed sideways all the way. Originally. The will of the wisp born here was quite troublesome. Because it floated in the air. Although it is not purely immune to physical attacks. When it appears and disappears. The damage will be greatly reduced when it is invisible. And it cannot even react to the invisibility. If you want to pass this dungeon. The will of the wisp is a very difficult existence to deal with. It will appear from time to time to mess with you. And then, it will be pseudo-invincible most of the time. Even if one is cleared. 
others will appear immediately, regardless of whether it's good or not. It's the typical high-pitched and crispy type. When Su Chen played this dungeon before, he was also very uncomfortable, let alone H, L level. Even at the king level, it takes 20 or 30 minutes. The main thing is to guard against these will-o'-the-wisps coming out for sneak attacks. But now, the will-o'-the-wisp dropped a skeleton instantly, and before it had time to become invisible, dense attacks had already landed on it. It's useless even to be invisible. The dense barrage attacks directly kill a fragile little guy like Willow with high attack speed. Chapter 5 Sorry. I wasn't upright. Soon, Su Chen came to the door of the second boss. Originally, this door needed to be opened using a mechanism. Su Chen also knew where the hidden mechanism was. But, boom, 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 under the dense attack of tens of thousands of skeleton soldiers, the door was knocked to the ground in less than 10 seconds. A sleeping stone giant slowly wakes up. Who disturbs my sleep? The stone giant spoke human words with a deep voice. But what answered it was a dense rain of arrows and magic barges. Minus 8. Minus 10. Minus 9. Minus 7. Minus 6. The stone giant's defense is very high. But no matter how high it is, can players with over 60 levels have high attributes? Even skeleton soldiers like high-level players can kill it. Let alone it. It seems that as long as there is a health bar, the skeleton soldiers can kill you. How dare you hurt me? This tiny skeleton. The stone giant was also angry. Although a single skeleton can hurt Gua Sha, the damage to tens of thousands of skeletons will be terrible. Even if there are too many close combatants to squeeze in, there are a lot of long-range skeletons. The stone giant lifted a huge boulder and threw it towards the sea of skeletons. Suddenly a large group of skeletons were killed. But the skeletons don't know what fear is at all. They are fear itself. In their eyes, they only saw Su Chen's instructions. This game itself is a real world. If it were still the era of graphics cards, this sea of skeletons would destroy the graphics card. The stone giant threw rocks at him and punched him in various ways. Although each attack can take away a piece of skeleton. But the skeleton sees seem to be eating it alive and not giving it any rest at all. Boom! Finally, the stone giant could no longer hold on and fell to the ground. Su Chen touched it. This time, there was only some base currency and nothing else. But this is normal. This is not the first kill. It is impossible to increase the explosion rate. It is considered lucky to be the first to get a silver equipment. He didn't plan to rely on luck to explode the equipment. And he just used efficient sweeps over and over again. After the stone giant died, a passage opened. Lead to the final boss. The passage was relatively small. So Su Chen put away the skeletons. Anyway, these skeletons are instant and don't consume mana. The passage is not long. Soon I saw a circular platform. There is a knight on the platform, holding a spear in his hand and riding a war horse. Fallen knight. Human. Are you the only one to challenge me? The knight stared at Su Chen with a pair of dark red eyes. And a buzzing sound came from under his armor. Name, Cock. Title, Fallen Knight. Level 10. HP, 3000. Level Gold Boss. Skill Unknown. You have my respect, and we will start again when you are ready. Fallen Knight Cock did not attack Su Chen immediately, but waited where he was. Although it is unknown, Su Chen still understands Cock's skills very well. However, it doesn't seem to matter whether you understand it or not. Right? If you can lie flat, there is no need to show off your operations based on the so-called foresight. If there are many people, Cock will be the first to attack and destroy the passage before they can go down the passage. There are a lot of spikes under the stage. And players will be instantly killed if they fall. If you run slower or your balance is not good enough, you will fall down and be killed. Facing Cock alone. Cock will wait until you are on the stage before attacking. Su Chen didn't go any further. When Cock was about to speak, Su Chen waved his hand. The stage is not very big. So just 20,000 skeleton soldiers. Then Su Chen directly summoned 20,000 skeleton soldiers on the stage. Originally, Cock was still concentrating with his eyes closed, waiting for the other party to come to the stage and have a fair one-on-one. -on -one. But who knew? Skeletons suddenly appeared like a tide. Unprepared, it was pushed off the stage by a large number of skeletons. Drop onto the spikes below. Minus 1,300. A huge injury appeared on Cock's head. And the most critical thing is that it has no point of focus under the control of the spikes and is trapped. The skeleton that also fell has been instantly killed. But the long-range skeleton soldiers on the stage are attacking Cock. At this time, Su Chen suddenly had a bold idea. 
He tried to command a thousand skeleton soldiers and jumped down. A thousand skeleton soldiers were instantly killed. Hold the grass. This really works. Su Chen's face was happy. He seems to have found a bug that can quickly consume skeleton soldiers. Then another thousand skeleton soldiers jumped down and were killed again. Just when Su Chen was planning to have a big one, he suddenly heard a reminder. Ding. The faith value of all your believers in you is minus one. And the current faith value is 99. Su Chen was startled when he heard this. Although the game system did not prompt the consequences of declining faith, Su Chen did not dare to take risks. Su Chen immediately put away his bold ideas and became honest. It seems that letting them obviously die will reduce their faith value. Although Sui Feng had killed many skeleton soldiers before, they felt that they were defeatable targets. No matter how high the price is, you can at least fight. It seems that the delivery must be planned and reasonable. Despicable human being. I thought you were a rare upright and respectable being among human beings. At this time. Cock roared below. Only then did Su Chen remember that he was still fighting the boss. He took a look and saw that the opponent didn't have much health left. Be honest with yourself. Under Su Chen's instructions, the Skeleton Legion increased their firepower. The boss's health dropped a little faster. Ah! Mean! Following Cock's scream, Cock on the spikes became silent. This boss shouldn't be pushed down. Su Chen looked at Cock below. Fortunately, it showed that there was no explosive equipment. Otherwise Su Chen would have had to jump down and pick it up again. It was at this time. World announcement. Congratulations to player Luo Chio for breaking the broken dungeon record with a time of 3 minutes and 50 seconds. What is supposed to come has come. But this is not reality. And reality cannot be found in the game. Su Chen finally felt the malice of the game maker. He had never been on any ranking list before. But he was not confused about this. After all, it was all the boss's business. This is actually because they don't like anyone hiding their development. Game makers like to see lively scenes of players fighting among themselves. Ding. Get BUFFF. Dungeon Recorder, Magic Attack increased by 1%. A percentage increasing buff that does not occupy any grid. It's just a buff for a low level copy, which is still very good. Chapter 6 I. Su Chen. Am not cheating. The World Channel was also shocked by this news. This record has been gathering dust for nearly a year. Who is so obsessed with it? Could it be that some master deleted the account and created a new account? And plans to enter those records again? The cold tone has already been rebuilt once. Otherwise his skills would not only rank in the top three in the archer profession. He definitely has the ability to stabilize the first place. But the gap in level has been rebuilt. I don't think it's possible for any great player to rebuild it. It's been a year and the cost of rebuilding is huge. Could it be some newcomer's monster? Impossible. It's five minutes faster than the cool tone record. I don't even dare to think how he did it. Please send me a video to learn more. Same request. I don't know what profession the boss is. Everyone speculated who this mysterious figure was. Breaking the record is not scary. But beating the opponent by five minutes is scary. This is equivalent to two people playing table tennis. One side is the world champion. But the other side first beat the world champion with his right hand. And then with his left hand. Just barely using my feet. Of course, the cold tone record is not necessarily the limit. After all, there are many real masters who are busy leveling at level 10 and do not really delve into playing methods to break the record. But no matter what, Cool Colors can be considered a first-rate master. Sunset Guild The elite group of the Sunset Guild had just conquered a dungeon. And now everyone was dividing the spoils and rewarding them based on their merits. Brother Lang's skills have become more and more sophisticated recently. If Brother Lang hadn't made the boss sluggish by breaking the defense with several consecutive arrows just now, we would have been wiped out again. Before the strategy for Sad Ruins came out, we could be considered successful in pioneering the wasteland. Haha. Uh -huh. Why don't you find a pub to celebrate this moment? Everyone in the elite group was chatting happily at this time. There's nothing to be happy about. We didn't get the first pass. The cool tone person, who was complimented by everyone also said modestly at this time. Okay. Laoling. Don't be humble. If you hadn't deleted your account and retrained, I don't think the top shooter now might be your opponent. Thing you, the president of Sunset Guild, also said with a smile at this time. For Thing you, Cool Color is the number one master in the guild. If Cool Color hadn't deleted his account and started over again, he might not have been Cool Color's opponent. However, the position of president is not determined by whoever is more powerful. For a master who pursues extremes like Lung Hu, he may not be willing to be the president. 
in order to pursue the ultimate attribute panel. Cold Color directly deleted his own account after learning that the dungeon record holder can increase attributes. Not every master can do it. When playing a dungeon, everyone turns off the world chat to avoid distractions. At this time, chat is also opened. World Announcement Congratulations to player Luo Chio for breaking the broken dungeon record with a time of 3 minutes and 50 seconds. Opening Lightning Strike Loudling If I remember correctly, he must be 5 minutes ahead of you. Right? Then you smacked his mouth twice. I was bragging about cool colors just now. But I was immediately slapped in the face. 5 minutes and 0 1 seconds to be exact. His cold-toned eyes narrowed slightly, and he corrected. Because he knows that every second faster than the record is a huge improvement. Thing you also nodded. When I get back later, I'll have someone check the recent top players to see if any of their accounts have been deleted. Then you frowned. The cold colors went back and refreshed a lot of records. If the other party went for those records, the cold colors would suffer heavy losses. There is no need to check the top players. Just those top players can beat me for 5 minutes and 0 1 seconds. And the opponent can beat me for 5 minutes. Which proves that this is the first time the opponent has started to set the record he said coldly. In his opinion, the opponent still has room to improve for at least 30 seconds. This is a bit difficult to handle. Then you shook his head, feeling a little helpless. What you up to? The cold tone looked at Feng Yu, his face expressionless. If it weren't for someone from those top guilds, then I wouldn't let him destroy the record you worked so hard to create. Then you suddenly showed a harmless smile, to put it selfishly. You are the strongest combat power of our guild. If you let him go this time, your strength will drop a lot. Although Feng Yu smiled harmlessly, Leng Wei knew that Feng Yu could really do such a thing. Can't. The tone of the cold tone is very soft. But the eyes are firm. Is it not okay? Feng Yu's smile faded. And his eyes became a little sharp. But the next second, Feng Yu showed a harmless smile. Since you don't agree, there is nothing we can do. Considering the other party's strength, it seems that we cannot afford to offend him when he grows up. He glanced at Feng Yu with a cold tone. If you want your guild to become stronger, you can try to win over him. I don't think those top players will delete their accounts and practice again. He should be a talented individual. The cold tone expressed his judgment. But when Lingyu spoke, he had already seen what phone you was operating. What you said makes sense. But he didn't turn on friend verification. It turns out that when he was talking in a cold tone, then you had already tried to hit friends. In this case, let a few people go to Banyu Town to see if they can talk to him. Thing you made the decision happily. The same scene was also played out in several other major guilds. Several major guilds have shown interest in such an unexpected master. But if you want to wait for the other party to grow up, it will be too long. They had worked hard for a year to level up and spent money to get to where they were now. If you want to catch up to the first step, no matter how talented you are, it will take you two or three years. So the major guilds paid attention. But they didn't have much desire. They just sent people to make contact casually. World Announcement Congratulations to player Luo Chio for breaking the broken dungeon record with a time of 3 minutes and 38 seconds. World Announcement Congratulations to player Luo Chio for breaking the broken dungeon record with a time of 3 minutes and 30 seconds. World Announcement Congratulations to player Luo Chio for breaking the broken dungeon record with a time of 3 minutes and 13 seconds. Su Chen kept brushing the copy. And he disliked the slow speed and kept adding skeleton soldiers. In this way, the world announcement has become a record of the time Su Chen spent brushing his books. The players were all stunned. Aren't you unable to enter the dungeon after reaching level 10? Why has he not reached level 10 yet after grinding for so long? Ridiculous. He was almost within 3 minutes. If it weren't for the fact that this game couldn't be cheated, I would have thought he was just a cheater. How could people be so outrageous? At least it shouldn't be. Chapter 7 As the God of the Undead It is normal to attack a city. Right? World Announcement Congratulations to player Luo Chio for breaking the broken dungeon record with a time of 2 minutes and 59 seconds. World Announcement Congratulations to player Luo Chio for breaking the broken dungeon record with a time of 2 minutes and 50 seconds. As Su Chen continued to break the record, it didn't stop until it was within 3 minutes, and it was still improving. Finally, even those guilds couldn't stand it any longer. Sledgehammer this time you go to him in person and promise him our guild's top training resources. Then you immediately asked someone to do this. He wanted to get rid of the player named Luo Chio before because he was grabbing cold tone attributes. And he would continue to grab them in the future. Cool Colors didn't let him do this. 
Although he was the president, he knew that cool colors had principles. To do it forcefully, the cold tone even gave up everything in the guild and quit the membership. Recruiting him felt that it would be okay as soon as he thought about it. But now it seems that this matter must be taken seriously. With such ability, as long as he is willing to sign a contract with the guild, then the guild's resources will be used to train him and he will be able to reach at least the level of a first-class master in less than a year. Of course, necessary assessments are necessary. After all, I only see his records now. What if it's a trick? No matter what, he will not lose money. If it is parallel import, he will not sign the contract, and no one will lose. A promise is a promise. And you don't have to pay taxes when you brag. Ruined dungeon. Fallen night cock. No part of his body is blank and there are skeleton soldiers crawling all over his body. Although he would take away a batch every time he slashed in the air, the skeleton soldiers could not be defeated at all, and its health volume was visibly declining. After this fight, almost 100,000 skeleton soldiers have been consumed, and there are still 900,000 left. Suchin sighed. The younger brothers under him are too strong, which is also a worry. As the god-chosen skeleton soldiers, they actually have the ability to force a minimum blood deduction. Otherwise, Cock would be able to kill more skeleton soldiers. Storm Sword. Type, Weapon. Level Requirement, 10. Strength plus 15. Agility plus 15. Effect, there is a certain chance of increasing the movement speed when attacking. Storm, can be released actively. Movement speed plus 15%. Attack speed plus 15%. Agility plus 15%. In this way, the Storm Rage suit is completely acquired. Picked up the weapon on the ground. Just as Suchin was about to go out, he discovered that there was a ring next to the sword. Ring of Courage. Type, Jewelry. Level Requirement, None. Crit plus 30. Effect. Critical hit damage increased by 15%. If this thing explodes, there is no need to continue to grind this copy. Suchin directly put on the Ring of Courage. This ring is quite valuable. It is only available in this level 10 dungeon. If it exceeds this level, it cannot be obtained. There are many rich people who buy this explosive ring at a high price. Especially some professions that take extreme critical hits. The market price of this kind of low-level special jewelry is more expensive than high-end jewelry. Even if the practical value is not as good, the output is low. Things are rare and valuable. Make a copy. Suchin sorted out the harvest of this wave of wool. In addition to the Storm Rage suit, there are two good skill books. Wither, chant for one second causing the target to reduce its movement speed by 90% and its defense ability by 50% for a short period of time. Blade. Slashing comes with sword energy attack. Lasting 10 seconds. According to common sense in the game, mages cannot equip weapons such as swords, and warriors cannot learn magic. But Suchin found that he had no limitations at all. He could equip anything and learn anything. This is normal. His profession is God. Have you ever heard that gods cannot use martial arts or magic? So to be precise, he is neither a magic profession nor a physical profession. He is just an ordinary god. I have to upgrade quickly now. I can't use the teleportation array until I reach level 10. And I can't get advanced dungeons. Su Chen looked in the direction of Banyu Town. Monster siege the city. No. Skeleton soldiers should be called to attack the city. This should be enough for summoning. Su Chen found a vast plain. This was the first time that Su Chen summoned them all together and suddenly black mist filled the plain. Some cows and horses grazing on the plain sensed the danger contained in the black mist, and they were so frightened that they wished they didn't have eight legs. The black mist slowly dissipated, revealing all skeleton soldiers holding various weapons in their hands. This scene is very spectacular, with endless skeleton soldiers, but their positions are stable and rigorous. In front are the skeleton soldiers holding shields, behind the shield soldiers are the spear soldiers, and the sword soldiers are on the flanks, Preparing to cut in. Other long-range skeleton soldiers with various bows. Arrows and magic are at the rear. This is clearly a heroic army with strict military discipline. Target Banyu Town. For the glory of the undead. Su Qing gave an order. And countless skeleton soldiers raised their weapons in response. At the same time, Su Qing was also observing the reminder messages and found no reminder of a decrease in faith value. It should be said that as long as the skeleton soldiers are not deliberately sent for meaningless purposes, it should not be affected. The 900,000 skeleton soldiers were huge, and after gathering together, the aura of the undead became strong and condensed into the sky, turning into clouds of black mist. From a distance, 
It looked like there was some big terror approaching Banyu Town. Phew. We'll be at level 6 soon. If we work harder, we'll be able to switch to a life occupation at level 10 soon. It was all thanks to your efforts that you found this place to spawn monsters. Fortunately, you didn't bring that newbie into the group before. Yes, who knew it would be great to have one less person to share the experience if we encounter this place where monsters are spawned. The two players said with a smile. Huh? What do you think that big black cloud is? Maybe it's going to rain? The two of them stared at each other for a while. And finally realized something was wrong. Skeleton soldiers? Oh my god. You can't see the skeleton soldiers at the edge. Hold the grass and return to the city quickly. There are guards in the town. When the two saw it, they were so frightened that they ran away. The same scene kept happening around Banyu Town. In order to quickly consume the skeletons, Suchin had already deployed the formation when approaching Banyu Town. In an encircling manner, they directly surrounded Banyu Town. Whoosh! Before anyone in Banyu Town could react, the skeleton army took the lead. World announcement, Banyu Town was attacked by the army of the god of the undead, triggering a special event to guard Banyu Town and Banyu Town entered a combat state. Players in this town cannot go offline, the player's offline character is still in the game, and cannot leave through the teleportation array. Please work hard to defend Half Moon Town, and get the debuff gaze of the dead god if you fail. Chapter 8, The Army is Approaching the City. What kind of divine battle is this? A man holding a sledgehammer appeared in Banyu Town. It can be seen from his sophisticated equipment that he is an advanced player, and unlike Sui Fong, a high-level player with tattered equipment. The equipment on this person exudes a faint brilliance. And it doesn't look ordinary at first glance. Really? Am I not busy all day? I have to be sent to recruit new people. Sledgehammer said with some complaints. His ID is Sledgehammer. He likes weapons like Sledgehammer very much. So he chose this name. At this moment, he was being sent by the president of the Sunset Guild to recruit the newcomer, who had set a new record for cool colors. Yes, there is a high probability that he is a newcomer. Before he came, the president had already asked people to ask. Those big guys who could keep the cold tone records far away were busy with their own affairs. And no one was missing. But he is really awesome. Breaking the record of the guy with cold tones who retrained his account. He was sent here because he is one of the guild managers. If the other party during the contract negotiation requires some conditions. He has certain authority to make decisions. Sledgehammer walked out of the teleportation array and felt that the surroundings were in chaos. The guards of Banyu Town formed a team on the street, as if they were going out to fight. The players did not level up outside and hid back in the town. Sledgehammer frowned. Just when he was about to find a player to ask about the situation, he heard the world announcement. World announcement. Banyu Town was attacked by the army of the god of the undead, triggering a special event to guard Banyu Town. And Banyu Town entered a combat state. Players in this town cannot go offline. The player's offline character is still in the game and cannot leave through the teleportation array. Please work hard to defend Half Moon Town, and get the debuff gaze of the dead god if you fail. What's the situation? Attacked by god? People were dumbfounded when they heard Sledgehammer. This Banyu Town is a novice town. How can he to be attacked by gods? Holding the grass? I really can't go back. Sledgehammer immediately ran back to use the teleportation array, but found that the teleportation array could not be used. That debuff can be viewed. Gaze of the undead god, your damage to the undead is reduced by 30%, and the undead's damage to you is increased by 30% duration until you defeat the undead god. Who am I messing with? The sledgehammer was so angry that he just smashed the ground with the sledgehammer, making a hole in the floor of the town. The soldiers around him glanced at the sledgehammer, saying that if it was leveled, he would be fined. But now they couldn't care less. The endless skeleton soldiers outside surrounded Banyu Town and they had no time to deal with this guy. And it seems that this guy is not easy to mess with. Some players around were also shocked by Sledgehammer's actions. Sledgehammer glanced around and saw that there were still many players. And there were also many high-level players. He also knew that there were some veteran players in the novice town who couldn't get along and made novice money. That person seemed to be a professional player who had entered the top 20. Unexpectedly, he was also trapped here. Sledgehammer still has a certain reputation and was confused by some veterans. Why are you guys watching me? This debuff is basically permanent. If you don't want to be punished, just follow me out and do it. Sledgehammer said angrily when he saw that those people around him were still in the mood to talk about him. To remove the debuff, you need to defeat the god of the undead. That's a god. Can he defeat him? 
But what I don't know is, will gods be involved in this siege? At the same time, the outside world also exploded. What's going on? Isn't Banyu Town just a novice village? Why would the god of the undead be so crazy about attacking a novice town? Hold the grass. Banyu Town is still the town where I was born. If it weren't for the failure penalty, I would have wanted to teleport back to protect it. I just tried it. And the teleportation array in Banyu Town has been closed. There was no mention of reward. Only punishment. I was not far from Banyu Town and didn't even want to go there. Is there anyone in Banyu Town who can start a live broadcast? Plus one. That was a battle of gods. And Banyu Town would be destroyed before it even started airing. It didn't say that the god of the undead would participate. Just that his army would. Banyu Town is really lively today. First there is a fierce man who sets records. And then, there is the god of the undead attacking the city. Is there any connection between the two? I think too much. How can this be connected? Players are very curious about the situation in Half Moon Town. Although a year has passed since the game. The true god level NPCs are still aloof to players. Players are directly waiting for the announcement of the destruction of Banyu Town. But after waiting for a long time, there was no response. Instead, a live broadcast attracted everyone's attention. Live action in Banyu Town. The boundless army of skeletons is approaching. The person who started the live broadcast was Sui Fong. After he was killed by skeleton soldiers and returned to Banyu Town, he didn't dare to go out for a while. He saw that people were so curious about the situation in Banyu Town. He had hosted a live broadcast before, but no one watched it. At this time, he reopened his live broadcast room. The popularity exceeded 100,000 in minutes. And then it went straight to 1 million. It seems that it is only a matter of time before it breaks through the 10 million popularity mark. Everyone. These skeleton soldiers look scary. But they are actually very weak. Suifeng said and took a wooden bow. He is a warrior. But warriors who practice alone often prepare a low-level jump bow and arrow so that they can attract monsters when they are alone. This bow looks like a level 20 trash monster attracting bow. What does he want to do? Just when someone was questioning the barrage, Sui Feng was seen shooting out. Sui Feng is indeed a veteran. There is almost no gap between the endless skeleton soldiers. He suddenly ejaculated into the small gap. Hold the grass. This is too good. I can hit such densely packed monsters with random shots. Perhaps in a sense, he is actually a genius. Sui Feng was a little embarrassed. But he immediately shot the second arrow. The bow and arrow hit the target this time. And the skeleton soldier, who was shot, was instantly killed. The bow that attracts monsters can be used instantly. Is this the army of the god of the undead? This is too weak. Just call him, the god of weak chickens. I don't know if there are any rewards. If the teleportation array hadn't been disabled, I would have rushed to clear it. If I was thrown into a sea of fire, it would be gone if I just cleared it. Only then did everyone see the real situation in Banyu Town. It turns out, that the so-called god of the undead in Banyu Town is actually such a weakling. However, some people speculate that it may have opened some hidden plot to prepare for the new expansion pack. Chapter 9 Brother Zhui is so fierce. Thank you. The other side. Sledgehammer has already rushed into the battlefield at this time. There is a shield wall of NPC guards in front to block long-range attacks. He can use it as he likes. Just one cyclone hammer moved around in a circle and smashed hundreds of skeleton soldiers to pieces. I thought the god of the undead was so cruel. Just like this? Sledgehammer smiled heartily. He thought he had set this debuff. But now it seems that he is like an unparalleled mower when he goes in. These skeleton soldiers are also first level basic soldiers. The debuff of the undead magic is quite damaging. As a frontline output player, he needs to be able to resist damage. He simply cannot play the undead copy. When encountering professions similar to the necromancer in the arena, it is natural that they cannot defeat others some other veteran players. Seeing how weak these skeleton soldiers were, also came out of the guard camp. It turns out it is really that weak. Uh-huh. I spread lightning and a large area was instantly destroyed. Watch me charge and go straight in to cut the grass. Some other veteran players also experienced the elegance of long-lost masters. Sui Feng stood on the city wall, not taking action. Just watching the live broadcast. Why don't the anchors go down and do some work? Yes. I haven't experienced first-person lawn mowing yet. Come down quickly. I've got a gift for you. Some viewers in the live broadcast room were also urging. But Sui Feng remained unmoved. He was waiting. The next second, the undead army also noticed the existence of these high-level players. 
and the firepower no longer aimed at the city wall, but focused on them. There are still almost a hundred veteran players in Banyu Town. But the concentrated fire attack of hundreds of thousands of skeleton soldiers is really no joke. Even if the long-range profession only has about 300,000. Don't forget that the skeleton soldiers have the ability to forcefully deduct blood. Even if the first drop of blood is forced, the blood will be 300,000 for a full attack. Sui Feng had experienced this feeling before, so he didn't want to go down to deliver it. Really? Under such a violent attack, none of the hundreds of veteran players survived. Only Sledgehammer and a few people escaped. Oh my god! Can those level 1 skeleton soldiers kill anyone in seconds? Hold the grass. This is too cruel. Obviously they are intelligent. And they are more strict than the well-trained NPC Corps. And the execution of instructions is too clear. Everyone in the live broadcast room was dumbfounded. At this time, Sledgehammer was also hiding behind the NPC's defense line. With the blood bottle in his hand free of Krypton. What are the origins of these things? Sledgehammer felt a little scared just thinking about it. If he hadn't been alert just now, he would have been stopped now. Unlike those old bastards. He is a first-tier player with a level as high as 130. If you die once and lose half a level of experience, leveling will be uncomfortable for a while. Not all the things on his body are soulbound. If one of those things falls out, it will be quite harmful. Eye of the Goshawk. Sledgehammer used a more advanced reconnaissance skill than Hawkeye. And he suddenly had a panoramic view of Banyu Town. Strangely, I couldn't find the command post at all. Sledgehammer frowned. Generally speaking, when monsters siege a city, there will be a leader-level monster directing the attack. The attacks of these skeletons were more disciplined than ordinary monster sieges. But he searched around and couldn't find the commander. Is it really God? But since he is a god, why are the combat units sent so weak? Sledgehammer remembered that these skeletons were the army of the undead god. He couldn't find any trace of the commander. It seemed like it might be a deployment by the divine system. Level 1 can forcibly deduct a drop of his blood from level 130. Is this the power of God? Soon, those resurrected veteran players came again. But this time, they also chose to hide behind the NPC and did not dare to go out again for sneak attacks. The lethality is naturally limited. Sledgehammer also felt that this would not work. So he looked at the hundreds of old birds behind him. I have the skill of guarding the barrier. When I go out in a while, you can just hide behind my barrier and deal damage. Sledgehammer said to the old birds behind him. However, most of these veterans are rookies. They have failed once just now and are obviously timid now. Sledgehammer didn't bother to pay attention to them. For these old rookies, the gaze of the god of the undead doesn't have much impact on them. Anyway, they are just messing around day by day. Guardian Barrier. Sledgehammer rushed out alone. And a large barrier shield suddenly appeared. Dang. 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 Countless attacks landed on the shield. But none could break it. Killing Storm. The sledgehammer also directly activated his ultimate move. And tens of thousands of skeleton soldiers were immediately turned into powder by the huge angry hammer. Some old birds who chose to trust the sledgehammer also followed and took the opportunity to attack. But most of them were still hiding behind. The shield is about to break. Retreat. Sledgehammer also said to the old birds who followed him out. Suddenly, everyone shrank back again. Wait until the CD of my guardian enchantment improves. Sledgehammer glanced at the people who had not gone out just now and said coldly, you can choose not to go out with me, but you will have to wait for the undead army to break the city and you will have to fight once or maybe more than once. Everyone was silent for a while. Although many of them are in bad shape, it would still be better to have fewer failures. At this moment, Su Chen was watching the battle on the city wall. There are many other new players around him. And he blends it among them without being noticeable at all. He was counting the losses. The fighting lasted for almost an hour. And Banyu Town suffered a lot of damage. Even many parts of the city wall were cracked. But the skeleton army also suffered considerable losses. Almost 600,000 skeleton soldiers have been destroyed. Su Chen has also been observing whether the faith value is dropped. This is a battle in which both sides suffer losses rather than a single loss. So the skeleton soldiers have not experienced a decrease in their faith value so far. This made Su Chen breathe a sigh of relief. That sledgehammer is so powerful. I remember it seemed to be from the Sunset Guild. Su Chen smiled slightly as he looked at the sledgehammer that was lowered and waiting to guard the barrier CD. Sledgehammer's performance in this battle made Su Chen very satisfied. He killed hundreds of thousands of skeleton soldiers by himself. And because of the protection he provided, 
those veteran players also safely destroyed hundreds of thousands of skeleton soldiers. In terms of the operation of the skeleton soldiers, he did not let go at all, causing as much damage as possible. Having already lost one point of faith, Su Chen didn't dare to gamble anymore. And even if he didn't intentionally operate it, the combat instincts of the skeleton soldiers were still very terrifying. They were originally the chosen troops. It looks like it's almost over. As Sledgehammer's guardian CD improved, he let others out to fight again. Su Chen also estimated that the battle was almost over. Chapter 10 The Guard Succeeded? Maybe it's just temporary. After all, they are only level 1 skeleton soldiers. And no matter how ruthless they are, there is a limit. The NPC guards and players, after paying a certain price, began to launch a counterattack. Slowly, the army of skeleton soldiers could no longer hold up. 200,000, 100,000, 50,000. The army of skeleton soldiers slowly decreased. And a smile appeared on Su Chen's face. These troublesome and inexperienced guys were finally dealt with. Seeing the dark skeleton soldiers slowly being wiped out, some low-level new players who were watching the battle also cheered. It's not like many of them didn't participate in the war. They were killed just when they went out. And it was useless to go out. Okay. We won. A girl next to me jumped up very excitedly. Seeing Su Chen beside him. He couldn't help but shake Su Chen. Yes. It's really not easy. Su Chen responded with a smile. Isn't it easy? The millions of skeleton soldiers are finally exhausted and can be upgraded. By the way. Su Chen also took a look at his own skills. Summon ordinary skeleton soldiers. After evolution, you can summon millions of heavily armed skeleton soldiers. With branch evolutions such as skeleton priests and skeleton werewolves. Evolution? Su Chen ignored it for the time being. He still wanted to upgrade it and wait until he needed to play a large dungeon to get equipment. World announcement. Banyu Town successfully resisted the invasion of the army of the undead. Successfully defended Banyu Town. And the level of all players participating in the event was plus one. It's too stingy to only give a first level reward for an event like resisting the god of the undead. Bro, did you watch the live broadcast? P's god of the undead is just a group of level one skeleton soldiers with a little more than enough. Don't be embarrassed. You didn't watch the live broadcast properly at first glance. Those skeleton soldiers have the ability to forcefully break defenses and you will be beaten in seconds. Level up. The sledgehammer from the Sunset Guild is in Banyu Town for some reason. He feels so happy. The experience required from level 130 to level 131 is simply BT. Damn it. Why didn't I go to Banyu Town at that time? The world announcement once again elicited reactions from players. The popularity is also high. And many people on the forum are also discussing this. There is a game guru named Big P who also posted an analysis post. Is Half Moon Town a farce? Most likely the God of the Dead prologue. As we all know, the game has not been updated to the True God level expansion pack. And now top players cannot fight against the True God level. This time the army of the undead God attacks the city. It is likely to be a prologue and this expansion pack will be very difficult to fight. Reason 1. These skeleton soldiers are only level 1. But they have the ability to forcibly deduct one drop of blood. The new world does not have such an extreme. The deployment of the God of the Undead is the only one with this mechanism. Please refer to the past for how terrifying this mechanism is. Game. Reason 2. I connected with Sledgehammer, an expert player who was present at the time and is currently in the first echelon. He used Sui's I to observe carefully, but could not find the God of the Undead. Reason 3. The skeleton army is well disciplined and has the shadow of control, which proves that the God of the Dead is paying attention. But its failure to show up proves that it is just a test. Fortunately, Sledgehammer fought hard to resist it. Otherwise such a low-level army captured Banyu Town. Maybe the God of the Dead will reward you in advance. God P's analysis makes sense. I really feel that the ordinary skeleton soldiers of the God of the Undead are different from others. The mechanism of forcibly deducting a drop of blood is too disgusting. Be more confident. Maybe when the real army of the Undead God comes, they will kill you directly. Isn't there a mechanism to forcefully deduct a drop of blood? If the God of the Undead expansion pack is coming, I feel that the gaze buff of the God of the Undead is really hurtful. After all, we have to fight a large number of undead in the future. Hold the grass. You have to be more careful recently. And if you find that there are more undead, run away first. Because of the difference between these skeleton soldiers of the God of the Undead and other ordinary skeleton soldiers. In addition, there are also player serious analysis. 
rumors of an expansion pack for the God of the Dead are now being circulated unanimously. Now people are working hard to strengthen themselves and wait for the expansion pack to arrive. A large-scale expansion pack will definitely bring about a wave of reshuffle. By the way, some equipment items in the Undead series have experienced a wave of price increases. After people have experienced a catastrophe, they will feel a sense of joy. Although for players, this is just a game activity. The rendering of the real world also puts people into a perceptual state. The players on the city wall celebrated each other. They completed a battle between gods. Although the gods seemed a little weak, it was a battle between gods that was announced in the world. It seemed that the barriers between people were temporarily eliminated with this celebration. For newbies like them, they have more expectations for this game as if they have seen the plot of opening up an epic chapter for themselves. Suchin smiled hoarsely. Is this the new happiness? Suchin went down from the city wall, planning to practice leveling first. Half Moon Town. Bison Plains. Being able to practice in this high-level place also represents Suchin's confidence in his skills. Suchin randomly found a bison that was grazing and quietly touched the back. It would be difficult for ordinary people to get close to it unless they were thieves. But Suchin had been a mercenary for so many years and had fought hard on the battlefield. He could still control his breath and footsteps. Until the bison found him. The distance was only two or three meters. The strongest point of the bison is the damage after charging. At such a short distance, it is difficult for the bison to issue an effective threat. After discovering Suchin, the bison immediately jumped up. Although it was close, it still suffered some burst damage. Withered. Suddenly, the bison's speed temporarily dropped a lot. He has already learned the two skill books that came out. Anyway, he can learn everything in his godly profession. And there is no upper limit. Taking advantage of the bison slowing down, Su Chen expertly held the wooden sword and attacked directly at the bison. Blade. Several blasts of sword energy hit several of the bison's weak points. This was his habit as a mercenary for many years. His attacks were steady and precise. Targeting weak points without any pretense. Minus 38. Minus 35. Minus 39. All three attacks triggered weak point damage. Bursting out hundreds of damage and killing the bison instantly. Player Luo Chio upgrades and reaches LV.3. This is called monster killing upgrade. Su Chen smiled sincerely. It was the first time that he felt so good about beating a cow. Continue to fight monsters and upgrade like this. After collecting all the beef, you can collect some wheat flour to make beef noodles. Chapter 11 New Skills so Grant. After killing dozens of bison, Su Chin discovered that there were players upgrading on the bison plane. Are you going to level up at this time? This surprised Su Chin. Those newbies are still celebrating in town. At this time, who would come out to level up like him? It was a female player using a bow and arrow. At this time, she was aiming at a bison that was far away. This girl is going to suffer. Su Chin saw her doing this and shook his head. To fight a bison, you have to stay close under the charge from such a distance. The girl will obviously be killed instantly. Call out. The first arrow hit the bison in the tail, making it very angry. Looking at the furious bison, Su Chen didn't want to watch anymore. There was no more suspense. Just when Su Chen was about to turn around, the second arrow was shot. Call out. The second arrow actually hit the bison's left eye directly. This time, the bison's sight was affected, and its charging speed was reduced a bit. So lucky? Su Chen stopped for a moment. Call out. The third arrow. The bison's right eye was also hit. And suddenly the bison's charging route began to stagger. It also proved that the second arrow was definitely not luck. This familiar technique. Su Chen suddenly remembered a friend. To be precise, he was a teammate in the new game in his previous life. Her arrows are very accurate. Because in reality, she is an archery genius and has won numerous honors. After entering the game, she activated the hidden bow profession. Julian, like myself, entered the game a year later, but managed to catch up to the top 10 archers. This almost caused a sensation in the gaming industry. Some experts in the industry asserted that if she had not fallen behind one year's progress, she would be the number one archer. In Banyu Town, a gathering place for newcomers, it is not easy to find a technically reliable partner. In his previous life, he was quite talented in gaming, especially in Novice Town. So he and Julian became teammates for a short period of time. But she grew up too fast, and he didn't catch up with her, and they gradually separated. Su Chen approached slowly, controlling his breath and pace out of habit. After getting closer to a certain distance, 
Su Chen finally saw that face clearly. It was indeed Zhu Lian. Stop! Zhu Lian's bow and arrow suddenly aimed at Su Chen. Su Chen forgot about his habit of controlling his breath and pace. And it seemed a bit indecent to go up quietly like this. Su Chen pointed at the bison and took a few steps back to show that he was not hostile. Zhu Lian saw that the bison had entered a state of madness. When Zhu Lian was talking to Su Chen, he immediately attracted the attention of the crazy bison. She was just a new archer and could shoot accurately. But she panicked when she saw the bison charging towards her. With her, Su Chen took action at this time. And the wild Newton slowed down. At the same time, Su Chen also rushed over. At this time, Zhu Lian was so frightened that he didn't know what to do and didn't alert Su Chen. Minus 51. A sword's weak point hurts. Since Su Chen had just practiced and upgraded, the damage caused by this weakness directly killed the crazy bison in seconds. The bison lay in a pool of blood. Sorry for being abrupt. I would like to introduce myself as Luo Qiu. Su Chen made a somewhat unfamiliar sword sheathing gesture. Luo Qiu? Is it the one that just refreshed the copy? Zhu Lian frowned. New World cannot see the other party's information unless it actively attacks. Applies for friends. Etc. Seeing Zhu Lian's eyes full of suspicion. Su Chen directly sent a friend invitation. It's actually true. Zhu Lian was confirmed and was very surprised. I bet you thought I was a fake. Looking at his former teammate Su Chen. He smiled dumbly. However, Su Chen quickly put away his smile and his eyes became deep. This is not his previous life. And with his professional characteristics, it is not certain that he will become a villain in this world. After all, the god of the undead is naturally on the opposite side of mankind. In this life, he is destined not to have much to do with Zhu Lian. The path he wants to take is destined to be a lonely and strong man's path. But after all, we met in the past life. And even if we can't be close friends again, at least we don't have to be enemies. Besides, Zhu Lian is quite valuable. Will it be weird if we fight together? Su Chen still sent out an invitation to form a team. Zhu Lian hesitated for a moment, but agreed to Su Chen's invitation to form a team. Su Chen estimated the time. Just now in the Buffalo Plains, Su Chen had asked the skeleton army to take care of him. So Su Chen directly took Zhu Lian to find residual blood. Really? Not far away. A large number of escaped bison were seen gathering. Using the game's built-in detection technique, I found that many of them had residual health. Was this caused by the siege just now? Zhu Lian saw these bison and was a little surprised. It seems we are in luck. Su Chen smiled. Next. Is the boring leveling. During the leveling time, Su Chen directly demonstrated what indiscriminate killing means. Ling Zhu Lian didn't expect that Luo Qiu looked like a weak pretty boy. But in the face of such a real game, Su Chen's methods were so clean and neat. Zhu Lian couldn't help but wonder if this guy was actually a cow killer. With a flash of white light, after picking up a lot of residual blood, Su Chen was already at level 10. Just at this time, Ban Moon Town Regional Speaker, Luo Chiu saw this and contacted me. I am Sunset Guild Sledgehammer, and I have something important to discuss with you. There are more than 10 regional speakers in a row. And it's like paying for nothing. Even for regional announcements. The price is not cheap. And it can be seen that the other party has considerable financial resources. Luo Chiu? It seems to be looking for you. Zhu Lian was a little surprised. Although she is new to the game, she has a cousin who is a high-level guild leader. And I heard her say that the Sunset Guild seems to be a very powerful guild. Such a powerful guild would actually come to find the cute Luo Chiu? This made Zhu Lian's view of Luo Chiu change a little. Of course, it seems that a ruthless person who can refresh the dungeon record shouldn't be a newbie. Su Chen spread his hands. Okay, go ahead and do your work. I'll go offline to eat. Zhu Lian also smiled. Seeing Zhu Lian go offline, Su Chen also regained his indifferent expression. Su Chen led Zhu Lian to level up. Not only because he was a teammate in his previous life, but also because Zhu Lian had some background and might have some use value. Phew, it was an opportunity for cooperation. Who calls himself a kind-hearted mercenary? Is it something he would do to deceive people only? Specifically to deceive acquaintances? At this time, Su Chen also equipped his own Storm Rage suit. At the same time, I check my properties panel. Player, Luo Chiu. Occupation, God of the Dead. Level 10. HP, 1350. MP, 1520. Strength, 85. Intelligence, 118. Stamina, 78. Spirit, 125. 
Physical Defense, 1655. Magic Defense, 1580. Inherited Skills, Summon Ordinary Skeleton Soldiers, and Give Them Souls. There is actually one more inherited skill. Su Chin discovered the new skill, and immediately checked it out. Soul Grant, for targets that have been killed for less than 24 hours. It can be used for a Soul Grant. It can exert 10% to 80% of its strength regardless of great control, determined based on the level difference. It can exist permanently, and can be collected into an exclusive space, and cannot be upgraded. It is limited to every once a day. It actually exists permanently and ignores the level. Unfortunately, it cannot be upgraded and is limited to once a day. Su Chin was a little surprised when he saw this skill. Necromancer also has similar skills. But it can only enslave ordinary mobs. And after the second turn, it can enslave elite monsters. As for the boss, it basically cannot be enslaved. Regardless of rank, even the boss can be enslaved. Moreover, this skill of the necromancer generally lasts only from tens of minutes to a few hours. Some hidden professions may last up to ten days and a half. There is actually an advantage to not being able to upgrade. That is, the experience will not be divided among others. In this way, you don't have to simply give away the millions of skeleton soldiers you summoned. Instead, you can target and enslave some powerful boss. In short, this made Su Chen's strategic goals clearer. Chapter 12 The Secret of the Dungeon? Who are you? But now, he doesn't plan to summon the million skeleton soldiers yet. He also plans to upgrade them first. How to kill the boss has become another problem. In fact, the easiest way is to spend money to find a thug. After all, there are now dozens of levels of characters running all over the place. So, a new question arises. Where is the money? The Ring of Courage can be sold for some money, but the percentage explosion damage ring will not affect it even if it is used at a high level. If that doesn't work, we still have to summon an army of millions of skeletons first and push through a few boss first. But Su Chen remembered his previous shouting. Are you from the Sunset Guild? Su Chen touched his chin and suddenly thought of a plan. But not before that. He had to go offline to have a meal. And his dinner was simple. Just a piece of bread. It's not that there is no nutrient solution for sale. Nutrient solution is too expensive unless it is particularly needed. Normally, it only takes one minute to eat a piece of bread offline. After coming back online, Su Chen sent a friend request to Sledgehammer. Sledgehammer has been waiting for this period. He originally thought that Luo Chio was not online or ignored him. As a result, he saw Su Chen's friend invitation to him. Let me just say that no one can resist the Sunset Guild's invitation. Sledgehammer grinned and agreed to the friend request. E36118 S356621. As a result, before Sledgehammer could say anything, he saw the other party sending him coordinates. Come here to talk about it in detail. After saying that, the other party stopped talking. When this happened, Sledgehammer was stunned for a moment. However, the other party planned to meet and talk, which meant that he probably guessed his purpose and was also very interested in Sunset Guild. Now that there is a drama, he has already run away from Banyu Town. So it is quick to go here. Sledgehammer's mount is a good quality griffin, which is very fast. Soon we arrived at Su Chinfa's coordinates. Su Chin is the only one in this area. Are you Luo Chio? Sledgehammer looked up and down Su Chin. He has good eyesight. Su Chin is wearing a Storm Rage suit. And the long sword in his hand is also from the Storm Rage suit. This equipment is pretty good for level 10. No wonder it breaks the record for cool colors. However, it is probably not an ordinary person who can get such a set at level 10. No matter how good the explosion rate is in New World. It is impossible for him to get one by himself. Even if the explosion rate of the H, L dungeon is relatively high. If you want to get a Storm Rage suit, you don't have to have dozens or hundreds of H, L level dungeons? There are dozens or hundreds of copies of Hell. And once you finish playing them, you will have already exceeded the level limit of level 10. The other party was able to assemble a set of Storm Rage suits. And presumably they spent a lot of money to get them. It's not that low level equipment is valuable, but that no one buys equipment that is too low level. And it's not normal for Storm Rage suits to be produced in dungeons. People go out of their way to brush it. It's probably the rich second generation of a big company who has the leisure to hire someone to do it for him. Hello. I have long admired your name. Su Chin stretched out his hand and smiled slightly. Hello. I am the Sledgehammer of the Sunset Guild. Thinking of this, Sledgehammer's mentality changed slightly. The Sunset Guild is a great temptation for individual masters. But if the other party is also backed by a consortium, 
it will be difficult to say. To make a long story short, our guild president appreciates you very much. If you can join our Sunset Guild, we will, um, give you a lot of help. Sledgehammer originally wanted to say that he would do his best to cultivate him. But after taking a look at Su Chen's Storm Rage suit, he changed his mind from training to helping. Do you think I need it? Su Chen smiled. Su Chen's words once again confirmed Sledgehammer's conjecture. But in that case, what's the purpose of asking me to come here? Sledgehammer frowned. Unconsciously, he changed from an active position to a passive position in this negotiation. The Sunset Guild probably hasn't beaten the H, L level of the Hell Tyrant dungeon yet. Su Chen smiled slightly. Of course, even the top guilds are still in the process of conquering it. Sledgehammer didn't understand what Su Chen was going to say. In fact, the Sunset Guild has just conquered the warrior level. And even the king level is still in the exploration stage. It's just that he didn't have the nerve to say it. I'm here to discuss cooperation with you. Your Sunset Guild can take the lead in defeating the Tyrant of Hell. Su Chen said calmly. Sledgehammer was stunned after hearing this. Do you know what you are talking about? Of course Sledgehammer wouldn't believe it. Even though it seemed like there was a consortium behind him. But now no one has ever passed the first pass of the Tyrant of Hell. I'm not sure whether you have reached the King level or the Warrior level. But if you encounter the Red Circle, you don't have to hide and just insist on holding the priest for more than 16 seconds. You will definitely be able to fight more easily, Su Chen said with a smile. Although he is behind in level, it is precisely because he is behind in level that he can see many mature strategies when he levels up and plays dungeons. Who are you? How do I know the details of the Hell Tyrant copy? R. Sledgehammer's eyes widened. The current Hell Tyrant dungeon is a dungeon that even the top guilds have yet to clear for the first time. It costs a lot to open up the land. And the information is kept absolutely confidential. Not to mention the top guilds. Even the main attack teams of the first class guilds have signed contracts while enjoying the benefits. These messages are covered by confidentiality agreements. He didn't even dare to reveal the details of the copy. Who was the player named Luo Chio in front of him? Judging from his appearance. It was an understatement. Even if the consortium behind him is very powerful and has reached a higher level of progress. Isn't he afraid of confidentiality agreements? The only explanation is that this level 10 guy is at the principal level. Are you a top expert who deletes his account and practices again? As soon as Sledgehammer said it, he immediately changed his mind. But we have clearly found out that the top players are all working hard in the dungeon. You don't have to worry about who I am. Su Chen smiled faintly and pretended to be profound. What are the top masters? Sometimes what you see is the truth. What is your purpose? Sledgehammer swallowed. Even he himself didn't realize that when he faced Su Chen, he was a little nervous and unconfident. I told you that I would like to discuss cooperation with you. As for how to cooperate specifically, you should first ask your president to verify the authenticity of my information. Su Chen said calmly. Sledgehammer thought about it for a moment. If the other party could tell the secret information about the copy, he must have a real background. He must report this matter to the president immediately. Just when he was about to leave first, Su Chen stopped him. Hey, although I'm giving you information for verification, you're not going to waste your money. Are you? He turned around and saw Su Chen walking towards him. Chapter 13, he must be the first boss to test me and enslave me. Su Chen was not polite and walked directly towards the sledgehammer griffin. Open the permission. I want to ride. Su Chen said to the sledgehammer. Sledgehammer was confused. What are you doing? Sledgehammer just can't understand it. As a reward for that message, you have to help me fight a boss. Didn't you see that I'm only level 10? Su Chen was not polite at all. Sledgehammer was speechless. The authenticity of the news had not yet been verified. So he had to pay for it. But Sledgehammer thought about it and opened the permissions. It's impossible for the financial group behind him to be able to do such a thing. Is he testing the strength of our guild? Dachui thought silently in his heart. As the representative of the Sunset Guild, his strength actually reflects the capabilities of the Sunset Guild to a certain extent. Since Su Chen discussed the possibility of cooperation with him, if he showed that he was too weak, the other party might lose their impression of the Sunset Guild. So Sledgehammer also cheered up at this time. Not only does he want to help Su Chen defeat the boss, but he also wants to fight beautifully and show off the style of the Sunset Guild. Su Chen didn't know that Sledgehammer had so much on his mind. He just wanted to enslave a puppet. Go to the Phantom Beast Proving Ground. Su Chen directly stated the destination of this trip. Sure enough, he wanted to test my strength. Sledgehammer smiled inwardly 
and praised himself for his cleverness. You need to pay money at the Phantom Beast trial ground. And then a Phantom Beast of corresponding strength will be generated. The generated Phantom Beasts also have entities. And the money paid is the cost of condensing the entity. After all, there is still a big difference between illusion and entity. But when I play this, I have no experience at all, and I can't explode any equipment. It is purely used by masters to test themselves. Su Chin verbally said that he wanted him to help fight a boss. But it turned out that the Fantasy Beast field had no experience at all. Which was a contradiction. He also realized that Su Chin just wanted to test his strength and evaluate the strength of the Sunset Guild. Do you still want to stump him with this little trick? As the top master of the Sunset Guild, he is a common player in the trial field. Whether he can definitely beat him is just a matter of scoring. He will definitely give a super high score this time, which can be considered a shock to Su Chin. The Phantom Beast training ground is quite far away from here. After Sledgehammer brought Su Chin back to the town, he used the teleportation array to go there. As for the transmission cost, Su Chin also saved a fortune. With a wave of his sledgehammer, he paid the money nonchalantly. Phantom Beast Proving Ground Su Chin was looking forward to seeing what kind of boss the sledgehammer could match. Soul Gift has a minimum 10% guarantee mechanism. This is what Su Chin thinks is the strongest point of the Soul Gift. If he can slay a dragon, then he can only retain 10% of his current abilities if he raises a dragon on the same spot. Then, there is basically no obstacle to his upgrade. Let the sledgehammer hit a boss that matches him. This is usually impossible to do by hiring someone. Unless it costs a lot of money. Paying money matches the condensed entity. And naturally sledgehammer pays himself. This little money is nothing to him. Soon, sledgehammer's opponent was matched. Name, Swift Chicken King. Variety, Half Poultry. Level, 115. HP, Unknown. Level, Dark Gold Boss. Skill, Unknown. High level data is basically invisible. Su Chin felt that he had overestimated Sledgehammer. And he only matched with one Dark Gold boss. However, things like boss can only be fought by a group of people. The higher the level, the more terrifying the boss is. A Dark Gold boss with such a high level is difficult to defeat in a one-on-one -on -one fight. The Swift Chicken King had a sword on his back. After discovering the Sledgehammer, he immediately drew out the sword. The Swift Chicken King is a chicken who is addicted to practicing swordsmanship and has some knowledge of swordsmanship. So he has many sword attack skills. Swift Wind Sword The Chicken King suddenly accelerated and slashed with his sword at a very fast speed. Sledgehammer quickly blocked. His speed was not as fast as Chicken King. After blocking, the Sledgehammer directly counterattacked and swung a hammer. Back Jump Chop The Chicken King jumped back to avoid the Sledgehammer's attack and at the same time struck the Sledgehammer with his sword. Phantom Sword Energy The Chicken King fought very aggressively and immediately launched dozens of sword energy attacking towards the Sledgehammer. Sledgehammer was beaten very badly by these attacks. However, the Chicken King didn't give up and struck with his body chasing sword a few more times pursuing the Sledgehammer relentlessly. Sledgehammer originally wanted to achieve high scores and promote the Sunset Guild's reputation. But as soon as he arrived he was suppressed and slashed by the Swift Chicken King. This made him feel a little embarrassed. God of War 1, Hot-Blooded Blow. I can't afford to play with the Sledgehammer. So I use my big move to show respect. This is the special skill of the Sledgehammer. It has a certain locking function, which is perfect for restraining agile monsters like the Swift Chicken King. Dash 3800000. With one hammer of 380,000, the Chicken King was hit to the bottom of his health bar. Chicken King, with his high agility and high attack power is destined to have a thin skin. Unlike other dark gold bosses that are over 100 levels and have millions of health bars at a glance, Sledgehammer is not an ordinary player. The weapon in his hand is an epic hammer, and its creation is full of details. The Chicken King was beaten to a bloody pulp and was shaken. Wan Jian returns to his clan. The Chicken King is turned on. Suddenly, countless sword shadows flew towards the Sledgehammer. God of War II, blood boiling. The hammer burst into flames, and destroyed the Chicken King with devastating force. However, Chicken King's 10,000 swords still caused Sledgehammer to lose half of its health. If he hadn't been the first to use the God of War style to beat the Chicken King to bloody skin, he might have overturned. Although the trial field does not deduct experience, he is still in a weak state, which will affect his state in the next difficult dungeon. The God of War's three moves. It actually took him two to narrowly win, which made him break out in a cold sweat. Wonderful. 
I feel relieved to have a master like you in Sunset Guild. Su Chen gave a commercial compliment. Uh huh. Someone like me is not worthy of being ranked in the Sunset Guild. I was careless and not serious just now. Sledgehammer said modestly. It also hints that Sunset Guild has many masters. But Su Chen knew the details of the Sunset Guild very well. Su Chen said that the Sledgehammer was quite comfortable. And he really didn't perform well just now. At this time. He also wanted to run away. I have to go back and let the guild verify it first. If there's nothing else, I'll leave first. After Sledgehammer said something, he took out the city return scroll. Su Chen nodded and watched Sledgehammer leave. After the Sledgehammer left, Su Chen looked at the swift chicken king on the ground with his eyes shining. Soul giving. Su Chen waved his hand. And a soul power enveloped the swift chicken king. 10% of the chicken king. I don't know how much ability he has left. Su Chen looked expectantly at the swift chicken king on the ground. Slowly, the swift chicken king slowly stood up. On the surface, there is not much difference from before. Except that the overall momentum is much weaker. And at the same time, the energy and spirit are also a little sluggish. Chapter 14 Brother G leads the training efficiently. Phone used dignity. Su Chen checked the properties directly. Name, Swift Chicken King. Variety, Half Poultry. Level 60. HP, 20,000. Level Dark Gold Boss. Skill, Swift Wind Sword. Back Jump Slash. Phantom Sword Chi. Wind Sword. Sword Return. 10,000 Swords Return to the Sect. Good guy. This blood volume has dropped too much. Su Chen looked at the attributes of the Swift Chicken King and was speechless. A normal level 60 Dark Gold boss should have a blood volume of over 100,000. Even if the Swift Chicken King itself has high attack and agility and a thin blood volume. 70,000 to 80,000 blood volume is not too much. It seems that after enslavement, while inheriting 10% of the abilities, the combat effectiveness will be significantly reduced. It actually makes sense when you think about it. After all, this is just an entity condensed by the illusion of the trial field. Compared with the real monster, it still lacks strength. For him, it's enough for now. After reaching level 10, you can also use the teleportation array. Target. Select Crook Village. This village is said to be a village. But in fact it has no residence. Because it has been plundered by monsters and turned into the domain of various monsters. The outer circle here is the Jackal Camp, which is about level 2030. Then go inside and there will be more advanced monsters. And they are relatively dense, so you don't have to look for them too much. In addition, there is the demon barracks in the core area, which is the best place for leveling. Apart from danger, there is no big danger due to the rich experience. But this danger is also a real danger. There are high-level demons in the demon barracks, with levels as high as hundreds of levels. Old players, who are not particularly confident, do not dare to come here to bring people. High risks and high returns. Those who come here to level up, even those who bring people here to level up, are all people who are very confident in themselves. Soon, Su Chen met two patrolmen, named Jackal Warrior, type Orc, level 23, very ordinary soldiers. It is very difficult to fight by myself. But as the god of the undead, how can I do it myself? With a wave of his hand, the Chicken King was instantly summoned. Two Jackal Warriors were patrolling holding rusty iron swords in their hands. After seeing the Chicken King, he immediately made an incomprehensible sound, which seemed like a warning. However, the Chicken King did not move. Waiting for Su Chen's order, it wasn't until Su Chen gave the order to attack that the Chicken King took action. Swift wind sword. The Chicken King passed by and killed them all instantly with one strike of his sword. After the kill, he even posed handsomely. Player Luo Chiu gains 500 experience. Leap level experience bonus is 150 points. 500 experience points is not bad. Su Chen looked at his experience bar, which could be seen with the naked eye. The most enjoyable thing about leveling up is that the experience bar increases step by step, which relieves stress just watching it. The Chicken King cannot be upgraded, and there is no experience requirement. It is much more popular than the Skeleton Soldier. And now that he does not start the promotion of the next level of Skeleton Soldiers, it means that he has been upgraded to one level. And millions of skeleton soldiers have also been promoted to one level. What he needs now is to quickly gain experience and catch up with a large army. Go find the monsters and kill them yourself. Su Chin directly sent an instruction to the Chicken King to automatically find monsters and kill them. He just waited here for experience and... That's it. But he has to follow. 
Even if he is killed by a summoned object, he still has experience to gain distance. It is generally determined based on the range of experience gained by the team. After a while, Su Chen found a message from his friend. His current friends are Ju Lian and Sledgehammer. And Sledgehammer probably hasn't contacted him so soon. At first glance, it turned out to be a message from Ju Lian. My cousin said she would take me with her tonight if she was free. Do you want to come with her? Seeing the message sent by Ju Lian, Su Chen couldn't help but chuckle. He had never planned to get involved with Ju Lian in this life. So why did he want to act with Ju Lian? The cousin whom I love so much is the vice president of the first class Guild Guanlan. Ju Lian became a rising star not only because of her talent, but also because of her own good family background. And with the help of her cousin, she had good resources. Although I haven't thought about it yet. What benefits can it bring? Well, it is mutual benefit. I also had a friend looking for me just now. And someone also took me. Let's go next time. Su Chen also sent a message back. Okay. Next time I have a chance. After seeing this message, Su Chen replied casually and went to fight monsters. The path to leveling has begun. The other side. Sister. He said he has a friend to take him with him and he won't come. Ju Lian looked at the woman in front of her and said, That's a pity. Cha Ming smiled and didn't pay too much attention. She was also the one Ju Lian said just now that she just met a master. And it was Luo Qiu who broke the record. So she wanted to meet him. If the other party is indeed capable. She plans to drag him into the Guanlan Guild. But it seems that the Sunset Guild has arrived first. There's no way to force it. Come on. I'll take you to level up. Cha Ming smiled carelessly. Su Chen's matter was just a sideshow. They also went to level up. Copy of Hell Tyrant. Sunset Guild Attack Group. Boss. Do you really want to try? Sledgehammer looked at Feng Yu and said, You are not allowed to try the information you got back. Feng Yu narrowed his eyes and said with a smile, seeing the sledgehammer smashing his face. The cold tone came over. Don't worry. We've already beaten the warrior level before. We priests will focus on you and you won't die. Cool colors also help. Okay. But I also think that guy is somehow believable. Sledgehammer looked resigned. Regarding the information brought back by Sledgehammer. Feng Yu and Lang Yu also believe that it had a certain degree of credibility. Nowadays, the guilds that have the strength to open up the Hell Tyrant dungeon are basically first-rate and top-tier guilds. The second-rate guilds have not even reached the qualifications to enter this level. The opponent knows the dungeon information of Hell Tyrant. And at least, he is a member of a first-class guild. I just never understood that except for those top players who deleted their accounts and practiced again, who could beat my record time of 5 minutes and 0-1 seconds. The cold tone was a little depressed. And he looked at Feng Yu boss. Are there really masters that we don't know about? Who knows? Hurry up and try the information first. Feng Yu narrowed his eyes and smiled. After the attacking group moved forward, the smile on Feng Yu's face disappeared. Sometimes what you see is the truth? Feng Yu narrowed his eyes slightly and carefully savored the original words coming from Sledgehammer's mouth. It seems that you know more than I thought. Feng Yu opened his eyes. His eyes sharp. Boss. What are you doing back there? The sound of a sledgehammer came from the front. I'm still waiting for you to cover me. Boss. Without your cover. I really don't know what I'm doing. Don't worry. I'm coming. Feng Yu's expression regained its approachable smile and walked towards the crowd. Chapter 15 Luo Chiu is classified as a secret. Fighting chickens are too fierce. Soon. They arrived at the area of the underground flame demon boss in the Hell Monarch dungeon. This boss itself is actually not very strong. But there are too many mechanisms here. The surroundings are almost surrounded by age, fire. And the space for everyone to gain a foothold is relatively small. The most troublesome thing is that one of Balrog's skills creates a red circle under everyone's feet. This will continue to drop blood and add a debuff that reduces healing. The red circle doesn't move very fast. So you can avoid it by running. However, this made the originally narrow place even more crowded. They had to practice their movements countless times before defeating this boss. This time I came for verification. In order to avoid being directly wiped out by the group. Only Sledgehammer was resisting. And the others still passed the previous movement. Sledgehammer. Don't stand in the middle of the road. Go squat in the corner. Cold Hugh almost tripped over Sledgehammer when he was running. And said to Sledgehammer. The Sledgehammer is extremely aggrieved. I have to carry it myself. But I am still disliked. 16 seconds passed quickly. Although there is a debuff that reduces healing. All the priest's attention is on him. So he is very safe. What? What's changed? 
looking at Sledgehammer in a cold tone and saying nothing. He urged him to ask. Thing you also looked over. He was very curious. I seem to be immune to the red circle. There is no damage and no healing debuff. Sledgehammer said with some surprise. Thing you was thoughtful. The mage team set up magic shields for themselves. Took red bottles and hid in the last row. The priest watched the mage's health and ignored the others. Then Feng Yu said directly, Status will be reported in 16 seconds. As a first-class guild's attack team, its execution ability is still very high. No one raised their own questions and did what they should do under Feng Yu's command. Another 16 seconds passed. No harm. No reduction in treatment. Immune to the red circle effect. No harm. No reduction in treatment. Soon the mage group reported their status. Full output. Feng Yu commanded directly. Originally. The red circle stage lasted for a long time. With precise movement, losing one more skill would be considered greedy. Many times when fighting the underground Balrog, it was because someone was greedy for damage and did not have time to dodge, resulting in the group being destroyed. But now the magic team is directly immune to damage, so they can just hide at the end and output. The pure standing DPS of the mage is considered to be the highest in the dungeon. But in many cases professions such as the archer ranger will surpass the mage because mages are generally not as flexible as archers. The boss of the underground Balrog makes it difficult for the mage to stand still and have to keep moving. But now the mage's firepower can be directly outputted without any brains. Apart from this move, the underground Balrog's other moves are quite easy to deal with. Suddenly, the underground fire demon that had trapped them for a long time became simple. In less than two minutes, the underground Balrog fell. Usually this boss can't be passed for more than 10 or 20 minutes and it just passes like this? I feel like it's fake. Is this really the Balrog that has trapped us for so long? The red circle has failed. This Balrog is a younger brother. After defeating the boss, many people in the attack team side. Sledgehammer. The information you brought back is so useful. Even the Coltone people couldn't help but sigh. Then this information is useful. Isn't it the first passage to H? L he mentioned. Maybe it is really possible? Sledgehammer said with some surprise. But the question is, why doesn't he take the first pass to H? L or the forces behind him don't take it. What can our Sunset Guild give him? Cool tones come up with an obvious illogicality. He still remains suspicious of the player named Luocio. This is indeed possible. But it is undeniable that at least this thing is true. Even if we only rely on this information, we will at least be the fastest when fighting the Balrog on the first pass through H, L. Fingu narrowed his eyes and smiled. What do you mean? Boss? Sledgehammer looked at Fengyu. If he wants something, let him talk to me directly. Fengyu paused, then put away the smile on his face and looked at the others. The matter about Luochio is classified as a guild secret. Whoever spreads the word should know what will happen. Seeing Fengyu's serious expression, everyone nodded. Everyone knows that even though Fengyu is usually very approachable and easy to talk to, he is actually a quite dangerous person. Okay, everyone, let's continue reading. Then you return to his kind smile. Crook Village. With Chicken King bringing the brush. Upgrading is like riding a rocket. By around 12 o'clock in the evening, Su Chen had also reached level 20. Unlike Reclamation, upgrading and Reclamation is slow because there are so many people grabbing monsters. And they don't know how to defeat monsters without equipment at the same level. It's even faster than taking a large size with a small size. Half of the experience is divided when forming a team. Although there is a certain team bonus. The team bonus becomes useless after it exceeds a certain level. It is equivalent to a large size and a small size. And you can actually only get half of the experience. Even if you don't form a team, if the large player cripples the monster and allows the small player to do some last-ditch damage, this will be considered as robbing the monster. You can only get 60% of the experience from grabbing monsters. In this way, it is not as efficient as directly killing with a large number. Unless it's a big boss who hires a lot of people and lets the boss keep hitting the target. The Chicken King has high attack agility and high agility, which means he can find monsters quickly and kill them quickly. One chicken can carry 10 tool men. Although in a battle at the same level, the Chicken King with high attack and agility will be killed instantly due to its thin blood and skin. But at least in terms of tools, it is still very good. As the Chicken King continued to kill the Jackal tribe, he finally led to the Jackal leader. However, after the jackal leader felt the power of the chicken king from a distance. He was so frightened that he ran away. But the chicken king was so fast that even the jackal leader couldn't escape. Wind sword. 
the Chicken King's chicken and sword suddenly merged into one, turning into a sharp blade that tore through the air. The jackal leader didn't dodge and took a hard hit. However, the jackal leader did not fall, and this sword also aroused the ferocity of the jackal leader. It seems that the level 30 silver boss is still capable of fighting back. Su Chen nodded secretly when he saw the jackal leader's counterattack. However, the jackal leader made an angry attack, but the chicken king dodged it with a backward slash. At the same time, he attacked the jackal leader with a sword. After being hit with two swords in a row, the jackal leader was a little exhausted. Phantom Sword Energy After the chicken king distanced himself, he directly released a long-range sword energy attack. Poof! The jackal leader was hit by several sword energy and finally fell to the ground. I took a look at the skills given by the soul, and they have been refreshed. The daily refresh is not 24 hours, but refreshed at 0 o'clock every day. Chapter 16 The Reality Barrier is Loose Zhou Jing wants to join the gang. However, Su Chen looked down on the jackal leader. The cooldown time given by the soul is not long, but Su Chen felt that the jackal leader was a waste of his time. Even if the gap between him and the jackals was not big, he touched the jackal leader directly. A level 30 bronze commoner was of no use. Su Chen put it in his backpack and planned to sell it for some money. However, these items themselves are not very valuable and can only be sold to new people. After defeating the jackal leader, his experience directly raised him by one level to level 21. I saw it was getting late. Su Chen also planned to take a rest. If we had just returned to the time when the server was first launched, fighting all night would not be a big deal. After all, one step ahead and one step ahead would lead step by step. It's been a year since the server was launched. So it's not far behind. Slow and steady flow is the most important. Back to reality. When he opened his eyes, the small room of only 30 square meters came into view. It's all like a dream. Su Chin sighed a little. Only the bandaged hand, with some black energy coming out faintly, made it clear that this was true. Su Chin stood up, looked ahead, and stretched out his hand. Fallen creatures, hear my will. Su Chin recalled how he was in the game, feeling a little like a second grader. But this is purely an explosion of his second soul. It's still some time before the game comes, and the barriers haven't been opened. How can we obtain the abilities in the game? Su Chin smiled and shook his head. Su Chin turned around, planning to see if there were any instant noodles or the like. So he just ate some bread for dinner. A little hungry. Crunch. Crunch. Hearing this voice, Su Chin was stunned. He slowly turned his head and swallowed. Hold the grass. There is a skeleton. Su Chin was startled, and was so frightened that he peed his pants on the spot. The skeleton in front of him held a bone sword in his hand and was looking at Su Chin with a puzzled expression. Looking at the skeleton in front of him, Su Chin finally remembered. Isn't this just like the skeleton he summoned in the game? Turn around. Su Chin tried to give the skeleton an order. The skeleton quickly complied. Turn back. Raise your hands. Put them down. Lift your feet. Put them down. Su Chin kept giving more instructions. And the skeleton obeyed everything. Is the barrier loose? Or is the blood of the true god too powerful? Su Chin fell into speculation. But Su Chin still felt that the barrier must have been loosened. Otherwise the true gods wouldn't have attacked earlier. What Su Chen didn't expect was that the barriers had been loosened a year later. Su Chen then tried to summon a second skeleton. But this time it failed. It seems that it is really just a small crack. And maybe as I get stronger, I will unlock more abilities in reality. Su Chen frowned. Now that the barriers have been loosened, doesn't it mean that some of the top players may be able to bring their abilities to reality? It's just that in his previous life, as a small person, he had never heard similar information like the general public. It seems that the senior officials of the big guilds and consortium must know something. But they just blocked the news. No wonder those top forces in the game can still maintain their status in the first game. Su Chen understood a lot at once. But he didn't plan to think too much about it at the moment. So he wanted to find something to eat first. Open the refrigerator. Empty. Suddenly the phone rang. Caller, Zhou Jing. Looking at this name. Su Chen also fell into a flash of memories. This was something he discovered when he was young. He was one of the first players to enter the game. But his talent was mediocre and at the level of an average player. When Su Chen was in the most difficult situation, Zhou Jing also lent him a lot of money. Even because he lent money to him, his wife always had a strong objection to him. And the couple quarreled many times and almost divorced because of this. I originally knew how to play New World 
because Zhou Jing often recommended it to me, telling me that it would be better to go and do anything in it than to work part-time. After entering the game, Zhou Jing often takes him with him. After the game arrived, both he and Zhou Jing became mercenaries. During a mission, Zhou Jing had one of his legs blown off while covering his retreat. Zhou Jing fell into a state of decadence after that, almost to the point of collapse. He was unable to take on missions and go to the battlefield, so he could only do some logistics work. At this time, Zhou Jing didn't know that he was in the game. But Su Chen remembered clearly that Zhou Jing came to him tonight to persuade him to join the game again. Because gaming helmets are on sale recently. It was under such an opportunity that he entered the game. When I came back from the memory, the phone calls were disconnected because they were not connected. Before Su Chen could call back, the second call came. Su Chen answered the call immediately. Did you fall into the toilet? It took me so long to answer the phone. Hearing this long lost voice made Su Chen feel a little emotional. Where is the person from ya? He answered the phone without saying a word. Lao Su, have you been kidnapped? There was an urging voice on the other end of the phone. You were just kidnapped. Su Ching concealed his emotions and replied. Come out for barbecue. My old place. Don't miss me and chat with you if I have anything to do. Zhou Jing said directly. Okay. Wait for me for 10 minutes. Su Chen knew what Zhou Jing was going to say. But he pretended not to know. Putting down the phone. He saw the skeleton soldier holding a bone sword still in front of him. How to deal with the relationship with Zhou Jing also made Su Chen come to his senses. With a thought in his mind, he put away the skeleton soldiers. It's the same as in the game. Summoning and retracting are both instantaneous. And the second line is redundant. Familiar barbecue restaurant. Zhou Jing has already ordered the barbecue. He and Zhou Jing are both electric grill enthusiasts. And the sweet and sour electric grill at this restaurant is also a must-have. They often come to this place. The owners are an old couple. This door has never been opened since the arrival of the game. People with game abilities still have a certain ability to protect themselves. Before order is formed, ordinary people can only keep running away. For ordinary people, this is a catastrophe. It took me so long to come. I was promised 10 minutes. But it has already been 11 minutes. Zhou Jing glanced at the time and said, Okay. My bad? Su Chen didn't reply but said with a smile. In the past, the two of them would often quarrel over trivial matters. But this time Su Chen did not argue because he had grown up. The two drank beer and ate barbecue. After drinking a bottle, Zhou Jing also planned to talk. Lao Su, you know my friend Jiang Tian. He changed his job and became a senior blacksmith in New World. He worked hard for several months and bought a house this year. Zhou Jing first planned to mention someone he knew. If he wants to get Su Chen to play, New world. He naturally needs to use successful examples around him to pave the way. Chapter 17 Lao Tzu. How can people be so outrageous? Finally. I don't have to listen to that guy Jiang Tian complaining all day long. Su Chen responded with a smile. Click. He opened a bottle of beer. Poured himself a glass. And poured a glass for Zhou Jing. Silence fell again. When Zhou Jing talks about something. He always organizes it into long words. Maybe he is thinking about how to say it. A person will meet many people in his life. But it's strange that some people feel like old friends as soon as you meet them. And some people have been around you for decades without any progress in your relationship. Su Chen still remembers his first meeting with Zhou Jing when he was a child. It was a small town preschool. Su Chen couldn't get along with anyone in the class. But Zhou Jing was very popular in the class. The two of them were going home on the same road. At that time, Zhou Jing asked him if he wanted to eat popsicles. The weather was very hot at that time. And Su Chen was only a few years old and nodded without thinking. In the end, Zhou Jing took him to the door of a kindergarten. And the two of them dragged the iron bucket that held the kindergarten's garbage and ran away. When we got to the waste collection place, the waste collector said it would be 70 cents. But at that time, Zhou Jing directly said that he would not sell it for 7 cents. But would sell it for 6 cents. This made the uncle who collected the waste laugh. Although Su Chen was only a few years old at the time, he knew some things and knew that 7 cents was more than 6 cents. He also wondered if Zhou Jing was not very smart. 7 cents is not easy to divide. So you have 3 cents and I have 3 cents. Which is fair. Su Chen was also stunned at that time. After eating the popsicles, the kindergarten teacher found both parents the next day. The town was only that big. And it was quite difficult for two children to drag the iron bucket at that time. And many people around saw it. 
after their parents spent more than 10 yuan on a new bucket. The two of them couldn't avoid a stick practice session when they got home. Poof! Su Chen couldn't help laughing when he thought about this. Lao Su, what are you laughing at? Su Chen's laughter broke the silence. And Zhou Jing asked with some confusion. It's nothing. I just think you're a tough guy. Su Chen said with a smile. That's natural. When the three major guilds surrounded me, I managed to steal the treasure from the three major guilds and then escaped. Think about it. I haven't told you this story for three days. As soon as Zhou Jing heard that he was a tiger, he felt no longer sleepy when he told this story. Then, Zhou Jing continued to talk about his great achievements back then. It sounds spectacular. But in fact the three major guilds mentioned by Zhou Jing are just three second-rate guilds. And it's not the main force of the second-rate guild. Just some ordinary guild members who joined the second-rate guild. At that time, the fringe members of the three guilds encountered a wild boss. Three-party chess is the most energy-consuming. Otherwise, why did the Three Kingdoms War last for so long? Zhou Jing was sleeping in a tree at that time. And no one noticed him at all. Then I waited for the boss to have remaining health. And with luck, he was able to replenish the sword. When they escaped, the people from the three guilds all thought that the other guilds had stolen it. And they immediately got into a chaotic fight and gave Zhou Jing the opportunity to escape. The three major guilds could only watch from a distance and didn't even dare to chase me. You know how fierce I am. Zhou Jing drank beer and started blowing without even eating peanuts. Anyway, in Zhou Jing's mouth, he was like the god of war in the nine heavens, intimidating the three most peerless guilds in the world. Su Chen was almost tired of listening. No matter how many people there are, this guy likes to brag about it, especially after drinking alcohol. It becomes particularly intense. The key point is that we can't say that he is just bragging, because it is still true. It's just that the description is a bit exaggerated. If Zhou Jing really killed a master, Zhou Jing would probably tell such a story every day. How about, let's play, New World, with a master like me guiding you. Are you afraid that you won't be able to make money? With the help of alcohol, Zhou Jing easily said what he wanted to say, but he didn't hold out much hope. After all, he had already said it many times about letting Su Chen play, New World. Good. Su Chen simply answered, Lao Su, why are you so stubborn? Now, New World has many development prospects. As Zhou Jing was talking, he suddenly realized something was wrong. Lao Su, what did you just say? I said yes. Su Chen said helplessly. Ah, why aren't you as stubborn as usual? I prepared a lot of lines tonight to convince you. Zhou Jing told the truth all at once. How about you ask again? Su Chen held his forehead and said, Lao Su, let's play, New World. Zhou Jing was a little drunk and asked again, If you don't want to play, get out. Su Chen said directly, No, no, let me ask again. You just said that we would play, New World, together. When Zhou Jing heard this, he immediately started to lie down. Su Chen also smiled, raised his glass, and touched it with Zhou Jing. Of course he was joking when he said he wouldn't play. After a while, I said, Lao Su, why did you suddenly change your mind? Didn't you think it was unreliable to make money by playing games? Zhou Jing became a little curious. Because I feel that, New World, is an unusual game. And it may be able to replace modern industrial and commercial games in the future. Su Chen smiled slightly. Oh, I didn't dare to play like this when I played New World before. But you can play it better than me now. Zhou Jing smiled heartily and raised his cup. The two had another drink. Of course, he was happy that Su Chen could listen to his advice and play New World with him to make money. Lao Su, gaming helmets are on sale recently. The lowest price ever. Zhou Jing did not forget to tell Su Chen about this serious matter. Well, I've already started playing. Su Chen touched his nose. Go ahead. I mean, why did your attitude change so quickly? It turns out you have already taken advantage of it. Zhou Jing's eyes widened. It was like meeting Su Chen for the first time. What level are you at now? Zhou Jing asked curiously. Let's go to level 21. Su Chen answered honestly. Zhou Ding Ding nodded. This level was normal. Su Chen had probably been playing for a week or two in advance. No. When I came to see you last week, didn't you say you haven't played yet? Zhou Jing suddenly thought something was wrong. I didn't play it. I just played it today. Su Chen looked at the time and saw that it was already past 12 o'clock. He changed his words and said, Oh, if we go by the current time, we were playing yesterday. Damn it. 
Are you suddenly rich or are you dating a rich woman? Zhou Jing was so surprised that he cursed. Quality. Quality. Su Qing calmly ate a bunch of roasted kidneys. I am a star like you. But do you know how outrageous you are? Zhou Jing still couldn't calm down. So he slapped the table and stood up. How about I tell you that, new world, is extraordinary. Come hang out with me, and I'll make sure you have a good time. Naturally. Su Qin did not forget to take care of his old brother. At least when the game comes. Don't let Zhou Jing be as helpless as he was in the previous life. Chapter 18 You Just Need to Wait Feng Yu's Meeting Zhou Jing was originally very excited. But he suddenly thought of something. After looking at the other customers in the barbecue restaurant, the customer flow was very small at this time. After all, the old couple's electric barbecue restaurant is also a small business. Zhou Jing came closer and suddenly lowered his voice. Lao Su, have you found any game bug? Zhou Jing looked at Su Qin worriedly. Although the game developer of New World has always been very low-key. So low-key that there is only an empty SH. L of registration information. But no one will doubt the ability of the New World game manufacturer to achieve such game quality and operate like a global monopoly. Many big forces took action. But none of them found out the details of the New World game developer. For ordinary people like Zhou Jing. Although they usually scold you. It is just the voice of ordinary players, like you who are too lazy to pay attention. But once Su Qin really discovers a bug, you have to know how huge the daily turnover of New World is. Su Qin might be directly punished by that mysterious game manufacturer. The kind that punishes people. Bug? Su Qin smiled. In fact, he knew what Zhou Jing was worried about. After all, before the game came, he simply believed that game developers were a big force. But according to later speculation, there was no game publisher for this game at all. It is just a program. And when the time comes, the game will be released. He has the blood of the true god. And the profession he is changing now is also triggered by his real-life ability. In short, everything is in compliance with the procedure. But him relying on the power of god to directly transfer to the priesthood is indeed a bug for other players. Don't worry. You know what kind of person I am. I know it well. Su Chen patted Zhou Jing's shoulder. Hearing what Su Chen said, Zhou Jing also nodded. Ever since he was young, Su Chen has always been a very steady person and would not easily make uncertain promises. He had never been allowed to play New World before because of Su Chen's personality, and he would not take risks easily when he was unsure about things. After all, playing New World is not cheap. For Su Chen, who was not rich to begin with, this was an adventure. Thinking of Su Chen's character and the sudden change in the limelight of playing New World. Is there such a possibility? During this year, Su Chen had actually been secretly studying the bugs in New World and suddenly appeared when the time was right. Considering Su Chen's character, this is really possible. Is there anything you need my help with? Zhou Jing thought for a while and asked. From the beginning to the end, he never doubted whether Su Chen was bragging. Because bragging is not something Su Chen likes to do. No. Su Chen said with a chuckle. Okay. Let me know when you need it. Come and drink. Zhou Jing is such a simple person. He doesn't think about troublesome things. He himself is a person who is drunk now. The next day, the sun was shining three poles. And the hustle and bustle of the vegetable market downstairs finally woke up Su Chen. Renting a room in a wet market is because the market is cheap. Besides, Su Chen has always been a hard-working person and doesn't sleep much. So the noise in the vegetable market is fine for him. When Su Chen got up from the bed, the headache caused by the hangover made Su Chen a little confused. Drinking alcohol does make people dull. But it doesn't hurt to be happy once in a while. Su Chen got up from the bed. After washing up, I ate a small set of soy milk and fried dough sticks at the breakfast stall in the market downstairs. Eat and drink enough and keep fighting. Su Chen is online again. Summoning Brother Chicken. He is still majestic and high-spirited. Looking at Brother Chicken, Su Chen thought of the skeleton soldiers summoned in the real world last night. If Brother Chicken comes to reality, I don't know how effective he will be. Su Chen couldn't help but think, if the barrier between reality and this world is loosened, then the more powerful one is, the stronger it will be when it passes through the gap. At the end of the day, you still have to level up. But just as Su Chen and Brother Ji were fighting inside, they discovered a piece of information. It's a sledgehammer. Brother Luo, you are really late online. I have been waiting for you for a long time. Sledgehammer's tone was a bit aggrieved. Since what happened yesterday, 
He and Su Chen are now the only friends in the guild. And Su Chen has closed the friend request by default. So President Feng Yu asked him to stay with Su Chen and wait for him to come online to discuss cooperation. Dachui felt that a mysterious master like Su Chen must be very diligent if he deleted his account and practiced again. He saw that Su Chen went offline not too late last night and thought that Su Chen must get up early in the morning to start leveling up. But he only had to wait for several hours. As a result, he was distracted from spawning monsters, made various operational mistakes, and was cordially greeted by the team's priest. Fell asleep. Su Chen simply answered. Hearing Su Chen's indifferent words, he felt like a punch hitting cotton with a sledgehammer. And he was immediately discouraged. Our president wants to talk to you. But your friend application is closed. Please add our president's ID. Feng Yu. Sledgehammer said to Su Chen feebly. He had already thought about Feng Yu taking the initiative to talk to him. So he didn't expect anything unexpected. Okay. Thank you for your hard work. Su Chen also roughly guessed that Sledgehammer's initial mood must have been waiting for him. So he comforted him a little. Chapter 19, the negotiation was so intense that I broke into a cold sweat. After hearing these words, Sledgehammer suddenly felt comfortable. The depression I felt early in the morning seemed to have disappeared. Next time I contact you, I will go to your president first. After Su Chen said this, he hung up the call. The next step was to add Feng Yu's ID. As for Feng Yu, Su Chen's understanding of him was all from later on. Feng Yu is deeply involved with the top guild. The Excalibur Guild. Even after the game came, Feng Yu also joined forces with the Sunset Guild and the Excalibur Guild, occupying a huge resource point after the game came. As for more, not a small person like Su Chen can know it. All I know is that Feng Yu is not as simple as he appears. Not only is he a smiling tiger, but the energy behind him is also immeasurable. It was precisely because of this that Su Chen chose to cooperate with the Sunset Guild. Some of the things hidden by the Sunset Guild might be helpful to him. Soon, my friend came through. Luo Chio, I have admired your name for a long time. Sledgehammer told me a lot about you. After being connected, Feng Yu said with a smile, President Feng Yu, I have long admired the name of such a powerful guild as the Sunset Guild. Su Chen said calmly, Wherever we are, we are barely in the large army and even a copy of Hell Tyrant has been opened up by a huge gap by the Superclass Guild. Feng Yu said humbly, President Feng Yu is too modest. If any First Class Guild can compete with Super First Class Guilds, I think it must be the Sunset Guild. Su Chen had a playful smile. Seeing Su Chen smile, Feng Yu in the video call fell silent for a moment. Brother Luo is so ridiculous. Let's talk about business. About the Hell Tyrant copy. Feng Yu looked at Su Chen with a harmless smile. First tell me your conditions. Su Chen discovered a detail. Feng Yu's name for him changed from Luo Chio to Brother Luo. Although Feng Yu looks elegant and easygoing, and his smile is as refreshing as spring breeze, he doesn't have the airs of a big guild boss at all. But he was still quite arrogant in his heart. From calling Luo Chio by his first name, he became Brother Luo, which is when Feng Yu truly treated Su Chen as an equal. You can tell you first that in the first pass, a random piece of equipment from a hell tyrant will be released. And I want that piece of equipment. A mythical blueprint may be exploded. And I want that too. If not, your guild will give me a mythical blueprint. These two are core conditions. Su Chen directly stated his price. Feng Yu on the other end of the call did not agree immediately. But tapped his fingers rhythmically on the table. It may explode. In other words, in addition to helping you get equipment, we probably have to give you a mythical blueprint. Can I understand this? Feng Yu looked at Su Chen with a warm smile. It can be understood this way. Su Chen nodded. The mythical blueprint has a very small chance of exploding. So there is a high probability that the Sunset Guild will have to make up for it with a blueprint. Thing you thought for a while again. It's interesting. You just said these two are core conditions. Let's talk about your non-core conditions. Thing you looked at Su Chen and said with interest. Help me train a person. He will enjoy the benefits of at least three groups as usual. But he will not sign the contract of your guild. You don't need to let him participate in confidential matters. He will probably be a little hindered. Su Chen said seriously. This person is actually Zhou Jing. This condition was suddenly thought of by Su Chen. Originally, he didn't want to get too involved in the turmoil of the big guild. Although the game and reality are two different worlds. It is impossible to query the IP to find the real identity. But who knows the methods of the great guild. But after he awakened his gaming ability in advance last night, he changed his mind. Besides, if the second group doesn't advance, it won't be able to reach the core. 
I just try to improve Zhou Jing's strength as much as possible. Letting Zhou Jing learn from the masters can be regarded as laying a solid foundation. Now Zhou Jing's foundation is too poor. There's no problem with the three regiments. Right now, Feng Yu thought for a moment and felt that this condition was nothing. When the time is right, there is no rush now. Just give me a verbal promise. I believe you. Su Qin didn't care about this. As for what is the right time, it depends on whether he is strong enough in reality. If you can summon someone like Chicken Brother in reality, then you won't be afraid. Okay. Although your conditions are a bit high, it is still worth buying a first pass. Feng Yu finally agreed. President Feng Yu is a cheerful person, Su Chen said with a smile. Then he directly told Feng Yu the strategy of Hell Tyrant. The most troublesome thing about defeating the Hell Tyrant is actually the influence of Hell Karma Fire. At this time, you need to collect Hell Soil. Combine it with five high-level herbs. Find an NPC named Wing Gear and ask him to help refine the neutralizing ointment of Hell Karma Fire. What's left is some explanation of the positioning and formation for fighting the Hell Tyrant. With the anointing of neutralizing Karmic Fire, the difficulty is greatly reduced. And the playing style is just like that. Then you listened attentively throughout the whole process. And even took out the notebook he had prepared in advance and wrote down everything. It turns out that's the case. No wonder even the super first-rate guilds can't conquer it. After reading Su Qin's strategy, Feng Yu suddenly realized, the rest are just minor problems. With the capabilities of your Sunset Guild, you can overcome them in two more attacks. Su Qin also said that he was done. Feng Yu put away his notes. Aren't you worried if I don't honor it? Feng Yu said with an interesting smile. First, if I record this call, your Sunset Guild will get a bad reputation. Second, you will provoke an existence that you cannot afford to offend at all. And the Sunset Guild may never be able to reach the top level again, Su Chen said expressionlessly. His tone didn't sound like negotiating, but rather stating a fact. In fact, as long as he reaches level 100, Su Chen can lead a million skeleton soldiers to surround the Sunset Guild. And he knew that Feng Yu was very suspicious, and he didn't dare to take this risk. When he first revealed the Sunset Guild's true strength, he wanted to create a mysterious image that Feng Yu would not dare to provoke. Brother Luo, don't be so excited. I was just joking. Feng Yu showed his harmless smile. I wasn't excited either. I was just telling the truth from the beginning. Su Chen said expressionlessly. Feng Yu's words just now were clearly a test. Don't think that these great guilds are all gentlemen. Their appearance as gentlemen is based on a quality of status. If Su Chen was an ordinary player, then Feng Yu would have considered it conscientious to take this information lightly and just throw away some junk. Okay. This matter is settled. Happy cooperation. Feng Yu narrowed his eyes and smiled and waved his hand. Hang up the call. Feng Yu's smile seemed a little stiff. And there was some cold sweat on his forehead. Why does he know the hidden strength of Sunset Guild? No. He is deceiving me. Feng Yu breathed out lightly. I've been telling the truth from the beginning. But Feng Yu still couldn't forget what Su Chen said just now. Chapter 20. Slay the Wind Spirit. The Wind Sports Car becomes a popular forum. Crook Village. One person and one chicken. Heading deeper into the village. The monsters encountered on the way are all vulnerable to Brother Chicken. From morning to sunset, Su Chen was immersed in leveling. It's time to enslave another high-level boss before. That's enough. Su Chen looked at the sky and saw that it was getting late. The soul gift is refreshed at 2400 hours every day, and his quota today has not been used yet. In addition to the Jackal Leader, he also fought a level 35 lizard boss. But Su Chen did not choose to enslave him. It's too dangerous for me to enter the high-level demon area now. In that case, let's enslave a fast guy as a mount first. Su Chen also felt that he should have a mount. Catching pets in mounts in New World is very laborious. After all, this is the real world. And it is different from other online games. It is very hardcore. The first person to capture the mount was a real horse trainer who tamed an ordinary wild horse without any skills. In short, the characteristics, temperament, and preferences of the target creature must be taken into consideration. Most monsters are wild and difficult to tame. The griffin like Sledgehammer was able to tame a level 70 griffin with Sledgehammer's strength of more than 100 levels. This is all thanks to the help of the guild. If Su Chen wanted a mount or something, it was too easy. Just farm monsters, and then enslave them directly. When Demon Lord. Soon, Su Chen found his goal. After killing dozens of ordinary wind demons, the monarch of the wind demons was lured out. The wind demon lord is a level 50 boss. It looks like a ball of wind condensed into an entity. 
It is about three times the size of an ordinary wind demon. The wind is dancing wildly. The wind demon lord didn't hold back when he came up and directly launched his ultimate move. And the surrounding wind was immediately mobilized. In the wind field, mobility is reduced. Not only that, there were countless wind blades mixed in the strong wind and his health plummeted. Fortunately, Su Chin knew the skills of the wind demon lord and found a bunker early to hide. But Brother Chicken felt uncomfortable in this strong wind. It has much less health than its peers. And its defense isn't very high. It will definitely lose if it continues like this. Wan Jian returns to his clan. Brother Chicken also knew his situation. So he directly enlarged the wind demon lord hard steel. Although this skill has been simplified. Brother G's peak level is a dark gold boss of more than 100 levels. Is it really true that a tiger can't beat a dog when it falls flat? Even talking about the current level. Chicken Brother is also level 60. Beating the level 50 wind demon lord by head. Wisps of sword energy emerged from Brother Chicken's back. Those wind blades that were approaching were directly cut away by the sword energy. The virtual sword formed by a wisp of sword energy can cut about 6 or 7 wind blades before dissipating. After condensing, Brother G also released these sword energies and attacked the wind demon lord. The Wind Demon Lord is excellent in pure physical defense. Although it has an entity, its essence is still wind after all. But Chicken Brother Sword Energy is a sword energy that can cut the wind. Boom! The simplified version of 10,000 swords returning to the clan also has hundreds of sword energy. And the Wind Demon Lord was directly defeated. The Demon Lord of Wind fell to the ground. And the condensed entity began to slowly dissipate. After all, its essence was wind. Su Chen immediately ran out of the bunker and gave the wind demon lord his soul while it was still hot. The body of the wind demon lord stopped dissipating and condensed again. When the wind demon lord stood up, he already looked respectful to Su Chen. Name, Demon Lord of Wind. Variety, Feng Ling. Level 38. HP, 10,000. Level Gold Boss. Skills, Wind Blade. Wind Wall. Sigh of Wind. Control of Wind. Tornado. Flurry of Wind. It's true that the blood volume is getting weaker and weaker each time. But compared with the sharp drop from the chicken brother from more than a hundred levels, I think it is the reason why I should try the simulated entity. Obviously, the degree of sharp decline of the wind demon lord is much less than that of brother chicken. Your name is too convoluted. From now on you will be called Feng Feng. Su Chin changed this guy's name. But this guy was dumb and didn't react at all. He was not as naughty as brother chicken. It's level 25 and can no longer be upgraded. There is a copy with an upper limit of level 25, and it's time to get a record. After defeating the Wind Demon Lord, Su Chen's level reached level 25. The Ruined Dungeon provided him with 1% magic attack, which was not bad. So he did not plan to let go of those large dungeons with records. As for the small dungeon that recorded no bonuses, Su Chen simply skipped it. Then, he was not polite, and sat directly on Feng Feng's body. Feng Feng is solid. Very soft and a comfortable soft sleeper. As for Chicken Brother Su Chin, he didn't take it back and let Chicken Brother sit on Feng Feng's body. After all, there are still many high-level monsters if you want to leave Crook Village. Fo Feng is only level 38 now, so he may not be able to beat him. Having Brother G here is a guarantee of combat effectiveness. However, this also allowed many players who were leveling in Crook Village to see a magical scene. What is that? A man and a chicken flying in the sky? It seems to be a group of wind spirits flying with a chicken and people on its back. Can the wind spirit still be captured? Why can't I even tame a horse? The large dungeon in the outer area of Crook Village is still new to the area. But there are also some old and newbies or veterans who are not doing well here to lead new people. Someone took a screenshot of this scene and posted it on the forum. The rare mount wind spirit is accompanied by a pet chicken. This post quickly attracted some people. Holding grass. Please tell me how to catch Feng Ling. I am already level 95 and still using a bad horse. This is so cool. But the pet chicken looks stupid. The small dish coin upstairs is the level 115 Swift Chicken King. Even an experienced player like me can't beat it. Let alone capture it. What kind of awesome guy is ND? The president of our guild mobilized the power of the whole guild and only managed to capture a level 100 flame giant lizard. How to buy 1 million? The person in the picture contact me. 1 million. You are a new boss. He can not only catch the wind spirit, but also the chicken king. This is a symbol of strength. Suddenly, this post became popular. Because in, new world. 
Both pets and mounts are quite difficult to catch. There are no special items or special methods. It's okay to catch low-level monsters, but it's too difficult to catch high-level monsters. Although the level of Foam Ling is low, everyone knows that these guys have no wisdom and no hobbies. Intimidation and inducement don't work very well. Chapter 21 Copy Maze Ruins Su Chen had no intention of caring about the commotion caused by the forum. Now he just wants to brush the copy. When we arrived at the entrance of the dungeon, compared to the novice town, it was much more lively. When newbies are novices, they basically go out to kill monsters every day, but they don't even know what dungeons to fight. So there aren't many people there in the novice copy. Those who can reach this dungeon have obviously passed the newbie stage and have entered the exploration stage. If you are above level 20, you must have at least a bronze weapon and read the guide. The car is still one full. So come to someone with quality. Roll the dice and only roll the equipment that you can use. Please read the guide. If you don't know how to fight, don't come to scold me. Come and take me with a tough guy. Whatever the price is. Hey hey. Is there any handsome guy who can guide me? I don't know how to play. Let me have a strong melee man. Two priests in the team. Who can cooperate with me to block the pillars. The surrounding players are bustling. Unlike those games that were just launched. It has been in operation for a year now. The guides for low-level dungeons are very mature and bad. You can find a lot of them just by searching. The biggest difference is that low-level dungeons in New World have level restrictions. Old players with high levels cannot bring low-level dungeons with them. High-difficulty dungeons are where the maximum output of equipment occurs. This results in low-level players not being able to obtain equipment easily. Coupled with the global popularity of New World, a large number of new players are pouring in every day. So even if the low-level dungeon has been in service for a year, it will not be deserted. Su Chin is level 25 and the equipment all over his body shows that he is of a high quality. Such a person also attracted the attention of many teams. Brother, our team is now level 23 or above. Come to our team. We are an efficient team. We work every 10 minutes without any delay. You can do it in 10 minutes. I don't know who just came out after playing for half an hour. Are you looking for trouble? Why? I don't like your bragging. So you want to have a duel outside the dungeon area? Several relatively strong teams in this area have taken a fancy to Su Chin. There were even two teams quarreling. Obviously, they usually spend a lot of time here. Because they brought strong people into the team. Which also caused some grievances. Su Chin didn't stop even half a step. And kept walking slowly towards the entrance of the dungeon. It's like not seeing everyone. He raised his hand slightly and opened the copy. Maze Ruins. Level Limit. Level 1825. Please select the difficulty. Normal level, warrior level, king level, H, L level. Without any hesitation, he directly opened the H, L level. From entering the dungeon area, to selecting the dungeon and then entering the dungeon. Su Chin did it all in one go without stopping for a moment. Even the two people were still arguing and didn't notice. Captain, that man has already entered. One of the team members reminded. What? He has already entered the dungeon? The captain who was about to fight with the opponent was stunned for a moment. Yes, I looked at the information in the dungeon prompt. And it seems that the person chose the H, L level. The team member said weakly. Hey, I thought he was a master. But it turned out to be a nerve. When the captain heard this, the other party directly chose to go to H, L level alone. And he suddenly felt bored. The captain of the other team didn't want to quarrel with the other team at this time. They were actually quarreling over the same nerve. They are some of the strongest teams here. But even if they reach the king level, they need to select their players very carefully. Only enter the dungeon after adjusting to a good state and making good command and deployment. How about playing H, L level by yourself? Everyone is over level 20. And no matter how good they are at playing, to put it bluntly, they are not considered masters. It's impossible to reach the king level even if you have a strategy. Before the hell level, those top guilds spent a lot of effort to open up Wasteland. Knowing the strategy is useless even if the hardware cannot keep up. A group of people also dispersed and continued to recruit people. Maze Ruins After entering the dungeon, Su Chen read a line of prompts. Record holder, cool tone. 6 minutes and 31 seconds. It's a cool color. And it's broken by him again. He must be going crazy. Su Chen felt a little funny when he thought about it. In order to buff these clearance records, Lung Hua did not hesitate to delete his account and start over again. He snatched it away easily. He is still in a cooperative relationship with the Sunset Guild. 
and Feng Yu is temporarily shocked. Otherwise Feng Yu might really come to him for the cold color. It's said to be a maze, but it's actually just the ruins of a maze. If this was a complete maze, there would be no dungeon at level 25. The difficulty is quite acceptable. Brother Ji and Feng Feng, come out. Su Chen immediately released the two generals under his command. Brother Ji obviously calmed down a lot after he came out. He took out his sword and wiped it. Fo Feng is still the same, but he doesn't look as dumb as last time. After being given a soul, Su Chen still felt that the enslaved monster was no longer a mere puppet. There is also a certain amount of action thinking. However, no matter how their thinking changes, there is one premise, which is to be loyal to him. Among the ruins of the maze, there is a prototype of a maze. However, due to the damage, one can easily cross over the damaged area. Su Chen did not ride on Feng Feng, but supervised the battle from behind. There were some mechanisms in the maze, most of which Su Chen directly bypassed. Even other ordinary players can directly bypass these traps through strategies. But there are still things that cannot be avoided. When entering a corridor, several dark spaces on both sides of the wall opened, and several monsters emerged from the dark spaces. Name, Mechanical Demon Soldier. Race, Puppet. Level, Level 28. Level Elite. Skill, Unknown. Hell level monsters usually start with elite monsters, which is why the H. L level is so difficult to defeat and the level is higher than the upper limit for players restricted by the dungeon. When the puppet demon soldiers came out and saw Su Chen, they rushed over. However, Brother Chicken's sword flashed with cold light, and several puppet demon soldiers were chopped to pieces. Of course, Foam Foam also worked very hard to grab two monsters. His wind blade also directly killed two puppet demon soldiers. I fell down before I could take action. Su Chen also felt the loneliness of a master. However, this also made Su Chen realize that his own strength must be improved. His own strength is not that of a top expert. But as a mercenary, he has climbed out of the battlefield countless times. His actual combat experience and skills may not be much worse than those of the current masters in the game. Regarding this, Su Chen was still confident. Chapter 22 breaks the record again. He is too mysterious. Moreover, those strong men only have 5 points for equipment. 2 points for skills and three points for technology. Maybe there was something wrong with his understanding. After all, he had never really played against a master, and he had no chance to catch up if he was ahead step by step. In terms of the distribution of the proportion of technical equipment and skills, the technology may be even higher. But when his equipment and skills become luxurious, won't he become a full-fledged master? After passing through the passage, we detoured some places. It was really unavoidable. So I just pushed it, a door opened and entered a hall. Boom. Boom. The scattered stones on the ground suddenly condensed. Combined to form a stone giant. But if you look carefully, you can see that there are machine patterns on those stones. Name, Mechanical Stone Giant. Type, Puppet. Level 30. Level Silver Boss. Skill Unknown. Ahead. No passage allowed. The rear is closed. The stone giant made an electronic sound. Boom. At the same time, the door that Su Chen pushed open was really closed. Dust was raised all over the place. But a real man never looks back. Su Chen pointed lightly with the index fingers of both hands. And Fong Fong and Brother Ji behind him rushed forward like mad dogs. Dominion of the Wind. As soon as Fong Fong came up, he used a skill to summon his younger brother. Immediately, two ordinary wind demons appeared. Swift Wind Sword. Back Jump Chop. Phantom Sword Energy. Brother G used a set of silky little combos and greeted him directly. When Brother Chicken's first sword slash hit the stone giant, the stone man's attack happened to land on the back jump slash. At the same time, Brother Chicken also released a long-range sword energy attack. Then Chicken Brother used the wind sword and the sword to return, jumping repeatedly around the stone giant. The stone giant is just like a stupid boss in front of an agile boss like Chicken Brother. After attacking Chicken Brother to no avail, the stone giant went to attack Fong Fong again. However, in terms of speed alone, Fong Fong is faster than the high level Ji Gu. The stone giant was so angry that he jumped up and down under the play of Fong Fong and Chicken Brother. Then under Brother Chicken's sword, it turned into a ball of rubble again. After the stone giant fell, the door to the passage opened. After touching it casually, a piece of rubbish bronze gauntlet exploded. So Su Chen didn't care. Anyway, he is eliminating equipment very quickly now. And equipment of this level is just transitional and useless. 
Why did you buy the silver suit before? That's because it's too difficult for Su Chen to upgrade. If he wants to use millions of skeleton soldiers, he must let millions of skeleton soldiers share their experience. After consuming millions of skeleton soldiers, there was no fighting capacity left. But after learning the second inheritance skill, Soul Grant, Su Chen's current strategy can also be changed. At least now, Su Chen doesn't need to use millions of skeleton soldiers to upgrade and fight dungeons. So now the level increases quickly. So there is no need to rush to get equipment. When Brother Chicken can no longer cover him, he will actually have to have millions of skeleton soldiers. After passing through the lobby passage, it turned into a narrow passage again. After Su Chen eliminated some other miscellaneous soldiers, it was finally time to face the big boss of the maze. The passage is another door. And like the stone giant, it enters another hall. The hall was empty except for a giant statue in front of it. It was a knight with two ponytails armed with full body armor. That's right. The owner of this maze did not set a gender for the statue. Its body is armor. Click. Click. The stone layer on the statue's body slowly fell off. Boom. As the statue jumped down, all the stone layers on its body exploded. Name, Twin Ponytail Knight. Race Puppet. Level 30. Level Gold Boss. Skill Unknown. Although this was not the first time he fought this boss, Su Chen felt strange every time. In particular, this knight is obviously tall and powerful. But the twin tails on his helmet look inconsistent. I don't know what kind of evil taste this maze owner has. Su Chen didn't have much to say about this boss. He pointed his index fingers towards the knight with two ponytails. The two mad dogs rush forward again. Wan Jian returns to his clan. The wind blew wildly. When fighting the stone giants before, Su Chen didn't let them use their ultimate move, but reserved it to kill the twin ponytail knights. The stone giant only defends against high health, but it is a target in itself, and it will be quickly suppressed by its level. The two ponytail knights were a little agitated during a good fight. Because of the special environment, there are many agencies around that can provide protection to the twin ponytail knight, which allows it to avoid a lot of harm. Su Chen didn't forget that he was here to race and set records, not to play with twin tails. The two ultimate moves are directly related to each other. Suddenly, the surrounding wind roared, and the knight with two ponytails was restricted from moving. Then countless wind blades and sword energy began to condense in the air. Under Su Chen's order, they did not attack immediately, but charged up explosions. Now there is no damage to the twin tail knight, nor does it jump to the trap on the platform to avoid it. Su Chen felt that it was almost done, so he gave the order directly. Whoosh! The wind blade and sword energy that were suddenly gathered formed a hedgehog for the knight with two ponytails. That suit of armor was directly smashed into scrap metal. Seconds. At this time, the world announcement also sounded. World announcement. Congratulations to player Luo Chio for breaking the record of Maze Ruins with a time of 3 minutes and 26 seconds. What? It's only 2 minutes faster than the cool colors. It seems that the cold colors are quite powerful. R. Su Chen looked at the announcement with some amusement. You are currently the record holder of the Maze Ruins. And you have obtained the buff. Defense increased by 2%. 2% defense is not bad. Better than nothing. Su Chen was relatively satisfied with the reward for this entry. Sunset Guild. Because of the materials Su Chen mentioned, their guild didn't have much inventory. So they were collecting them at this time and didn't go to make copies immediately. The entire guild is in an intense preparation stage. World Announcement. Congratulations to player Luo Chio for breaking the record of Maze Ruins with a time of 3 minutes and 26 seconds. A world announcement made detention in Sunset Guild a little strange. That person really has something. He's more than 2 points faster than you. Right? He hit his mouth with a sledgehammer and said in disbelief. It's 185 seconds. The cold tone just said lightly. Haha. Uh -huh. You guys really like to be serious. Sledgehammer also laughed when he saw the cold tone. It seems that he may really be some top person who deleted his account. I haven't heard of him. It must be because we have too little experience. Thing Yu's eyes narrowed and he said with a smile. Don't take it to heart. This is how things are recorded. Feng Yu also calmed down the cold tone mood a little. It was impossible to deal with a player named Luo Chio. The opponent was not only powerful, but also had a background that they could not afford to offend. It was just that the forces behind him seemed unable to come forward for some reason. Otherwise, how could it be possible that the first pass opportunity would be given to them? Moreover, in the first pass of previous dungeons, there was no shadow of mysterious forces. 
They were all familiar forces. I turned away from the first copy record. But this is a good thing for the guild. And his information is very credible. He said coldly. No matter who the other party is. At least for now. It seems that they have no ill intentions towards them. Which is enough. Chapter 23 He is Luocio. It's useless not to admit it. Ha uh ha. -huh. Just pretend. Lao Lung. Don't cry while you wait for him to set a series of new records. Sledgehammer laughed directly. Trying to expose the disguise of cold colors. When I say I don't care. I mean I don't care. Cold tone frowned. Okay. Sledgehammer. It's not like you don't know his character. So stop looking for trouble. Fong Yu narrowed his eyes slightly and smiled. Why do you even say that? Am I like that kind of person? The cold tone looked at the two people with some displeasure. Sledgehammer and Fing Yu nodded in unison. Cool colors? Maze ruins. Entrance. The two groups who had quarreled before had almost gathered their manpower at this time and were ready to open the book. World announcement. Congratulations to player Luo Chio for breaking the record of Maze Ruins with a time of 3 minutes and 26 seconds. One person can master the H. L level alone for more than 3 minutes. When did we? A group of newcomers. Have such a fierce person? The only entrance to the Maze Ruins is here. So let's squat here to see who the fierce man is. I? Wang Hao. Like such a tough guy. I suspect your enemy is named Wang Hao. Stop talking. Someone has come out. And the light at the entrance is definitely from H. L. Although the ID does not appear on your head. You cannot detect other people's IDs when they are not attacking you. But it's not hard to find. Luo Chio is a solo player. And the single player is very conspicuous here. After all, the dungeon is very difficult and there are very few single players appearing. At this time, a single player appeared. The man's appearance was very unique. He was almost entirely dressed in white clothes and didn't even have any bronze equipment. He still held a big wooden stick in his hand. A pure novice weapon. Shishui is a very simple and cute guy. He bought this game when it was on sale and became addicted as soon as he played it. But he is the kind of person who is addicted to food. It took him almost a month to reach level 20 by killing chickens and chasing rabbits. Since he didn't understand anything and didn't know how to read the guide, his level caused him to miss the first simpler dungeon. He has not accumulated equipment through the previous dungeon. And the explosion rate of ordinary monsters is low, which leads to him still using the novice weapon Big Wooden Stick. With this condition, naturally no one would team up with him. Being addicted to food, he decided to enter the dungeon alone and at least do some sightseeing, thinking that it was all sightseeing anyway. When it came time to choose the difficulty, I chose a difficulty level at random. I happened to choose the H, L level. When he came out, he saw a large group of people surrounding him. He thought that these people were here to beat him. So he immediately raised the big wooden stick, ready to fight back if these people attacked him. Although the group of people in front of him were well armed, he might not be able to defeat them. Just when Xiaoshui was nervous, a person in front of him looked at him with a fawning expression. Boss, please. Xiuxuai recognized that the person in front of him was the captain who had rejected him when he applied for the team. And when he rejects himself, he still spits out sweet things and despises himself. Ah, why is it you? The man had just finished his flattering words and saw Xiuxuai's appearance clearly, thinking that he had just rejected the boss. He suddenly looked scared. Boss, it was my fault just now. I apologize to you and please don't hold a grudge against me. With that said, the player threw a piece of silver equipment to Xiaoshui. This is my most valuable equipment. Boss, I was wrong. Don't hold grudges against me. After finishing speaking, he ran away without waiting for Xiaoshui to speak. I didn't dare to stay any longer. If you make a grudge against a tough guy, if you meet him outside, you'll just hack him straight away. It's better to throw away some silver equipment and ask for mercy. Although silver equipment is good, it is only a transitional equipment after all. It's better than being hated by a tough guy. Xiuxuai's face also made a group of people who wanted to please him stunned. Because Xiuxuai had applied to many teams before. Almost everyone present had rejected Xiuxuai. There were also people among them who were spitting all kinds of sweet things at Xiuxuai, just like the person just now. And some of them spoke particularly unpleasantly. Brother, I didn't know you were so fierce. I was wrong. Please let me go. I didn't mean it just now. I was drunk before playing the game. I also drank some alcohol before playing games. And I'm sober now. Many people, those who had offended Xiaoshui just now, also followed the example of the person just now and threw equipment at Xiaoshui.
but most of them have bronze equipment. And that person is obviously richer. Although other people did not scold Xiaoshui. They still refused at that time. For a moment, those people regretted it and did not dare to step forward to hug his thigh. Some people who wanted to please Luo Qiu also sent equipment to Xiaoshui. The handsome man was dumbfounded. After a while, he realized what was going on. It turned out that these people regarded him as a master of customs clearance records. I'm not. Don't be like this. Xiaoshui declined. I don't believe it. The big chicken drumstick in your hand betrays you. You must be a giant player of the souls-based game. Boss, please take care of me. My name is 666. So awesome. Brother, I have studied yoga. You know, he was obviously telling the truth. But no one believed him. However, looking at people giving him equipment from time to time, Xiaoshui suddenly had a bold idea. At this moment, Su Chen also came out of the copy. As soon as Su Chen came out, he saw a person surrounding him not far away. Those people seemed to be looking at him fawningly. Suddenly someone ran over there and bumped into Su Chen. Go away and don't stop me from hugging my thigh. Can you be responsible for the delay? The man looked at Su Chen and said with a look of disgust. Um, sorry. Su Chen thought about it. He had really delayed others. If you get the appreciation of that big boss, any missing pieces of equipment that you don't need will be treasures. A longing smile appeared on the man's face. But when he came back to his senses, he glanced at Su Chen with disgust and then ran over without caring about Su Chen. Is there such an awesome person? I have no impression. Su Chen looked at the people watching from a distance. Didn't see it clearly either. But it was too crowded there. And Su Chen wasn't interested in hugging anyone's thigh. Is it okay for a priest to hug someone's thigh? Su Chen didn't care and left this lively place directly. He planned to go straight to leveling. As for this record, there is no need to improve it. Even if it is only 3 minutes and 26 seconds, it is not so easy to break. It would be almost difficult for a normal top tycoon to break this record starting from scratch. Unless there is another priest who is more awesome than him. If there is a priesthood that is really better than him, he won't be able to hold it for another minute or two. So let's leave it at that. Chapter 24 The Sensation Caused by the Fake Luocio Then you kept it a secret. Also on the forum. There is a post that is very popular. The true appearance of the mysterious boss Luo Qiu was revealed for the first time. And he declared a new record king in 3 minutes and 26 seconds. Because until now, Luo Qiu has only appeared in the public eye by name and has always kept a low profile. Except for Sunset Guild Sledgehammer and Julian. No one else has seen Luo Qiu. New World. Cannot check other people's IDs unless others take the initiative to reveal their IDs. The person who posted it forgot to record the video. So there are only a few screenshots. However, it can be seen from the screenshots that the opponent should be Luo Chiu. After all, right after the world announcement, one person came out of the dungeon alone. Which normal novice can clear the dungeon alone? The person in the screenshot is naturally Xiaoshui. His image also attracted a lot of attention. Some people said before that Luo Chiu came out to face the battle by trick. To see what his weapon was? Holding the grass. The familiar big chicken drumstick. Dressed in white. Made a record. People were probably dumbfounded by the cold tone. What kind of monster did he lose to? It turned out to be the person who taught me the big chicken legs. He just used the big chicken legs to set a record. It's so powerful. I would like to call Luo Chiu the leader of the chicken leg sect. Could it be that the great O from another Souls-based game has moved to? New world. No need to think about it. After reading this post during the live broadcast, Big O God just watched the video released by Cool Color. He said that he was not sure that he could break the copy record of Cool Color with big chicken legs. Is that called a broken record? That's called crushing records. I declare unilaterally that Luo Chiu is the god of records. The poster said that Master Luo Chiu went offline after a while. I guess I was very tired after breaking the record. So I went to rest. Sunset Guild. After Leng Hu saw the post, he immediately found Sledgehammer. Feng Yu is also there. They have almost finished preparing the materials and are having a meeting to formulate strategies. Is he Luo Chiu? Did he really break my record with a newbie weapon? Cold Hue has never met Luo Chiu in person. In the entire Sunset Guild, only Sledgehammer and Feng Yu, who had a video call with Luo Chiu last time, had seen Luo Chiu. What are you talking about? Sledgehammer looked at Cold Color with some confusion. Lung Hu knew that he was too impatient and quickly showed the pose to Sledgehammer. Feng Yu also glanced at the side. 
Didn't you be say you don't pay attention to Luo Chio? I didn't even pay attention to it after I said it was okay. What about your intense surfing on the internet? Sledgehammer did not answer the question directly, but joked. Stop talking nonsense and answer me quickly. The cool colors are also a bit impatient. He's anxious. Boss, he's anxious. Sledgehammer looked at Feng Yu and said, Cold toned, light speed and blood wrath. His face was already red. Yes, he is Luo Chio. When I saw him at that time, I saw him holding a big chicken drumstick and torturing a boss. Sledgehammer said seriously. It turned out to be true. He actually broke my record using only novice weapons. Cold Yu took two steps back and ran out directly. Looking at the direction, it's the direction of the training ground. Obviously, the cool colors are here to vent. Sledgehammer, you are so bad. Don't tease him like this next time. Feng Yu said as he taught Sledgehammer a lesson. No, boss, you are still talking about me. Didn't you also see Luo Chio? Why didn't you expose me just now? Sledgehammer immediately said dissatisfied. He knows that the boss is a bad person. Obviously, he also wanted to see the cool tone. Light speed. But he still had to pretend to be a good person and educate himself seriously. I think our guild's archery group is a bit weak. Let's focus on cultivating the archery group and deduct resources from the breakthrough group. Feng Yu muttered to himself in some distress. Boss, I was wrong. I won't play with cold colors next time. Sledgehammer immediately became enlightened and said, Just kidding. Feng Yu smiled again. Sledgehammer curled his lips. He knew Feng Yu's virtue. If he didn't admit his mistake, Feng Yu could really do it. Okay. It's okay not to tell him first. This person is Luo Chio's substitute. We don't need to expose him. He must have his own intentions. Feng Yu said slowly. Only then did Sledgehammer come back to his senses. After thinking about it carefully, it seemed that this was really the case. This person was probably arranged by Luo Chio. Obviously Luo Chio didn't want to be in the public eye. If he stupidly said it out, he would really offend Luo Chio. Boss, I'm really convinced. I almost spilled the beans just now. At the same time, Sledgehammer admired Feng Yu even more. Otherwise, why is Feng Yu the president? So he can only be the group leader of the main group? What this mind thinks about is more than others. It's really mysterious. I really don't know what Luo Chio's background is. Maybe only the Excalibur people know. Feng Yu thought secretly in his heart. However, I also paid more attention to Luo Chio's strategy. Maybe the Sunset Guild is just a chess piece in Luo Chio's hands. But in the world's game, what he fears most is that he is not even qualified to be a chess piece. Why the forces behind Luo Chio didn't choose the first pass was not a question he should think about. The question he should be thinking about needs to change direction. For example, how to complete this first pass faster, so that Luo Chio can see the value of Sunset Guild. And maybe he will come to him next time. Just a bitter cold tone. If he had kept this matter a secret, he would probably have been brooding over the fact that he broke his record because of the big chicken drumstick. He is very aware of the cold tone. And if he looks away, he is just being tough. Otherwise, the world would not have announced the news about Luo Chio immediately. So he would directly search for relevant information online. Is this the reaction you should have if you look at it? Crook Village. After Su Chen came back from completing the dungeon, he continued to level up. I practiced until about 11 o'clock in the evening before going offline. I'm at level 29. I'll get up early tomorrow and grind. And I'll be at level 30. Su Chen came out of the game cabin. Guru. Some are hungry. I was so focused on killing monsters that I forgot to eat dinner at night. I called Zhou Jing directly. Hey, I haven't had dinner. Whether I come for a late night snack or not, I'll treat it as dinner. Lydia Su said straight to the point when she got on the phone. Well, I just finished brushing it. And I happened to be a little hungry. Zhou Jing had dinner. But he was also hungry from playing games. Same place. After Su Chen said that, he put away the phone. Before going out, Su Chen remembered that he had been upgraded today and wondered whether his actual abilities had increased. The black energy rose from his hands. But this time, he didn't shout out the lines for Chuji. A skeleton soldier appears. After waiting for a while, the second skeleton soldier appeared. Immediately afterwards, the third skeleton soldier also came out. Chapter 25 New Inherited Skills Dark Mark But then, there was no movement. The limit is three skeleton soldiers. It seems that my guess is correct. As my gaming strength increases, more energy leaks out of the gaps in the barrier. This also confirmed Su Chen's guess yesterday. 
He had never heard of similar news in his previous life. And he didn't feel it either. Thinking about it, to be able to pass through this gap in the barrier, it must be a special energy that can pass through. Whether he was the only one, he didn't know. It is also possible that other people have acquired the ability to let energy pass through reality in advance. Such people must be very few. And only very few people can keep the secret. Crunch. Crunch. Three skeleton soldiers are on standby in the living room. These skeleton soldiers are the ones he summoned before. And the weapons in their hands are all made of bone. Presumably this is also the reason why he did not upgrade the skeleton soldiers in the game. Thinking of making an appointment with Zhou Jing. He immediately put away the skeleton soldiers. Old couple's electric grill shop. You know the big news today. That Luo Chio broke all the records for cool colors with a big chicken leg. As soon as it was served on the table. Zhou Jing couldn't wait to chat. Big chicken legs? Su Chen was stunned. When did I pass the level with the big chicken legs? In fact, Luo Chio's identity had to be told to Zhou Jing sooner or later. So Su Chen didn't hide it. You said you are Luo Chio? Lao Su. I didn't realize that you are quite humorous. Zhou Jing took out his phone and showed the post to Su Chen. Look, how much does the person in this screenshot look like you? Zhou Jing laughed directly, looking like he was exposing Su Chen's disguise. Although the characters created in New World are not directly realistic, they are somewhat similar to reality. Of course, there is also a certain degree of disguise. Anyway, with the most advanced facial recognition, it is impossible to identify the real identity through the game characters. But there will be some similarities. Obviously, the Luo Chio in the cell phone screenshot has absolutely nothing to do with Su Chen. When Su Chen saw the characters on the screenshot, he felt they looked familiar. Isn't that the boss surrounded by a group of people at the entrance of the dungeon? Good guy. That man was called Luo Chio. And he was Su Chen Chen's substitute. Lao Su. I didn't expect that your face wouldn't turn red at all when you brag. Zhou Jing took back his phone, looked at Su Chen and said with a smile, of course, Su Chen could insist that he was Luo Chio, or even log into the game directly, and then take a screenshot of his ID and post it on the forum to prove his identity. You can do that, but it's not necessary. On the contrary, it is quite good to have one person as a shield. If you say it is, then it is. No excuses. Su Chen also stopped defending. Anyway, he didn't lie to Zhou Jing. He said that he was Luo Chio's. But Zhou Jing didn't believe it. These days, no one believes the truth. Zhou Jing took it as a joke and didn't dwell on the matter. The two of them chatted while eating, and then went back to their homes to rest. The next day, Crook Village. Su Chen didn't drink last night just to get up early today. After entering the game early in the morning, Su Chen began his diligent journey of killing monsters. After grinding all morning, I finally reached level 30. Last time, a legacy skill was given at level 10. I wonder if there will be a legacy skill at level 30 this time. However, it doesn't exist at level 20. And it's normal that it doesn't exist at level 30. But Su Chen is still looking forward to the addition of skills. The two current inherited skills are both super powerful. Player, Luo Chio. Occupation, God of the Dead. Level 30. HP, 3550. MP, 3820. Strength, 305. Intelligence, 502. Stamina, 211. Spirit, 588. Physical Defense, 5705. Magic Defense, 5103. Inherited Skills, Summon Ordinary Skeleton Soldiers. Soul Gift, Dark Mark. Here it comes. The Inherited Skills are finally here. Seeing this, Su Chen's early morning fatigue suddenly disappeared. View Properties Now. Dark Mark, the damage you cause will add any negative status to the opponent, quenching. Chaos. Damage amplification. Dominance. Burning. A single type can be stacked up to 10 layers. When a single type is stacked, the detonation effect can be triggered. Detonation effect. Poisoning will turn into poisonous explosion. Chaos will turn into madness. Damage will be doubled as the damage is deepened. Dominance will become temporarily under your control. And combustion will turn into pyrolysis. Looking at this skill, Su Chen was a little confused for a moment. It just looks messy. First of all, his understanding should be that the damage caused by himself counts. But each status is randomly attached to the other party. Moreover, the skill explains that only when a single state is stacked 10 times can the detonation effect be triggered. If it were purely random, it would take dozens of hits to fully stack a buff to 10 layers. Of course, there is another way. 
which is to choose weapons or ordinary skills that will have status effects. But in terms of detonation effects, the effects of domination and damage amplification are the strongest. The damage amplification effect is a bit better, but controlling the effect is too difficult. Chaos, quenching poison, and burning are relatively simple. Many equipment or skills have these three effects, so they are not difficult to collect. It looks pretty good, but it feels a lot different from the previous two inherited skills. Suchin shook his head. The first two skills are to summon millions of skeleton soldiers. Although the millions of skeleton soldiers will share his experience, there is another one who is directly enslaved. Anyone who can beat him can become his subordinate. Compared with the two summoning ones, this skill obviously strengthens his own ability. In comparison, it seems a bit stretched. The last time I activated a heritage skill was at level 10. This time it was level 30. I don't know what level it will be next time. Su Chin touched his chin. It may be 20 levels apart. Or it may be incremental. The first time is 10 levels. The second time is 20 levels. Then the third time may be 30 levels. Of course, it could also be purely random. For example, at level 30, you get inherited skills. And at level 35, you get inherited skills again. It's useless to think about this. The quota for slavery today is not used yet. Su Chin didn't think so much for the time being. Summon Fong Fong and Brother Ji directly. One person and one chicken sat directly on the wind mass. Heading deeper into Crook. Ji Gu is in close combat. Fong Fong is used as a mount most of the time. And he only acts as a control player in fights. Su Chin wanted to find a remote location for his team. After riding Fong Fong around the depths of Crook Village for a long time. I finally found a good target. A humanoid demon wandering around the village. Holding long muskets in both hands and walking like a marionette. Fallen dual gun demon. You are the one. Seeing the guy in front of him. Su Chin was quite satisfied. Chapter 26. Immortal True Fire. Do you call this burning state? At this time. The two gun demon also discovered Su Chen. Like a killing machine. Red eyed when he saw anyone. He immediately made an attack stance towards Su Chen. Name. Corrupted Double Gun Demon Spirit. Variety. Demonic Spirit. Level 60. Level Gold Boss. Skill Unknown. The wind blew wildly. Before the dual gun demons could attack. Fong Fong directly used his ultimate move to control the field first. However, the dual gun demons are long range. Compared with melee combat, Thing Thing's ultimate move is not particularly effective in restricting it. Several wind blades hit him. And the double gun demon disappeared directly. Su Chen knew that this was the shadow escape of the two gun demon spirit. Unless he takes the initiative to attack. He cannot be discovered unless he has advanced anti-stealth skills. Su Chen also asked Fong Fong to defend carefully. And asked Brother Ji to block the escape route of the two gun demon. Boom. Charge up and shoot. The two gun demon did not think about escaping. But took the lead in attacking Fong Fong. Who attacked it first. Critical hit. Minus 5000. Fong Fong lost half of his health. You must know that this is still the case when Fong Fong itself has a certain ability to avoid physical attacks. But after all, the level 60 golden boss is not that easy to deal with. Chicken Brother is just a level 60 dark gold boss. Moreover, after being enslaved, Chicken Brother's HP is less than that of a normal boss. Fortunately, Chicken Brother is a speed type. If he is a stupid person, he will have to be walked by the double gun demon. Su Chen also immediately asked Fong Fong to step back and provide assistance. Swift Wind Sword. Brother G directly interrupted the attack of the two gun demon spirit. Otherwise, Fong Fong would not have been able to withdraw. However, Chicken Brothers always smooth little combos. The Swift Wind Sword followed by a jumping slash, and then the Phantom Sword Chi to pursue. Were a little overwhelmed when facing the dual gun demon. When Brother G was chasing the Wind Sword, he was dodged by the double gun demon with a sliding step. Facing the demon spirit with two long range guns, Brother G didn't dare to use the back jump slash. So he directly switched to the wind sword to pursue. It's not easy to fight. It seems I have to take action. Su Chin took out a bow that attracted monsters. Generally, those who do not have long range professions will prepare at least a monster drawing bow. Su Chin still has experience with the monster drawing bow. At least with such long experience. He still has basic accuracy. Take a bow and shoot an arrow. Middle. Su Chin roared angrily. The arrow pierced the air and hit the feet of the two-gun demon with a fierce momentum. A little bit raw, Su Chen's embarrassment flashed over and he continued to shoot arrows. Middle, where to escape? Look at my magic arrow. 
The feet of the two gun demon were covered with strokes of arrows. I don't believe it. Su Qin got a little carried away and planned to use the random arrow technique that he was very good at. Hit me. Call out. You? This time I finally succeeded. But it was Chicken Brother who was shot. And the chicken was hit by an arrow. Brother G was suddenly hit by an arrow without any precautions. He was stunned for a moment and glanced at Su Qin in confusion. At this moment, the distance that they had finally caught up with was widened by the double gun demon again. Even Fong Fong, who was playing support next to him, gave Su Qin a strange look. All right. In fact, he has never been talented in archery. And the experience he has accumulated is also rich in stroke experience. He also shoots chicken feather arrows. Su Qin threw the bow and arrow away, picked up the knife and rushed forward. Drive him towards me. Su Qin also gave Brother Ji an order. These two BS were too fast. And he couldn't catch up. So he could only let Brother Ji block the movement of the two-gun demon and chase him towards his place. After a while, the two-gun demon was chased. Three consecutive cuts. Su Qin rushed forward and used an ordinary three-cutting skill. Minus 28. Minus 35. Minus 30. Due to the huge level gap, Su Qin dealt an astonishing over a hundred points of damage. But Su Qin's purpose was not to cause harm. At this time, he looked at the status bar of the dual gun demon spirit. Damage amplification, one layer. Burn, one layer. Chaos, level one. Su Qin naturally used his dark mark skills. However, it is really both rain and dew. And the three swords have three additional states. Su Qin took a look at the dual gun demon spirit and saw blue fire erupting from it. And was a little surprised. In the burning state, is it an immortal real fire? Su Qin didn't expect that an ordinary burning state could actually be an immortal fire. Eternal fire, as the name suggests, is a flame that cannot be extinguished. But Su Qin took a closer look and saw that the flame was still gradually getting smaller. Although it could not be extinguished by the two-gun demon spirit for the time being, it turns out to be fake fire. But if it reaches 10 levels, will the pyroblast activated become a real fire? Su Qin thought curiously. The flames on his body could not be extinguished for the time being, which made the two-gun demon become irritable. At this time, as the two-gun demon became more and more violent, the seeds of chaos began to sprout. The two-gun demon began to feel a little confused. And Brother Chicken took advantage of this opportunity and gave the dual-gun demon a heavy blow. At the same time, due to the increased damage, Chicken Brother's attack directly received a huge bonus. Originally, one sword could only cut off about a thousand HP of the dual gun demon spirit. After the damage was aggravated, it was stunned that it cut off a thousand and fifty HP. Holding the grass? Why is this effect so exaggerated? I thought it was just a simple state. Burning and beating the dual gun demon meant scraping it. But in the end, it actually scraped the bones of the dual gun demon. Su Chin was a little surprised. This inherited skill, which he regarded as the weakest, gave him a huge surprise. He originally thought that it would take 10 layers to see some effect. And one or two layers would be just for fun. The result was just one or two layers. And it was so outrageous. How outrageous would it be if it could be stacked 10 times to trigger the detonation effect? However, the five states are random and must be stacked 10 times. Unless you are particularly lucky or a bad luck, you have to attack about 50 times. Su Chen had previously thought that other weapons or skills with attribute attacks could be used. Now it seems that an ordinary burning state is a surreal fire that is one step away from real fire. Ordinary burning is useless. After causing so much trouble to the two-gun demon, the two-gun demon suddenly noticed Su Chen. I actually caught his attention. Su Chen felt helpless when he felt the eyes of the two-gun demon spirit. In the eyes of the two-gun demon, he, an ordinary level 30 human, was actually a greater threat than the level 60 dark golden chicken. Shooting wildly. The dual gun demon was also very angry and launched his ultimate move directly towards Su Chen. This one is crazy. Su Chen didn't dare to make excuses. So he directly found a bunker and, okay, to escape in advance. However, Chicken Brother is not a vegetarian. After Su Chen attracted the attention of the two gun demon, Chicken Brother immediately slashed at it. Chapter 27, Putting Away the Double Guns. The critical moment for the Sunset Guild. Wan Jian returns to his clan. After locking the dual gun demon, Brother G also opened the gun directly. The two gun demon was still trapped in the anger just now. And perhaps the influence of the seeds of chaos prevented it from coming to its senses immediately. Demonic energy breaks out. Bombing. 
feeling Brother Chicken's ultimate move. The double gun demon spirit immediately activated his own ultimate move. And threw out his two great skills. If he fights forcefully, he may be able to kill Brother G. Because Brother Chicken's blood volume dropped sharply after he was enslaved. His blood volume is superior to Brother Chicken's. Even if his attack power is lower than Chicken Brother, he still has a certain chance of winning. But his miscalculation was that he didn't alert him immediately. Brother G had already locked the two-gun demon in advance when he was madly attacking Su Chen. The two-gun demon was more than a beat slower. Coupled with Feng Feng's harassment, the dual-gun demon's release of skills was also delayed. Boom! Hundreds of sword energy directly penetrated the two-gun demon spirit. The two-gun demon fell to the ground. Su Chen also came out of the bunker after feeling two beams of light flashing from his body and rising to two levels. It seems that upgrading is not difficult. This is level 32. Su Chen was also very satisfied. Of course, this is Su Chen. Even if others are guided, if a high-level player guides a low-level player, his experience will be reduced first. At the same time, there is no experience bonus for low-level players when high-level monsters are defeated by high-level players. For Su Chen, level 30 and level 60 will be directly counted as skipping experience. If you want to let ordinary players go, being led to defeat such a boss, it would be pretty good to have one-tenth of Su Chen's experience. If other players heard what Su Chen said, it would probably arouse public outrage because it was too much. Accept my servitude and become one of the chosen ones. Su Chen waved his hand gently. The two-gun demon slowly stood up at this time. After seeing Su Chen, he put away the gun and saluted to Su Chen. Name, Corrupted Double Gun Demon Spirit. Variety, Demonic Spirit. Level 50. HP, 15,000. Level Gold Boss. Skills, Normal Shooting. Shadow Escape. Double Bursting Shot. Charge Burst Shooting. Frenzied Shooting. Gravity Grenade. Magic Burst. Wild Bombing. The blood volume is a little less. But not as much as Chicken Brothers. Su Chen was quite satisfied with the attributes of the Two-Gun Demon Spirit. Especially since the level has only been reduced to level 50. It is quite profitable. From now on. Just call it Double Gun. Su Chen also changed the name of the Two-Gun Demon Spirit. The Two-Gun Demon nodded. It didn't look too dull after being enslaved. Fo Feng is still stunned until now. I guess my IQ is not very high to begin with. Currently, there are three major combat powers in the troops he enslaves. Fo Feng is a level 38 gold boss. Dual Gun is a level 50 gold boss. And Chicken Brother is a level 60 dark gold boss. Dark Mark is really good. I should also get some skills and equipment to enhance myself. Mainly skills. Su Chen looked at his current slave army and felt that it was time to improve himself. Equipment is transitional. But good skills can be used for a long time. But the problem now is that he has no place to learn skills. Everyone else has professional mentors. If you want to learn skills, just find a professional mentor. He changed jobs just because he was contaminated with the divine blood. He has a mentor from Mao Shao. He can't go to the current god of the undead to learn skills. Right? He does have inherited skills. But currently these skills are all big skills. And there are no small skills suitable for his attacks. If there is no professional inheritance, you can only buy some skills sold by others. It's not that the skills for sale are high quality. The key high quality skills are very expensive. And the prices are very high. Su Chen must not get any money. The Sunset Guild is rich. But the relationship between myself and the Sunset Guild cannot actually be said to be friendly. At present, it is a relationship of mutual utilization. A certain degree of deterrence is required as a prerequisite for cooperation between the two parties. He can ask for epic and legendary things. But he can't ask for money. Ask for money and reveal your bottom. The one that is relatively close here seems to be Hijia Town. Which was founded by Hijia Guild. Su Chen touched his chin and thought. As several top first class guilds successively built villages and promoted cities. Subsequent first class guilds followed closely. Up to now. The villages built by some powerful second rate guilds have been upgraded to cities. The Hijia Guild is an inferior guild. It has just been promoted from village to town. And is still far away from the city. How about going to the new library in Hijia Town and borrowing some skills to learn? Su Chen touched his chin. But thinking about it. I think it's better to wait. Now if I want to borrow some books from Hijia Town. I can only send out millions of skeleton soldiers. He is only level 32 now. I don't think a million skeleton soldiers can defeat Hijia Town. Besides. Even if you eat it. It will be troublesome. 
he is currently upgrading quite smoothly. If he calls out millions of skeleton soldiers with experience points, his upgrading rhythm will be interrupted again. If we don't attack the city first, we can only go to the trial tower to break through. Su Chen felt that it was better not to summon millions of skeleton soldiers to attack the city. Continue to upgrade in Crook Village and go to the trial tower tomorrow. By the way, you can also pick up a new slave partner in the trial tower. Copy of Hell Tyrant. The Sunset Guild went on to attack the most critical moment. The final boss. Hell Tyrant has bottomed out his health bar. Thing Yu was highly nervous. And every decision he made would determine the success or failure of this attack. In order to prepare for this tough battle, Sunset Guild spent a lot of time, energy, and materials. Victory was about to happen, but Thing Yu felt something was wrong. Apart from telling him the key points, Su Chen told him very few details. But Su Chen still mentioned one key detail. Hide in the H, L pit. Thing Yu suddenly remembered this detail and immediately roared loudly. The Hell Tyrant only has a little bit of blood skin left. He can kill the Hell Tyrant with a strong blood pressure. But now Feng Yi wants to stop the rhythm. Many people don't understand. What a temptation. They defeated this boss and surpassed all the top guilds for the first time in the entire server. But fortunately, everyone in Sunset Guild's elite group has excellent execution ability. They have hell neutralizing ointment smeared on their bodies. So they won't lose blood even if they hide in the hell sand. Along the way, if it weren't for this neutralizing ointment, they would have been wiped out countless times. Just when everyone was hiding. Suddenly the air heated up rapidly. And then the air burned directly. This is a full screen flash kill ultimate move. The people hiding in the sand pit looked at the flame storm above in disbelief. Chapter 28 The first pass through the tyrant dungeon. Seems to have been tricked by Luochio. It wasn't just the members of the elite group who were shocked. Thing Yu, who had made this decision at this time, hid in the sand pit and looked up, and was also stunned. In fact, he had always just listened to Su Chen's information. Neutralizing ointment and some previous strategies are actually understandable. It is normal for the forces behind Su Chen to achieve that step. Thing Yu never thought that he could pass the level directly with this strategy. What he thought was that as long as this guide had more than half of the health, it would be pretty good. Who knew? This would really be a 90 level strategy. Even the final full screen flash kill ultimate move has a solution. It lasted for a full 30 seconds before the flames in the air dissipated. Everyone get to the ground. Don't waste your skills. And use all your strength to attack the boss. After Feng Yu saw the attack dispersed, he shouted loudly. No one dared to hold back. Everyone used their strongest skills and smashed towards the boss. Their hard work for so long and the supreme glory after clearing the level are the reasons why they cannot lose. The Tyrant of Hell, who had already used his super move, was actually unable to fight back at this time. But everyone still did not dare to relax. Boom! Under the bombardment of everyone's firepower, the Hell Tyrant was reduced to pieces. Have you passed? No one dared to believe themselves. And no one dared to shout. I'm afraid there is a second form. World Announcement Congratulations to the player Feng Yu. Cold Color Sledgehammer. Little Flying Squirrel and Big Head. Waiting for all Sunset Elite players for completing the first pass of the Hell Tyrant Dungeon. They are the strongest warriors in the new world. Let us applaud the heroes. After hearing the world announcement, the people in the Sunset Guild finally became excited. Too excited? Many people celebrated each other and had a carnival. At this time, no matter what the differences between men and women were, everyone was very excited and had no wrong thoughts. Pass. The cold-colored hand holding the bow trembled slightly. We are number one in the entire server. That's awesome. Sledgehammer was bold and roared loudly. But no one blamed him at this time. Even the most polite person in the group had disheveled hair and was roaring in celebration. The first global release of this copy was won by them. Each of their names will become a topic of discussion among players around the world. Lung Hu had just come back to his senses and wanted to celebrate with the other members. But found Feng Yu in a daze at the Hell Tyrant's place. Boss, what's wrong? After the cool tone man walked over, he was a little confused. Why do you look a little unhappy? Then you shook his head helplessly. It's nothing. It's just that we lost money on this trip. A big loss. Then you looked ahead. Cold Hugh also took a look. There was only a pair of gloves on the ground. And the light emitted from them was at least on a mythical level. Nothing but the gloves. Mythical gloves. Isn't this great? Lung Hu didn't know the content of that negotiation and asked doubtfully. According to the agreement with Luo Chiu, this glove belongs to Luo Chiu. Feng Yu shook his head and said, Ah this. 
Lun Hu was stunned. But he knew that this strategy was provided by Luo Chio. President, please be more open-minded. Without Luo Chio's strategy, we wouldn't be able to beat this dungeon. It doesn't matter if we learn from our experience and help him beat it once. The cool tone comforted Feng Yu. No. In addition to this glove, our guild also owes him a mythical blueprint. Feng Yu held his forehead. The cold tone man opened his mouth, wanting to say something. But when the words reached his lips, he didn't know what to say. Mythical equipment itself is very precious. As Lung Hu himself said, without Luo Chio's strategy, they wouldn't be able to beat the dungeon now. It makes sense to give Luo Chio this equipment. But the Sunset Guild actually had to pay Luo Chio another mythical blueprint, which was a bit hard to accept. Luo Chio didn't know that Hell Tyrant would only explode one piece of equipment. He must have thought that it would not be a loss for us to exchange the other items for a mythical blueprint. Lung Hu thought for a while, and then spoke. Ever since he learned that Luo Chio broke his own record with a big chicken leg, Lung Hu was completely convinced by Luo Chio in his heart. He felt that a person with integrity like Luo Chio would not trick their sunset guild. Do you really not know? Feng Yu narrowed his eyes slightly. Not as if he was answering in a cold tone, but as if he was talking to himself. Luo Chio even knew the boss's last big move, and even proposed a solution. We've already reached this point. Why didn't the forces behind Luo Chio get the first pass? He also saw just now that the Hell Tyrant stopped resisting immediately after releasing this skill. Feng Yu himself didn't believe it when Luo Chio didn't know that Hell Tyrant only exploded one piece of Lord equipment. But I had already agreed. Not to mention that Luo Chio must have recorded the screen as evidence or something. Even if Luo Chio and the forces behind him were so terrifying, he would not dare to offend Luo Chio for a mythical blueprint. However, now that the Sunset Guild has passed through for the first time, you can take the opportunity to clear more copies. For dungeons, the sooner they are maxed out, the higher the max rate, and it is normal for the first pass to be maxed out. This can be regarded as making up for some losses. The guild currently has no inventory of mythological blueprints, so try your best to buy them. If that doesn't work, just exchange them for some of the guild stock at the bottom of the box. Then you waved his hand. You definitely can't rely on it. And now you can only accept it. However, the influence that a first pass brings to the Sunset Guild cannot be measured by a mythical drawing. It's not necessarily a loss. Anyway, I can only think like this now. And I can't think about it in detail. Otherwise, the more I think about it, the more angry I will become. World announcement. Congratulations to the player phone you. Cold color sledgehammer. Little flying squirrel and big head. Waiting for all Sunset Elite players for completing the first pass of the Hell Tyrant Dungeon. They are the strongest warriors in the new world. Let us applaud the heroes. A world announcement made an otherwise peaceful day suddenly boil. What's going on? The top guilds haven't made any progress yet. And the Sunset Guild is the first to win the first pass? Why didn't I know that the Sunset Guild was so powerful? They were much weaker than those giants. Right? Hold the grass. The people in the Sunset Guild's elite group will definitely have a skyrocketing value after this release. The guild I am in is also a first-class guild. And now their main team is still fighting for the warrior level. So I want to change guilds. I have been looking for a guild for a long time recently. I didn't know where to go. But now it seems that it is the Sunset Guild. Sunset Guild is recruiting new members. We are looking for masters from all walks of life. If you are interested, please contact me. Suddenly, the world channel exploded. Sunset Guild did not miss this opportunity and took the opportunity to recruit new people. It is conceivable that after such a wave, they can recruit many masters. Chapter 29, there is someone behind the Sunset Guild. I must hook him. The entire, new world, was shocked by Sunset Guild's operation. The forums also boasted or marveled at Sunset Guild's achievements. However, some people hold different views. Among the posts with different points of view, the one with the highest number of replies was a post called, Big Dark Horse! Sunset Guild may have someone to help. Due to the confidentiality agreement, my identity cannot be disclosed, but based on my understanding of the Sunset Guild, it is impossible for them to defeat the Tyrant of Hell. At least, they should not be the first to pass. According to the precise calculations of our data scientists, the configuration of the Sunset Guild is exactly stuck at the minimum requirement line. What does this mean? This means they have no room for error and need to know all the play styles in Hell Tyrant. The analysis of this post is reasonable and well-founded. But some people doubt it all because of one mouth. This view has also aroused the agreement of many people. Of course, 
There are also people who don't believe it and talk mysteriously, but they don't dare to come forward substantively. Moreover, it is impossible to fake world announcements. There are no cheats in New World, and there are even no bugs to be found. If anyone can cheat or find bugs in New World, that would be better than the first pass through hell. If you understand, you will understand. If you don't understand, it doesn't involve too much trouble. Riddler. Right. I think what the poster said actually makes sense. How did the Sunset Guild, the strongest H, L version at present, overcome such a big gap and complete the first pass? You wouldn't say they cheat. Right. If you can cheat in New World, I will call a bunch of my buddies to help you brag if you make the first pass. Once it's over, it's over. No matter how much you say it, it will be sour. It is estimated that they may really be members of the First Rate Guild. Sent to slander them because they saw that the Sunset Guild was faster than them. High and black. Right. No wonder he dared to reveal his identity. If you have this ability, you might as well think about how to beat the dungeon. This post with different opinions is very lively. It almost turned into a debate between the pros and cons. And it even turned from a debate to a shouting match. Guanlan Association. Like the Sunset Guild, they are also in the first class guild class. It seems that the Sunset Guild is starting to leave us behind. Sure, Luo Luo said a little disappointed. But Sister Luo, is there something fishy about this matter? Cha Meng Lu frowned slightly and said, There is not much difference in overall strength between them and the Sunset Guild. But now they can't even say it's easy to fight against any warrior. When playing at the king level, you are directly abused. You can't survive at all. It's like being crushed. I know what you said. There was a lot of noise on the forum. But the fact is that they did get through. Sure, Luo Luo obviously understands this. Someone should be helping the Sunset Guild. But it is obviously impossible for the Sunset Guild to tell us. Sure, Luo Luo looked a little helpless. If there is such a person to help their guild, with their strength not much different from that of the Sunset Guild, they can also do what the Sunset Guild can do. Sister Luo, I have a guess. Maybe it's the person who secretly helps the Sunset Guild. Cha Ming hesitated for a moment, and then said, Ah? Why are you talking about this now? Please tell me in detail. Sure Luo Luo made a sound and asked urgingly, Is such that? Then Cha Ming told about a person named Luo Chiu that his cousin met a few days ago. The sledgehammer from the Sunset Guild had gone to look for Luo Chiu in Banyu Town. Originally, Cha Ming didn't care about this matter. But a few days ago, Cha Ming learned that Luo Chiu directly used a big chicken drumstick to break away from the long recording time of cold colors. And she felt something was different about Luo Chiu. She was barely considered a master. So she was asked to delete her account and practice again. But she didn't even have the confidence to break the cold tone record. Not to mention, it was thrown away by a large margin. Just like running, cold colors are equivalent to being trapped by Luo Chiu, which is beyond the scope of common sense. The cool tone master is already a first class master. Even if a master of the same level were to try again, the record of cold tone colors would be broken at most, and it would be impossible to set a trap. Even the top few people have strong skills. But more importantly, it is their skills and equipment, and the dual suppression of technology and equipment that can stabilize the ranking of top players. Starting over means giving up the suppression of equipment, skills, etc., and competing purely on technology. Similarly, it is normal for them to win half a circle with cold colors. But it is difficult to say that they directly circle the circle. Not to mention, using a novice weapon, a big chicken leg hoop, is simply outrageous. If you say so, that Luo Chiu is indeed very suspicious. Sure Luo Luo nodded seriously after hearing this. If you want to use novice weapons to torture a top-notch master like Cool Color, your skills have already surpassed those of the strongest bosses now. They are all professional level. Where can they be pushed? So there is still a possibility. He is a geek who is proficient in all kinds of copies. Beyond the ordinary guides. His understanding of dungeons is probably no longer on the same level as others. In addition, the Sunset Guild has become strange since it found Luo Chiu. I don't have to conquer the dungeon anymore. I just have to start my life again and collect materials. Now it seems that Sunset Guild has other plans. Cha Ming. No matter what he wants. He must come to our guild. Sure Luo Luo also realized this and said directly, even if the secret of Sunset Guild's first pass is not Luo Chiu, it would still be quite good for Guanlan Guild to have such a master join. I have to leave this matter to my cousin. When thinking of this, Cha Ming was a little helpless. 
He had already tried to join Luo Chio after he passed the dungeon last time. But Luo Chio's friend application was set up not to accept anyone's application. Apart from the Sunset Guild. Probably the only person who has contact with Luo Chio now is her cousin Julian. This is indeed a problem. But since your cousin can gain his friend, it seems that Luo Chio should have a good impression of your cousin. Sure Luo Luo cheered up. After hearing what the president said, Cha Ming also hesitated. To be honest, she didn't want to betray her cousin and let her work hard or something. In fact, he had only seen the screenshot of Luo Chio until now. And it was the time when he was surrounded in front of the dungeon. It's hard to say what kind of person Luo Chio really is. How can he push his cousin into a trap? If your cousin can lure Luo Chio here, and Luo Chio is really the key figure in conquering the dungeon. Well, your cousin. I promise to give her a vice president in the future. But she must be promoted slowly. Otherwise others will gossip. At the same time, you have also made a great contribution. So I will give you 50,000 contribution points. Sure Luo Luo showed a naughty smile and looked at Cha Ming. Chapter 30, Looking at the Guide. The shock of not having a sword. Orcs will never be slaves unless they have food and shelter. After hearing Sher Luolu's promise, Cha Meng could no longer resist the sugar-coated bullets. In fact, I feel that Ju Lian shouldn't be disgusted with that guy. Should I go back and try to persuade him? Cha Meng said with some wavering. Okay, that's it. We have to catch up. Sher Luolu smiled happily and held Cha Meng's hand. Cha Meng was a little confused. She didn't know whether she was cheating her cousin or not. Excalibur Guild. Copy of Hell Tyrant. The milk can't keep up, and the blood is falling out too fast. Wu Jin frowned as he watched the team fall into another hard fight. As one of the top guilds, the Excalibur Guild is now encountering great difficulties in conquering this dungeon. The current progress of the entire guild has been affected by this. There must be some way. Wu Jian recalled his previous experience and felt that it would be impossible to fight with such force. Originally, he thought that it would be too difficult for the Excalibur Guild to face this dungeon. But even the Sunset Guild has been cleared. So this is not a problem. Retreat. Stop fighting. Seeing that the team was in a tug of war again, Wu Jian waved his hand and made the decision to cancel the capital. After hearing the command to retreat, the entire team began to cover each other and retreat in an orderly manner. There was also a few seconds of guidance time for retreating. The withdrawal of capital was very smooth. And the discipline of the first class guild was so strict. Perform leveling and repairs. After saying this, Wu Jian directly chose to return to the city. Everyone was a little confused when they saw Wu Jian leaving so easily. That's from the Excalibur Guild. Right? There is still only one group in the top 10 of the clearance list, Sunset Guild. It seems that Excalibur Guild has failed again. This can't be blamed on the Excalibur Guild. Their guild has more melee professions that play swords. So playing this dungeon is actually a disadvantage. Not only the Divine Sword, except for the Sunset Guild, no one has cleared the level. The Sunset Guild has really risen in this wave. The people of the Divine Sword Guild looked a little unhappy when they heard the whispers around them. Seeing that the people in the Excalibur Guild were unhappy, others did not dare to speak openly. But they still discussed in secret. And this time, Wu Jian has returned to the city where their Divine Sword Guild was founded and arrived at his own room in the City Lord's Mansion. After closing the door and window, Wu Jian made a video call on his friend's list. After the video call rang for a few times, it was hung up directly by the other party. Not many people dared to hang up Wu Jian's call. Even if Wu Jian himself wasn't angry, the pressure behind him made people dare not do that. However, Wu Jian was not angry, but waited patiently on the spot. After a while, the other party's video call came. Brother, I knew your call was coming soon. The person in the video is smiling with narrowed eyes. That person is Feng Yu. You did so well this time. And your father already knew that he was very happy. Wu Jian said lightly. No one had ever thought that Wu Jian, the president of the top guild, and Feng Yu, the president of the first class guild, were actually brothers. They have hidden their identities from the beginning of the game and chose to develop independently. The elder brother Wu Jian received more resources, while the younger brother Feng Yu received relatively less resources, because Wu Jian was indeed ahead of him in all aspects. I am very curious as to what the content of that strategy is which actually allows your guild to defeat a group of top guild lines and get the first pass. Wu Jian then continued, I knew you wanted a strategy, but we brothers will settle the score. Feng Yu's smile turned into a crescent moon. Obviously, he was waiting for Wu Jian. Well, 
you originally have fewer development resources. So it's appropriate to allocate some resources to you. Wu Jian nodded. It can be regarded as an agreement. After all, if the consumption continues like this, the consumption of the Excalibur Guild will not be small. The resources given to Fingyu were at least given to his own family. So it was not considered a loss. I won't trick you into using other resources. My guild has enough resources. Just give me a mythical blueprint and that's it. Feng Yu smiled slightly. Silence. Feng Yu was not in a hurry. Waiting for Wu Jian's reply. I happen to have mythical blueprints. But do you want too many? Wu Jian was a little unhappy. He was usually helpful to his younger brother. But Feng Yu immediately opened his mouth. Brother, you really misunderstood me. I owe that mythical drawing to others. I have been collecting recently. But you also know how hard it is to find mythical blueprints. I am working for nothing, and I still owe others. Feng Yu still said calmly. After hearing what Feng Yu said, Wu Jian's expression improved a little. The one who provided the guide? Wu Jian was a little surprised. The request made by the other party seemed to be a big ask of a lion. But my younger brother accepted it as ordered. But it's not a loss either. Not only the Excalibur Guild, but other top guilds have also been hampered by this copy for too long. It just so happens that this is their level. And being able to get the best dungeon means the best source of equipment. The sooner you clear the dungeon, the higher the explosion rate. Pass this dungeon as soon as possible and update the equipment of the main group so that it can reach a more advanced level. Otherwise, if there is anyone else, I have already made the guide into a document and I will send it to you directly. Thing you also sent the document online. This is really just a strategy guide. As for the neutralizing ointment, they still need to use it when playing the dungeon themselves. They have had this copy exclusively for the past few days. So the explosion rate is as comfortable as possible. Giving Wu Jian this guide, but not the finished product, would also cost Wu Jian some time to collect and prepare. Remember to mail me the mythical drawings as soon as possible. I'll get to work first. Feng Yu gently disconnected the communication. Wu Jian was looking at the strategy attentively. In the front, it was fine without a sword. When he saw the last big move warning and the corresponding countermeasures, Wu Jian was a little confused. And on this point, Feng Yu also specifically marked it. This was what the original attacker marked. Not his summary of experience. This made Wu Jian even more shocked. Why? Even though we've already reached this point, why didn't the person who posted the guide get through it himself? Wu Jian's hands were shaking a little. He thought of a possibility. Could it be that group of people who live in seclusion? Wu Jian was also a little uneasy. He thought that the person who could provide this guide would not be simple. But he did not expect that it would be so terrifying. His younger brother Feng Yu didn't know. But he was different after getting a broken divine object. He discovered that a small part of his abilities could be realized in reality. Moreover, he accidentally learned that he was not the only one like him. Those people may have been the ones who knew the secret from the beginning. Chapter 31 Stupid Robot Clearing the 20th Floor The next day, Trial Tower after a day of hard leveling yesterday, Su Chen's level has reached level 35. I checked in too late last night, and I still feel sleepy when I woke up this morning. Su Chen yawned. However, Su Chen cheered up when he arrived in front of the tower. You can generally start brushing the trial tower after reaching level 20. There is a limit on the number of times you can brush it. You can only brush it once a month at most. Of course, you can also directly buy tickets at a high price to get additional opportunities to brush towers. The trial tower has a certain scale balance. But after the 10th floor, the scale system becomes weaker and weaker. For example, Su Chen is now level 35. Before level 10, the monster Su Chen match were probably around level 35. But after losing the balance of the Libra system, Su Chen might encounter someone of level 50 or 60 on the 11th floor. And it would not be too much to directly encounter someone of level 100 on the 20th floor. However, generally as long as you pass level 10, you can get rewards. With each level above, the reward becomes higher, especially skills. The easiest thing to give in the trial tower are skills. And the skills are pretty good. Just go in. Soon Su Chen came to a place like an arena. Su Chen also knew the process well. Every time he defeated an opponent, he could advance to the next level. The venues are relatively random. There are grasslands, mountains, deserts, seas, forests, ice fields and other terrains. And basically, the matching monsters on the opposite side better match the environment. Especially special terrain like the sea is the most difficult to fight. If you fight against sea monsters in the water, you will be a bit weaker. If you are good at the fire element, 
You can vote directly. The arena on the first level is relatively simple. Three level 32 gladiators walk slowly from around. Chicken Brother, Double Gun, and Fong Fong are all on the scene. Before the three gladiators came over, the two guns used normal attacks and fired continuously at the two gladiators at the same time. Brother G also rushed over, found another target, and solved it quickly. The first level of battle ends. Time, three seconds, hitting too fast. Originally, the trial tower changed scenes and monsters very quickly. But as a result, the system of the trial tower was stunned for a moment. However, I got stuck for a while and came to the second floor. For Su Chen, the first ten floors are all the same. The second level of battle ends. Time, three seconds. The third level of battle ends. Time, five seconds. The monster on the tenth floor was a little tougher and held on for ten seconds. The eleventh floor. The balance of the scales begins to weaken. Su Chen was also a little more serious. A desert. The monster is a level 50 sandworm. But this sandworm is only a bronze level boss. It's not much stronger than elite monsters. Of course, if an ordinary level 35 player encounters a level 50 sandworm mini boss in a desert terrain, it's almost time to declare the trial over. Tornado. At this time, Fong Fong used his skill and headed towards where the sandworm was burrowing underneath. Suddenly the sand was dancing wildly. The sandworm hiding under the sand layer was suddenly rolled up. As soon as the target came out, the two guns opened fire directly and kept shooting at the sandworms. Brother Chicken also has long-range skills, and he can also deal damage to sandworms. The battle on the 11th floor ends. Time, 30 seconds. The 11th level is already a little difficult. Then the 12th floor, the 13th floor, and so on. The difficulty begins to double, but they were all solved by Su Chen. The battle on the 19th floor ends. Time, 2 minutes and 20 seconds. By the time it reached the 19th floor, it was already quite difficult to deal with. Every 10 levels is a hurdle. It's a hurdle in terms of difficulty. But it's also a hurdle in terms of rewards. Su Chen gave himself the lowest goal, which was to reach the 20th floor. And any more would be too much. 20th floor. The surrounding scene suddenly turned into a power plant. There were broken power lines everywhere and electric sparks flickering on the ground. Beep beep. Intruder spotted. Alert alert. Many small robots ran out of a machinery factory. These little robots rushed towards Su Chen like crazy. Bayou. 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 The twin guns clean these small robots very accurately. But there are too many of them. After all, only two guns are not enough. At this time, Brother Chicken is still the best. He rushed in and slashed with his sword in various ways. He slashed from left to right. And from right to left without blinking. Warning. Warning. Suddenly there was another muffled mechanical sound. A large robot appeared. Nourished. 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 As soon as it came up, it launched an electromagnetic attack. Suddenly, the broken wires on the ground seemed to be activated. The floors are electrified. Su Chen was riding on Fing Fing's body and could avoid damage in the air. The guns couldn't fly. So Su Chen also let the guns land on Fing Fing's back. Fing Fing's speed is very fast not inferior to the twin guns that are good at speed. And this allows the twin guns to shoot more accurately. Brother Chicken, on the other hand, held the sword in his mouth, fluttered his wings, and still stayed in the air for a short time. Su Chin took a look and found that it was just a level 60 golden boss. This kind of boss with strong abilities, coupled with the adaptation of the environment, is too powerful for home battles. The most difficult thing about the trial tower is actually not the matching boss but the most comfortable terrain for these boss. This is the hardest part. Of course, Su Chen didn't attach much importance to the trial tower. If you want to achieve particularly high results, you may have to let an army of millions of skeletons do it. But it's not necessary. Places like the trial tower can be refreshed once a month. And you can also buy tickets. The price is high for ordinary players. For Su Chen, it's still quite high. Su Chen has no money now. Although Fong Fong is only level 38, it can run very fast. Although the large robot was level 60, it was obviously still bulky and couldn't catch up. The two guns here move and shoot on Fong Fong. Brother Chicken jumped onto the large robot, directly picked up the sword with his wings, and dealt a blow to the giant robot. At this time, the robot changed its attack method. The discharge ceased and turned into a spitting fire. If Brother Chicken hadn't been so agile, he immediately dodged a backward slash and would have almost been roasted like a turkey. 
Demonic energy breaks out. Indiscriminate bombing. The double guns are also activated at this time. With a buff type ultimate move and an output type ultimate move. Turn it on at the same time to provide powerful output to the robot. The stupid robot was still defeated and fell to the ground. Do you want to enslave a level 60 stupid robot? Looking at the big robot on the ground. Su Chen hesitated. After thinking about it, Su Chen thought it was better to forget it. This robot's most powerful attack method is actually to electrify the ground. But that's because of the terrain. In normal combat, this robot is still a bit weak. Chapter 32, Full Stack Effect Immortal True Fire After thinking for a while, Su Chen gave up enslaving this stupid robot. The 20th floor battle ends. Time, 8 minutes and 7 seconds. If you can't beat the 20th floor, you can be considered as achieving Su Chen's goal. There are a total of 35 floors in the trial tower. And the difficulty increases crazily with each subsequent floor. The 21st floor opens. The surrounding area became a rocky cave. Boom! A huge monster made of boulders appeared in the cave. Name, Lord of Doran Rock. Variety Stoneman. Level 70. Level Gold Boss. Skill Unknown. This is still the first time I have fought against a monster higher than Brother Chicken. Generally speaking, the level 70 gold boss and the level 60 dark gold boss are comparable. But Chicken Brother is a weakened version. And Rock Lord itself plays at home. So this is a problem. Attack with all your strength. Cover me. Su Chen also immediately issued the order. If the three of them had a head-on confrontation with this Rock Lord, they should be able to win. But it is estimated that both the double guns and Fo Fong will have to die. Or Brother G will be killed. Leaving only a double gun. The skill of being able to be permanently enslaved and given the soul is already powerful enough. And one cannot ask for resurrection. So if we fight for it, we will end up with one less one. It took a lot of hard work to catch him. So he can't just give it away for free. Dark Mark. He had to take action and place the mark. Of course, with the size of the Rock Lord, it is hard to say that he will be instantly killed by AoE in melee combat. So he once again took out his junk bow for attracting monsters. However, he did not attack immediately. Indiscriminate bombing. The wind blew wildly. Wan Jian returns to his clan. The three ultimate moves were activated at the same time and blasted towards the Rock Lord. Rock Lords are large and move slowly. R. But correspondingly, its defense and HP are very high. Only Brother G caused some damage to it when hit with three big moves. The other two injuries are the same as Gua Sha. Boom! The Rock Lord stepped on the ground. And the gravel suddenly fell. The Rock Lord grabbed some falling boulders and threw them directly at his target. Brother G received Su Chen's order to dodge before he attacked. So he hit it this time. Even the lowest level Feng Feng moves very fast. Just when the Rock Lord attacked Brother G and the others, Su Chen was already setting up his bow in the corner. Call out! Call out! Call out! Su Chen fired three quick shots. The last time he fought the twin guns, he also shot with a bow. But the results were all strokes. But this time, the Rock Lord's goal was too big. This made Su Chen unable to do anything even if he wanted to. Of course, these arrows didn't even break the defense. The Rock Lord's powerful defense ability was not something he could break. But, burn, one layer. Quenching poison, one layer. Domination, level one. Su Chen's original intention was not to cause harm. As long as someone was touched by his attack, there would be a mark of darkness. After Su Chen shot, he predicted the Rock Lord's movements and immediately changed places. As expected, the Rock Lord immediately launched an attack at Su Chen's place, but was dodged by Su Chen who had predicted it in advance. Even though this is the home ground of the Rock Lord, it still cannot change the fact that it is bulky. Call out! Call out! Call out! Burning, two layers. Chaos, level 1. Damage amplification, one layer. Su Chen shot cold arrows again and the debuff on the Rock Lord also changed. Shock. The Rock Lord angrily hammered the ground, causing the ground to shake. Fo Fong. Su Chen called out, and Fo Fong immediately humped him. At the same time, he gave an order to Fo Fong to stop attacking, and he sat on Fo Fong to avoid while concentrating on shooting arrows. After holding on for a while, there are already a bunch of debuffs shining on the Rock Lord. Burning, seven layers. Quenching poison, five layers. Domination, Level 3. Damage Amplification. 3 Layers. Chaos. Level 2. I don't know if the chance of burning is inherently higher than others. But many of his attacks will have a burning effect. 
I originally thought that burning the stone would not cause much damage. However, although taking down the flame is still a little behind the real fire, it has already transformed the Rock Lord into the shape of the Flame Lord. The Rock Lord was terrified. Summon the Stone Man. The Rock Lord appeared out of thin air with several boulders, threw them out, and turned them into stone men. These stone figures are not particularly large, but they are more than three meters tall. The key is quantity. With the participation of the stone people in the battle, the situation became a little more troublesome. Brother Ji and Xuanqiang were forced to clean up these stone men, but these stone men also had high defense and thick blood, so it was not easy to clean them up at all. Call out! Call out! Call out! Su Chen was still shooting arrows, focusing on the highest level. Burn, nine layers. There is only one layer left. Just one layer. Su Chen felt that there should be a qualitative leap by reaching the tenth floor. But this level has never come. The Rock Lord began to become irritable, and his whole body began to curl up. Su Chen knew that this was the Rock Lord's move. R. Stop! Su Chen roared loudly. The three levels of control finally came into effect. With Su Chen's loud shout, the Rock Lord briefly entered a state of obeying orders. The Rock Lord was really stunned. However, Su Chen did not dare to give other instructions because he saw that the dominance buff on the Rock Lord was rapidly declining. Domination, level 2. Domination, level 1. When he was about to lose everything, Su Chen was still shooting arrows. Finally, burn, 10 layers. Detonation effect, burning turns into pyrolysis. Boom! The flames on the Rock Lord's body suddenly exploded and turned into blue explosions of light. The Rock Lord suddenly turned into a ball of fire. That is really the immortal fire. No matter how high the defense of this big guy is, it cannot withstand such a large area of immortal fire. Su Chen was also a little surprised. This was the first time he had triggered the effect after 10 layers. He didn't expect such a big leap. True fire not only burns the surface, but also attacks the soul. No matter how powerful the Rock Lord's surface defense is, according to Su Chen's knowledge, the Stone Man clan's soul defense has never been very good. At this time, the dominance effect also ends. Return. Su Chen took back Brother Ji and the twin guns. He was riding full phone and avoiding everywhere. Explosive rolling. This is the ultimate skill of the Rock Lord. It can produce an earth explosion effect around the rolling area. However, the pyroblast is still continuing on it. And it looks like a double explosion of earth and fire. The burning pain of the soul attack made the Rock Lord lose his mind. And its attacks were aimless. On the contrary, because Su Chen rode Feng Feng too fast to attack, the stone man it summoned became its main target. Chapter 33, Monarch Gloves The limited skill meteor arrives. The Rock Lord was rolling around like this because he was actually trying to extinguish the flames on his body. But this is an immortal fire. How can it be extinguished so easily? Of course, the immortal true fire is not really that domineering and cannot extinguish anything. The soul is the main fuel of the eternal fire. Once the Rock Lord's soul burns to ashes, there will be no raw materials for the eternal fire to continue burning. Su Chen only had to wait, and there was no need to continue attacking. The Rock Lord continued to attack crazily for a few minutes. And slowly, it finally stopped rolling. The battle on the 21st floor ends. Time, 23 minutes and 19 seconds. He actually played for more than 20 minutes. Which is worthy of the 21st level. Su Chen sighed a little. In fact, even if players with a level of more than 100 levels are pretty good, it will be extremely difficult to reach the 20th level. The Libra system is very weak at more than 100 levels. When it reaches more than 20 levels, it can even match monsters close to level 200. Su Chen did not immediately open the 22nd floor, but walked to the Rock Lord. Just choose Slavery. Name, Lord of Doran Rock. Variety, Stoneman. Level, 55. HP, 30,000. Level, Gold Boss. Skills, Rock Attack. Punch Attack. Shock. Sweep. Stone Throwing. Concussive impact. Burst rolling. The blood volume is a bit low. Su Chen frowned. However, there are still traces of burns on the body of the rock. It seems that after being attacked by real fire, it also suffered a certain amount of damage. The characteristic of the rock lord is that it has thick health and high defense. But now that it has been doubly weakened, there is only so much left. The reason why Chicken Brother's level is so low is because his level was too low at that time. Fortunately, the Rock Lord still had level 55 after being reduced. Forget it. You can just call yourself a rock from now on and go rest. Su Chen thought about it and renamed it. Then took it back. 
The 22nd floor is about to open. However, a few seconds after turning it on, Su Chin directly chose to exit the trial tower. Because he saw a hundred level monster in an ocean environment. This is basically useless. 22 floors are enough. Settlement in progress. Your rating is a level. And the corresponding rewards are being drawn. Congratulations. You have extracted the skill ice cone surround. Ice magic is here. Su Chin was speechless and looked at it at the same time. Ice cone surround. Generate several ice cones that surround you. You can actively attack or passively defend. When the enemy approaches, they will be automatically launched. Overall, it's not bad. It can be considered a multi-stage attack skill. This is considered an advanced skill in the ice system. Without a skill tree, he can only learn it through such a skill book. This ice magic has pre-learning requirements. And it can only be learned after the ice attribute reaches the standard line. However, as a god, Su Chin simply ignored the study requirements and forced himself to study successfully. I just came out of the trial tower and found a letter in my mailbox. At the same time, there was a message from Feng Yu among his friends. The most popular lord equipment is gloves, and the mythical design drawings have been sent to you. But you can see for yourself what they are. In addition, if your people want to join the third group, then just contact Sledgehammer directly to make arrangements. Just reading Feng Yu's message, Su Chen could think of that guy's face. It is indeed possible for mythical blueprints to become popular, but that would have to be very lucky. I think this mythical blueprint is the kind of useless blueprint that Feng Yu was looking for. Although the mythical blueprints are called mythical, many of them either have strange designs or require materials that are very difficult to find and cannot be collected by ordinary people. Usually the true value of mythical blueprints is equivalent to legendary equipment. If some drawings have the situation just mentioned, the value will be even more reduced. This is also the reason why when Su Chen proposed the mythical blueprint, the Sunset Guild thought it was expensive, but still accepted it. If Su Chen proposed additional mythical equipment, the Sunset Guild would probably not agree to the deal. Every piece of mythical equipment was very important to the Sunset Guild. Losing any one of them would be a heavy blow to the Guild. Su Chen did not rush to look at the drawings, but first looked at the mythical gloves sent to him. Hell Tyrant Gloves. Type, Gloves. Level Requirement, Level 150. No Attribute. You can designate any target and launch an arbitrary item. The target cannot avoid it. Cooling Time. 10 hours. Any of your fire skills will gain damage amplification effect. Attached skill. Fire source purification. Limited skill meteor arrival. Fire source purification. Let your fire source be concentrated and purified. Limited skill meteorite arrival. Summons a miniature meteorite from the sky. Which can be used to target the target. The number of uses is 0 slash 1. It turns out that the meteor destroyed a wave of monsters because of the skill of this glove. Su Chen only knew that the Hell Tyrant's Lord suit was very valuable. But he actually didn't know the specific attributes. High-end mythical equipment is indeed powerful. Aside from that limited skill, the other functions are also very powerful. Whether it is forcibly launching an item with 100% hit, or refining the flame, and amplifying the damage, it is very practical. It's a pity that you need level 150 to use it. But it looks really cool when it's on your hand. Su Chen looked at the gloves on his hands and sighed. Su Chen, what happened? Why did I put on these gloves? Su Chen was a little confused. If you don't have the level, you can't equip it at all. I won't say that the equipment has no effect on the body. If it doesn't have the effect, it can't even be equipped. Just when Su Chen was confused, he found that the black energy contained in his hand suddenly became stronger. In fact, Su Chen didn't put on the gloves at all. The black energy entangled the gloves and attracted them. These black energies come from the true blood power of the god of the undead. The tyrant of hell is far from the true god. So this glove naturally has the aura of the tyrant of hell. Next moment. The aura of the tyrant of H. I was directly and violently wiped out by the black energy. After erasing the aura of the hell tyrant from the gloves. The black energy returned to the arm. As calm as if nothing had happened. Su Chin discovered that this glove seemed to have been equipped by him. It is said that this is a real world and the requirements of level are actually due to the power of the laws of this world. Just like the reason why this glove requires level 150 is because it requires level 150 strength to suppress the aura of the tyrant of H, L. Su Chen looked at his gloves and already thought about the possibility that he could wear them regardless of his level. Chapter 30 for the Precious Heart of War Su Chen remembered that in his backpack, there were some equipment above level 50 that he had obtained while wandering around in Kruk village. Su Chin directly tried to equip equipment above level 50. 
but after testing, it didn't work at all. What is the reason for this? Why can the tyrant gloves work but ordinary high-level equipment cannot? Su Chen was confused. Soon, Su Chen discovered the details by comparing the attributes of the two pieces of equipment. Ordinary equipment has basic attributes, such as strength plus 100, intelligence plus 150, and other entries. Although the Hell Tyrant gloves are a mythical level, they are a piece of equipment with no attributes. In New World, some special equipment have no attribute bonus, but other corresponding entries are amazing. The Hell Tyrant gloves are such equipment. It seems to be a problem with basic attributes. Su Chen analyzed the reason. New World is a real world. The basic attributes are the most basic energy that impacts the body. How can a level 30 body withstand the energy of level 50? Ordinary players cannot equip non-attribute equipment that exceeds their own level because the monster's aura remains, and they cannot suppress the monster's aura if they are below the level. The black energy extinguished the original owner's aura, and the equipment conditions were no longer available. Su Chen cannot equip high-level equipment with attributes, simply because his current body cannot withstand high-level energy. Anyway, this piece of equipment is pretty good to use. Su Chen stopped worrying and looked at the mythical blueprint. Blueprint, Heart of War. Heart of War, as long as you continue to fall into battle, you will continue to improve your experience without killing. It is also possible to improve your skills in battle. Materials required, Ancient Weapon Talisman 0-1. Dragon Heart 0-1. Ice of the God Realm 0-1. It's actually the Heart of War. Su Chen's hands trembled a little when he saw this drawing. Even when he got the Hell Tyrant Gloves, a genuine piece of mythical equipment, Su Chen was not so excited. Is Heart of War useful? It's not useless. It's just that for ordinary people. This thing is unnecessary. For ordinary players. This is actually an experience card. Are experience cards useful? Experience cards are certainly useful. But looking at the materials required. It's not like other drawings that require 7 or 8 materials. And there are more. This drawing only requires 3 materials. One of each type. But no material is simple. Putting aside the question of where to find the ancient weapon talisman. The dragon's heart represents the need to slay the dragon. Both of these are still acceptable. But the eyes of the god realm is too much. And the god realm is not open to the ethereal at all. Even if you can get these three things, think about these three uses, and use them for other things. Wouldn't they be more useful? Instead of these three precious materials being synthesized, they become an experience card. Although it seems tempting to be able to upgrade skills, compared to the value of the three materials themselves, it still seems like a negative improvement. This means that even if the blueprints reach the mythical level, some equipment may not even be as good as the legendary level. The drawings are like this. There are many precious materials, but the result is not as valuable as the materials. But these are all for ordinary players. For Su Chen, this was like an artifact. Improving self-experience, according to the real world, actually means growing without relying on the outside world. After he summoned millions of skeleton soldiers, why did the skeleton soldiers give him experience points? Just because these are experiences from the outside world. The experience sharing process was naturally diverted by millions of skeleton soldiers. But self-improvement is equivalent to a kind of evolution of oneself. This kind of stronger skeleton soldiers cannot be separated. The ancient talisman and dragon's heart are not difficult. But the eyes of the god realm is troublesome. However, Su Chen looked at the materials and frowned. The ancient weapon talisman and the heart of the dragon can be obtained through strong attacks. While the eyes of the divine realm require sneaking into the divine realm. Not to mention that it is extremely difficult to open the passage to the god realm. But it is also a very risky move to sneak into the god realm. There's no rush for this. I'll make it again when I get the chance. Su Chen solemnly put away the drawing. This drawing is the key to his future growth. Although the boss can now be enslaved for combat power. The combat power of the enslaved boss has its limits. Just like the trial tower has only reached the 21st floor. His real core skill is the millions of skeleton soldiers that can be refreshed repeatedly. Once you level up, you will rely heavily on that skill. At that time, his level was a problem because he had to maintain an army of 1 million for a long time. Then his level will remain stagnant with Heart of War. He can even accomplish the great feat of idle upgrade. As long as millions of skeleton soldiers are constantly locked in battle, he can gain experience by doing nothing. This is the highest level of upgrade. This wave of harvest is also very good. At the same time, Su Chen did not forget his leveling journey. After clearing the tower, I have reached level 36. 
Suchin returned to Crook Village. The holy land for leveling. Before I knew it, it was evening again. With the addition of rocks, Su Chen's leveling became easier. Originally, Su Chen had to stay in a relatively nervous state when spawning monsters. After all, if you were leveling in the advanced area and were killed by some strange sneak attack without paying attention, you would have wasted so much time to gain experience. But after adding the rock, not only does the rock itself have the ability to protect Su Chen, but it can also summon a bunch of small stone men. Sometimes when Su Chen was tired, he would just let the little stone men surround him and he would be responsible for picking up experience in the middle. The level has reached level 38. Su Chen was also a little tired. He remembered what Feng Yu said today, so he called Zhou Jing out. The old place? Electric grill shop. What? You asked me to go to the Sunset Guild. What a joke. How could they accept me? Zhou Jing couldn't believe it. I can also lie to you. There are only three groups. You go and learn some experience and get some equipment first. After you go to the Sunset Guild to learn briefly, I will lead you directly later. Su Chen smiled and said, Lao Su, are you serious? When Zhou Jing saw Su Chen's appearance, it didn't look like he was joking. Go back. It is very important not to let others lie to you about your actual information. Su Chen said seriously, You still don't know who I am. You see how carefree I am usually. But you still know this about me. Seeing how serious Su Chen was, Zhou Jing answered seriously. Su Chen nodded. He still understood Zhou Jing's character. Zhou Jing is still reliable in this regard. But in reality, Su Chen also had confidence. He remembered that just before he went out, he had been able to summon 10 skeleton soldiers according to the usual summoning practice. Chapter 35 Reality Strikes for the First Time Lao Su, are you really Luo Qiu? Okay, let's go back to our respective homes first. Zhou Jing stood up and paid. By the way, what's your ID? I'll add you tomorrow. Su Chen asked. In fact, Su Chen knew Zhou Jing's ID. But he added Zhou Jing without asking. Which was another explanation. Two dogs at the entrance of the village. Zhou Jing felt slightly embarrassed when he mentioned his game ID. He didn't think too much when he was playing. And just picked up an ID that he usually used when playing games. Fortunately, he was married and had a child. Otherwise, he wouldn't be able to play happily with girls with this ID. So Zhou Jing resisted the urge to delete his account and practice again. Okay. I understand. I'll add you tomorrow. Su Chen smiled and stood up. Their homes were not in the same direction. And there was no question of who would send the other home between the two grown men. Zhou Jing took a taxi and left. As for Su Chen, he was a little full after eating in the evening. And it was not far from home. So he just took a walk back. There is an entertainment street a short distance from the electric barbecue shop to Su Chen's home including disco, KTV, and food stalls. Su Chen had walked this road countless times and didn't care much. However, when passing by an alley in the entertainment street, I found two drunk men teasing a young woman. If this kind of thing happened normally, the most Su Chen would do is call the police from a distance. But thinking about his new ability, Su Chen was a little eager to try it out. Su Chen often walks around here and knows very well that there is no surveillance here. There were not many pedestrians on the streets at midnight, especially in such dark alleys. Su Chen found a corner and then thought about it. Suddenly ten skeleton soldiers appeared. Some skeleton soldiers were long range. Su Chen directly took back the long range skeleton soldiers and summoned them again. It wasn't until ten melee combatants were refreshed without sharp weapons that they stopped refreshing the summons. Seeing that everything was ready, Su Chen picked up a few pebbles. Beauty. It's dangerous to walk on the street so late. Let your brothers protect you and go back. The two drunk men slowly approached the girl with evil smiles. The girl retreated again and again until she reached the corner and could no longer retreat. Call out. Call out. Two pebbles were thrown at the two drunkards. MD. Who is it? One of the drunkards was in pain. Turned around and roared. But it was quiet behind. There were no lights in this area. And it was even harder to see clearly. When the two saw no one behind them, they approached the girl again. Call out. Call out. Call out. Su Chen then hit him with a few more stones. This time the two drunkards paid more attention. Although they were still hit, they saw a figure. Under the dark light, the face of that person could not be seen. But what is certain is that someone is really provoking them. Someone is smashing us. Chase. The two of them were obviously gangsters in this area. And they both had guys with them. The two drunk men were holding murderous objects and chased after them aggressively. 
but just after they turned the corner, they saw ten skeleton soldiers forming a semicircle and watching them. Ghost, the two drunk men were so frightened by this scene that they woke up. Both of their feet were weak, and they couldn't run away even if they wanted to. The ten skeleton soldiers didn't waste any time and just started beating them. Of course they would be even scarier if they could talk nonsense. What Su Chen brought out were some weapons such as shields and bone hammers. If there were none, he could just hit them with his hands. In a few moments, the two men were beaten unconscious. There was also one who fainted at the beginning, probably from shock. Although he acted bravely, Su Chen still didn't take any harsh measures. Su Chen stopped dealing with injuries that could only be recovered in a few months at most. If it really gets serious, this matter won't end well. After seeing both of them fainting, Su Chen took the skeleton soldiers back with a thought. After the fight, run away. Su Chen didn't think she needed to worry about the girl inside. She would have run away if she saw this situation. As for whether or not, he would leave a name for doing such a thing. Although Su Chen was not a chivalrous person who served the country and the people, it was good to have a clear conscience. Shortly after, a patrol officer discovered two drunk men, listening to the two people talking about skeletons and ghosts, and the smell of alcohol in their mouths. No one took this matter seriously. Instead, the two men had controlled substances on their bodies, and controlled knives were found in their car, and the two were directly detained. But considering that the two of them were injured, they were treated first, and then detained after they were healed. This matter is finally over. The next day, Zhou Jing is online every day. As soon as I went online, I saw a friend request. He opened the friend application in confusion, and suddenly forgot what Su Chen said last night. Luo Chiu applies to be your friend. Do you agree, R? Zhou Jing blinked and looked carefully to see that it was not a copycat name like Luo Guqiu or Luo Hua. Luo Chiu has been in the limelight recently, and there are rumors that Luo Chiu is a top boss from the Soul Base game. Full of mystery. But why would Luo Chiu want to add him? Zhou Jing didn't waste any time and agreed immediately. Hello, Mr. Luo Chiu. Do you have any questions for me? Zhou Jing was very careful with his words and even used honorifics. Okay, I didn't expect you, Zhou Jing, with thick eyebrows and big eyes, to be a bitch. So why don't you respect me so much? The message Luo Chiu said directly shocked Zhou Jing Ning. Zhou Jing fell into deep thought, and he finally remembered what Su Chen said last night. Hold the grass. Lao Su, you are really Luo Chiu. Zhou Jingren was stunned. He suddenly remembered that Su Chen had said before that he was Luo Chiu, but he didn't believe it at the time. Thinking about it now, it turns out that Su Chen had told him a long time ago. Is the Luo Chiu in the rumor false? Zhou Jing still looks confused. It's a misunderstanding. But don't expose him. It's good to let him face it. Su Chen said with a slight smile. No wonder you want to introduce me to the Sunset Guild. It seems that your bug, Lao Su, is really awesome. Everyone in the Sunset Guild was stunned by you. Zhou Jing laughed. Since you all know that Sunset Guild was fooled by me, you should know what to say and what not to say. Right? Zhou Jing has already confirmed the bug, and Su Chen has no intention of defending it. On the contrary, with this relationship, Zhou Jing can be more cautious in his words and deeds. This kind of misunderstanding is not bad. Chapter 36 The Threat of the Tyrant Sword Ticket to Treasure Island After chatting casually for a while, Zhou Jing remembered something. By the way, I didn't know you were Luo Chiu before. You'd better go to the forum and see what Ba Dao said to you on the forum. Zhou Jing originally went to the forum to post posts with a mentality of eating melons. Unexpectedly, Su Chen fell in love with eating melon. Okay, I'll check it out later. Sledgehammer should add you soon, and he will arrange it for you then. Su Chen nodded. But in my heart, I don't particularly care about that tyrant sword. Ba Dao is the president of the second-rate guild Shamixing Guild. And Shamixing is a second-rate middle-class guild. Su Chen had already contacted Sledgehammer in advance. And asked Sledgehammer to arrange for someone to let Zhou Jing in at this time. After Zhou Jing was done with it, Su Chen didn't forget to go and see what Na Ba Dao wanted to do. Logged into the forum. There is no need to search specifically for Ba Dao's ID. There are Ba Dao's posts on the homepage. Ba Dao, Luo Chio came in to see if I have anything to ask you. Luo Chio, I know you are very powerful. But no matter how powerful you are, your current level is here. If you are smart enough to skip the two dungeons to a water park and icy cave, you can add me as a friend and we can sit down and have a good time. Negotiate. If you insist on your own way, 
after you break a copy record designated by me. As the president of Seimasing, I will issue a wanted order for Luo Chiu. Rao Suchin was prepared for what kind of person Ba Dao was. However, seeing Ba Dao shouting made Suchin happy. The Ba Dao is more defense breaking than imagined. Suchin muttered to himself. Ba Dao is a typical person who bullies the weak and fears the strong. He must have found out that none of the top guild bosses deleted their accounts and retrained before he dared to issue this warning to himself. However, the buffs and the clearance records of the Cold Cave and Toy Water Park should still be of considerable use. Otherwise the Ba Dao will not be able to break through the defense. Ba Dao seemed to want to show his determination and posted a screenshot of Luo Chiyo at the back of the post. On that screenshot, it was the handsome guy pretending to be Luo Chiyo. When Su Chen saw Ba Dao's sticker, he was really happy. Boss Ba Dao. Number one in the world. Little Luo Chiyo. Why don't you kneel down? Dominate the sword. Dominate the sword. Have the highest strength. Boss Ba Dao. Please give the order. We can't wait to encircle and suppress them. This tyrant has been doing this for so long. But he still can't change the habit of bringing his younger brother with him when posting. Do you dare to report your ID to someone upstairs? How come Ba Dao can still jump? After being dealt with by the irregular master last time. Haven't you learned to be honest? You are wrong. Ba Dao looked so docile when he begged for mercy last time. He just hugged Master F.A.'s feet and knelt down to lick them. Ha ha. Do the people upstairs no longer want to hang out in the new world? Then there was no value in reading anymore. So I closed the forum. It's a laugh. But there is a saying that the hob meat like Yi Ba Dao is still quite annoying. Ba Dao itself also has a certain level of strength. Otherwise, he wouldn't be able to win two records. How many masters are there in this world? Even if they deleted accounts and practiced again with cold colors, they actually didn't win half of the records. There are still many records that cold colors couldn't break even if they started over. Moreover, he cannot currently deal with the strength of the second rate guild. Even if they make friends with the sunset guild now, it is impossible for a first class guild like the sunset guild to easily take sides. Besides, he is now friends with the sunset guild so he must be able to intimidate the Sunset Guild. If the Sunset Guild sees that it is strong on the outside and is weak on the inside, and does not add insult to injury, the Sunset Guild will be considered above board. In short, we still need to increase our strength. By reaching level 50, we will be able to defeat low-end towns like Hyjia Guild. Suchin thought so. The dungeons must be played. But those two dungeons were originally level 50 and later. And now Suchin can't do it even if he wants to. Crook Village. Su Chen decided to use today's slavery quota first. This time he found a level 75 gold level guardian demon. As the enslavement team became stronger and stronger. And with the assistance of Su Chen's dark mark. He won a new partner without much effort. Name, Loyal Guardian. Variety Demon. Level 60. HP, 35,000. Level Gold Boss. Skills Shield Wall. Shield Counter. Shield Blow. Counter Damage Shield. Flame Shield, Loyal Guard, Hexagram Fire Array. It wears a mask and is more than 2 meters tall. Its weapon is a sword and shield combination. And its main skills are shields. Su Chen still like that Loyal Guard very much. Even if it is not fighting beside you. When it is threatened, it can teleport directly to your side to resist damage. At the same time, the ultimate move is also a skill with high damage. Just call me Shaodun. Su Chen changed its name. After killing the boss at the same time, he moved up another level, reaching level 39. Now that the team is getting bigger, Su Chen plans to continue working hard to level up. But this time, the communicator rang again. Those are the only friends he has now. And Su Chen is also a little curious about who they are. Zhou Jing and the people from the Sunset Guild shouldn't be looking for him so quickly. Right? After looking at the person who sent the message, it was Zhu Lian. And it's not a message. It's a request for a video call. Su Chen thought for a while and finally answered the call. After all, Su Chen still wanted the attention of the person behind Julian. So proper contact was still necessary. It's been a long time since we last saw each other. As soon as the call was connected, Su Chen smiled lightly and took the lead in saying H, low politely. Ah, yes, long time no see. Julian at the other end of the video seems to have something on her mind. After hearing Su Chen's words, his expression was a little unnatural. Su Chen looked at her with a smile, knowing that she had something to say. My cousin gave me a random treasure island scroll. The level is limited to level 30 and level 50. I am not sure about it. 
So I wanted to ask if you are free. After talking about it, Zhu Lian's voice became smaller and smaller. Although she had a good impression of Luo Qiu, she still felt awkward when her cousin asked her to have a better relationship with him. If you're not free, forget it. Goodbye. When it came to the end, Zhu Lian felt that she couldn't go on and had already decided to give up. In fact, she also hated this kind of transaction with a purpose. It's just that my cousin is trying to persuade her to give her a coupon and just treat her as an invitation among friends. Chapter 37 Zhou Jing hasn't mentioned his glorious deeds for two days. You really got something good for free. Su Chen has been keeping in touch with Zhu Lian and has shown his own value. Coupled with his understanding of Zhu Lian's character. Isn't it just to see if I can order something for free? Zhu Lian next to the call still felt very embarrassed. And she even planned to hang up the call. Although I've been a little busy lately. Since you said it. Of course I can. Su Chen was also an old scumbag. So he blurted out immediately. Just when Zhu Lian was about to hang up the call. She heard the voice on the other end. Zhu Lian raised her head and saw the warm smile under Su Chen's handsome face. I, Zhu Lian didn't know what to say for a moment. The random treasure island roll is a good thing. You are willing to share it with me. I thank you before it is too late. Su Chen said with a smile. Is that so? Hearing Su Chen's explanation, Zhu Lian always felt that something was wrong. But I couldn't tell what was wrong. Even if it's just to go to the most boring slime area. It's a wonderful time to meet up with a beautiful woman. Su Chen smiled lightly. If another person had said this, it might have sounded greasy and earthy. But with Su Chen's handsome face, Luo Chio's ID now being famous in the game, and his unrequited love, he felt a little guilty. Not quite the same. Send me the coordinates and I'll come find you. Su Chen said to Zhu Lian with a smile. After Zhu Lian sent the coordinates, Su Chen also hung up the video. What did I just say? Zhu Lian touched her face. And she felt a little baffled. It's all my cousin's fault for insisting on letting me get in touch with Luo Chiu. Zhu Lian stamped her feet angrily. After a while, Zhu Lian saw a man riding a wind ball coming towards her. She happened to be leveling up, waiting for Su Chen while doing so. There were still many players in the leveling area, and they were all shocked by Su Chen's impressive appearance. This mount is so handsome. Handsome guy. Do you want to go for a ride with me? Don't be crazy. Look at the beauty who stopped in front of that beauty. And the beauty is waiting for someone. And she must be waiting for him. I remembered that this person's previous mount was popular on the forum. And I remember there was also a chicken. Hold the grass. So envious. I think your envy is not serious. Is it because you envy others for having such a beautiful girlfriend? Most of the players around are still low-level players. Although Su Chen's appearance was very impressive. No one dared to come forward and strike up a conversation. Come up. Su Chen sat on the wind ball and stretched out his hand to Zhu Lian. Ah? Zhu Lian is a little confused. When you open the treasure scroll, there is a portal for a few seconds. You don't expect someone to sneak in through the portal. Right? Su Chen opened his mouth to explain. When Zhu Lian heard this, it made sense. Her face turned red, and she stretched out her tender hand. Su Chen pulled Zhu Lian up. Generally, in such behavior between men and women, it is easy for boys to take advantage. And girls will only accept it half-heartedly. But Su Chen was a gentleman throughout the whole process and didn't touch Zhu Lian too much. He is only here for free benefits. Not free people. Thinking speed was very fast, and he was out of everyone's sight. There is no one here. So let's open a random treasure island here. After arriving at an uninhabited land, Su Chen also got off Feng Feng. At the same time, he controlled the wind and used a gentle wind to slowly lift Julian down. Kindness. Julian's voice was as thin as a mosquito's fly, completely losing her usual cheerful personality. When Su Chen saw the scene, he also thought it was a little funny, but he didn't criticize it. Now he only cares about what he will gain from Treasure Island. The treasure scroll is quite precious. Although this treasure scroll is limited to level 3050, it is not cheap. It's so cool to be able to get a treasure scroll for free. Sunset Guild. After Sledgehammer received Zhou Jing, he found the leader of the 3rd Regiment, Mai Nong. At the same time, he secretly told the wheat farmer to pay more attention to this guy named Ergu. After all, being able to have a relationship with Luo Chiu, and even having Luo Chiu use his connections to send him, must be something special. But he didn't expect it to have anything to do with Luo Chiu. After all, Luo Chiu could send people over without fear of prying eyes from his own side. Mai Nong is quite enthusiastic about Zhou Jing. 
Even the people in the 3rd Regiment were wondering if this guy named Ergu was a relative of the President. But no one dared to ask. They were only from the 3rd Group. For a large guild like the Sunset Guild, the elite group is the absolute core. But the second group is the main group of the guild. To be more precise, the three groups can be called reserve groups. On weekdays, the third group basically has no access to the core of the guild. Unlike the second group, which sometimes performs tasks related to the core of the guild. Otherwise, it would be impossible for the Sunset Guild to agree. No matter how generous Fungi was, he would not allow others to place a position where they could spy on the core of the guild. The third group is Fingyu's bottom line. Zhou Jing's personality is generally accepted by everyone. And Mai Nong, the leader of the third group, is particularly enthusiastic about Zhou Jing. So no one else dares to embarrass Zhou Jing. Zhou Jing quickly became involved with the members of the third regiment. When the three major guilds surrounded me, I didn't panic at all. I calmly snatched the treasure from the three major guilds and escaped. Three groups of people surrounded Zhou Jing, as if they were listening to Zhou Jing's story. Zhou Jing also talked about some details at that time, without making up at all, because what he said was the truth. It's just that every fact was magnified by him using a microscope and exaggerated. Normally, the wheat farmer, as the person in charge, would have scolded this kind of behavior immediately. But there was a sledgehammer that made him observe Urga carefully, so he listened very carefully not far away. What are the three major guilds? Why does it feel so strange? Someone raised doubts. He <laughs> he. I can't tell you this. Zhou Jing remembered what Su Chen told him. It's okay to brag. But don't reveal the details easily. Chapter 38 These two dogs are definitely not ordinary people. The wheat farmer walked away quietly. Then he made a call to Sledgehammer and told him what he had just learned. A short video recorded at the same time was also sent. Why don't I sound impressed at all about the three major guilds? After hearing this, Sledgehammer was also a little confused. Wheat farmers behave the same way. By the way, the strength he showed was very ordinary. I think he might just be bragging. The wheat farmer said something too much. You continue to observe and be careful not to be noticed by him. Anyway, just treat him with the same attitude as before. Sledgehammer nodded and hung up the call. At the same time, Sledgehammer also found the president and told the matter again. Boss, I think he is just bragging. His strength is very average and he may not even be able to beat the members of our ordinary group. The sledgehammer also stood helplessly. I see. However, Fingyu didn't express any attitude. He just smiled and nodded. Sledgehammer didn't know what the boss was thinking. But he went to do his own thing. After Sledgehammer left, Fingyu put away his smile. Am I thinking too much that this person is actually an ordinary person? Fingyu didn't understand. From the description of the three super guilds to the top guilds he knew. There was no correspondence. My Nong didn't just relay it. He also recorded a short video. Thing you also repeated the short video recorded by my Nong. Thing you usually studies micro expressions. And he has also conducted tests. The micro expressions in New World can also reflect thoughts in the real world. This is amazing. After Thing you carefully analyzed frame by frame, he found that the player named Ergu had no trace of lying. This is somewhat incomprehensible. There is no corresponding existence among today's top guilds. But Ergu doesn't seem to be lying. Unless the guy named Ergu has undergone some special training and can forcibly control the facial nerves. Maybe if you reach that level, you won't be considered an ordinary person. Could it be that there really is another group of people somewhere we can't see? Then you thought of a possibility. As for why Ergu's ability seems to be ordinary, but he can escape from the three top guilds he calls, it is actually not difficult to understand. No one knows how strong Luo Chio was before his account was deleted. It could allow a player who is average in all aspects to do such a move. In fact, on the one hand, it reflects part of Luo Chio's strength before his account was deleted. Perhaps, only my eldest brother can answer my doubts. Thing Yu shook his head. I don't know what kind of world this gang is hiding behind the surface. At the same time, I remembered something and made a sledgehammer call. Don't overmonitor that Ergu. And don't investigate behind his back. Do you understand? When Feng Yu said this, his expression became unusually serious. Boss, I understand. Sledgehammer rarely saw Feng Yu's expression. He attached great importance to Ergu in his heart. It seemed that this seemingly ordinary person was not that simple. At the same time, he also lamented how mysterious and powerful Luo Chio was. Anyone who looked like a passerby would have a certain background. Treasure Island. On the beach at the seaside, Su Qin and Zhu Lian were teleported over. 
Treasure Island basically adopts a completely randomly generated model. So what is in Treasure Island is not fixed. The main world of New World is a real world. But there are still virtual places. For example, the dungeon is simulated by the game system. Where can there be such a place in the real world? And the same is true for trial venues. Treasure Island is also a virtual place. Just like the dungeon and trial site. However, the virtual in New World also has entities. Through what will happen in the future. Su Chen analyzed that the game system is a huge medium. Players are actually the tools for the game system to collect resources and energy in this world. Player resurrection, dungeon play, trial venues, etc. are all created by the game system using the energy collected by players. In fact, the game system should store more energy. Players of New World have been complaining about the difficulty of upgrading. But no one has thought about it. This is not a problem of game difficulty at all. But a lot of experience absorbed by the game system. Combined with the subsequent arrival of the game, it must be that the game system has absorbed enough value to directly disrupt the two worlds and build a new world. The game system itself may have found a new link between the two worlds and started a new game. In short, this game system is not a good one. Wow. So cute. Ju Lian was attracted by a soft fur ball at this time. That's a LV.1 ornamental monster. Ju Lian is now level 31. The little fur ball at level 1 obviously has no resistance and is unable to break free in Ju Lian's arms. Ju Lian was still holding the little guy in her arms. From a distance, he looked like three furball monsters. Ahem. There should be no way to take the creatures out of Treasure Island. Seeing Ju Lian falling in love with a little furball, Su Chen said softly, What a shame. I really want to have a little guy like this. Ju Lian looked at Mao Chio's big round eyes and hugged the little guy tighter, seeing that the little furball had difficulty breathing. Su Chen wanted to warn him. But Su Chen was embarrassed when he saw the grand scene. I usually don't notice that Ju Lian is pregnant with such a huge thing. In fact, I really want to take this little fur ball out. And Su Chen has a way. But Ju Lian will definitely disagree. That is to hang up this little fur ball first. And then use soul gift to raise a little fur ball in place. The little fur ball is so cute. Raised or steamed. It is a bit embarrassing. Besides, unless he was really bored. Su Chen didn't want to waste the once a day soul gift on a guy who could only watch but not eat. No. He couldn't fight. Let's go. Our stay on Treasure Island is limited. We have to leave as soon as possible. Su Chen summoned Feng Feng. Ju Lian also picked up the little fur ball and placed it on Feng Feng's body. Do you really want to take this guy with you? Su Chen gave Ju Lian a strange look. It's okay. It seems to be able to understand what I'm saying. You see, Ju Lian said, looking at the little fur ball in her arms. Little guy, don't move around and hold my shoulders carefully. After saying that, he hugged the little fur ball on his shoulders. The little guy really grabbed Julian's shoulders and didn't move. It seems that his IQ is quite high, but unfortunately he is only level 1, and his grade seems to be average. Su Chen was a little surprised to see that this little thing was quite smart. Chapter 39 Seeing Through the Island Protecting Spirit The Spiritual Energy Enchantment Furnace The level of a monster's IQ still has an impact. Some monsters with high IQs may be able to complete transformation or may have hidden bloodlines or the like. However, looking at the little fur ball at level 1, it looks so cute, but it really doesn't look like it can complete its transformation. Ju Lian liked it, but Su Chen couldn't say anything. He started writing phone phone and started looking for her. The island seems huge. At Feng Feng's speed, after running for several minutes, there was still a grassland in front of him. There are some cattle and sheep, but they are all ornamental, and they are all level LV.1. Looking at the island, Su Chen felt a little strange. In a normal treasure island, you usually have to defeat powerful monsters before you can obtain the guarded treasure chest. This island is so beautiful. Ju Lian looked like he was sightseeing and enjoying the scenery, and seemed quite happy. Su Chen did not let Feng Feng move forward at full speed, but slowed down. Ju Lian looked at Su Chen with some confusion. Don't you think this island is strange? Su Chen looked at Ju Lian and said slowly, Weird. Ju Lian looked around with some confusion. Although the scenery along the way is very beautiful, it is a bit too peaceful. When her cousin gave her this scroll, she specifically told her that Treasure Island was very dangerous and she should pay attention to it. But the look in front of me doesn't look remotely sinister. It's a little strange for you to say that. Ju Lian finally realized something was wrong. Su Chen's thoughts moved, 
and the two gun demon spirits suddenly appeared in front of Su Chen. Shoot towards the skyline. Su Chen ordered to the two gun demon spirit. The two gun demon received Su Chen's order and immediately fired forward. The two shots dropped like a stone into the sea without causing any waves. Something is definitely wrong. Su Chen immediately waved his hand, and all the younger brothers were summoned. Ju Lian was shocked as she watched Su Chen keep summoning monsters. Luo Chiu is indeed as extraordinary as her cousin said. Attack! Su Chen gave the order. Boom! Suddenly, it was like a hole was opened in the sky. The surrounding green grass slowly withered, and the cattle and sheep turned into stone. Su Chen saw the little fur ball on Ju Lian's shoulder and began to slowly change showed his true face. An evil creature with a little devil's tail and horns. But its size had not changed much. At this time, it exposed its claws and attacked Julian. Ah! When Julian saw the ferocious face of the little devil, she was so frightened that her face turned pale. Even if she could handle it calmly, there was nothing she could do if she, an archer, was so close. Small shield. Loyal guard. Su Chen was also calm and gave the order as if he had expected it. The guardian demon, who had immediately been renamed Shaodun, teleported directly to Ju Lian's side and raised his large shield to resist the little demon's attack. At the same time, Brother Chicken also picked up his sword and attacked the little devil directly. At this time, specific information about the little devil also appeared. Name, Treasure Island Evil Island Spirit. Variety, Evil Spirits. Level 50. HP Unknown. Level Dark Gold Boss. Skill Unknown. I actually met the island protector directly. Su Chen was a little surprised when he saw this. The island guard spirit is considered the ultimate boss of every treasure island. But you rarely encounter the island guard spirit. When the island guard spirit comes out, good things are bound to come out. Under the joint attack of Shaodun and Chicken Brother, Ju Lian is safe. Be careful. Su Chen also came to Ju Lian at this time and took Ju Lian to the place behind him. It was only at this time that Ju Lian finally came to his senses. If Su Chen hadn't appeared just in time, she would have died just now. Seeing that little devil's appearance again, Ju Lian felt sick for a while. As an evil spirit that protects the island, it is naturally not cute. And its entire appearance is very ferocious and terrifying. Thinking about how I was holding it just now, Ju Lian almost cried. You didn't seem surprised at all just now. Did you guess it? Ju Lian remembered Su Chen's expression just now and the instructions he gave calmly and asked Su Chen because it seems to have a high IQ. But it is just a LV.1 tourist monster, and of low rank. So it shouldn't be so smart. Su Chen just smiled and replied, It seems like this is something trivial. At this time, the battle over there has entered a fever pitch. Although the island guardian spirit is only level 50, it can mobilize the resources of the entire island. Many monsters on the island have been transferred here. However, the levels of these monsters are not high because this is a treasure island with level 30 and level 50. And even the island guardian spirit is at the upper limit of level 50. Su Chen made the decision that Brother G would go after the island spirit alone. The rock serves as the main T to bear the damage from the front, while the double gun serve as the main output. Fo Fong also performs some attacks or assists from the back. If he has a small shield, he can protect the back row and clear out some monsters around the double guns and Fo Fong. Su Chen alone is like an excellent team. This makes Julian feel like she is redundant. But fortunately, her archery skills are pretty good. And the mobs on Treasure Island are not very high level. So she can still play some roles. With such exquisite cooperation, there was nothing the island protector could do. Level 60 Chicken Brother already has the advantage in a duel with it. But the monsters it summons are not enough to be spawned by other summoned beasts. Moreover, there are also two guns taking time to attack the island protector which makes it easier for Chicken Brother to deal with it. Boom! With a burst of sword energy from Brother G, the island protector, whose health had bottomed out, was instantly knocked out. At this time, a stove appeared on the ground. But the stove was so tightly attached to the island's ground that it couldn't be picked up at all. What's this? Julian said curiously. This is the enchanting furnace formed by the island spirit. The aura of the island spirit has not dissipated yet. You only need to find some native materials on the treasure island to enchant it. This kind of aura enchantment should not conflict with the enchantment of professional enchanters in the outside world. Su Chen had heard about this. Do you have any equipment worth enchanting? If it is a transitional piece of equipment, it is somewhat unnecessary. This piece of equipment cannot be inherited to the next piece of equipment. 
Su Qing glanced at Zhu Lian. Is it worth enchanting gear? Zhu Lian looked at the equipment on her body and then looked at the bracelet. This is probably the only one. Zhu Lian said and gave the bracelet to Su Qing directly. I don't understand either. Why don't you help me figure it out? Zhu Lian said a little embarrassed. At the same time, the binding was directly released so that Su Qing could operate. But this also means that the moment the binding is lifted, it has nothing to do with her. If Su Qin is evil, this equipment will belong to Su Qin. Chapter 40 Enchantment The Perfect Entry Su Qin still picked up the bracelet and looked at it. Elemental Flower Bracelet Type Jewelry Level Requirement None This item can grow. Hit plus 50 Effect Your charge will increase damage. Effect Your charge will add any elemental attribute. Is this worth enchanting? If it doesn't work, forget it. Zhu Lian looked at Su Qin's silence and felt that Su Qin was in trouble. So she took the initiative to speak. Su Qin was speechless for a while. If this was not worthy of enchantment, then nothing would be worthy of enchantment. Who gave this to you? Su Qin did know who Zhu Lian's cousin was. And she also had such strength. However, this is still too expensive. Any equipment that can grow is very precious. It must have at least epic quality to have the ability to grow. And that's just the lowest. Maybe it's a legend or even higher. Although Cha Ming is the vice president, it is still too generous to give a growth type equipment to his cousin, who is still a novice. No. I changed jobs as soon as I entered the game. This was given when I changed jobs. When I first got it, it was still bronze. My cousin gave me some materials. And then I upgraded it to gold level. Zhu Lian answered truthfully. It turns out that this is the case. It is actually a companion piece of equipment. So this piece of equipment is likely to grow to the mythical level. Didn't your cousin tell you that this piece of equipment is very precious and should not be given to others casually? Su Qin said somewhat speechlessly. If I were really a bad guy, I would have taken this equipment away. Having said that, I just don't think you are that kind of person. So, as Julian spoke, her voice became smaller and smaller. In this way, I will look for the materials. And you will stay here to see if there is any abnormality. If there is any abnormality, notify me immediately. Su Qin didn't want to worry about this at this time. The time spent staying on Treasure Island was precious. Yeah, I'll pay attention. Zhu Lian also obediently agreed. Su Qin didn't say much nonsense. Just rode Feng Feng and set off. For enchantment, you can use the Copper Iron or in the Treasure Island. Mainly as an introduction to spiritual energy. Su Qin first found Copper or an Iron Ore. When I dig up some samples, I show them directly to other summoned beasts. You spread out to find these two things. After letting the summoned beasts remember it, they immediately disperse to look for it. Except for Fofong is a mount. The others were searched separately. Firstly, Fofong is fast. And secondly, Thing Thing's ability to mine on his own is worrying. For example, Brother G can smash it with his sword. And with his two guns, he can also directly blast away the rocks with his guns. The rocks are equivalent to playing at home. Just run slower. The minerals on Treasure Island are not difficult to find. And soon the summoned beasts collected a bunch of them. Since the island guardian spirit had just summoned a lot of monsters. The monsters on the entire island were almost cleared. So the mining was not disturbed. Su Chen alone got a lot. This, plus a few other digs, should be enough. So hurry up. After Su Chen collected the minerals, he went back immediately without any delay. The summoning space cannot store foreign objects so we have to wait for them to come back. Otherwise, you can directly take them back to the summoning space and then release them, so that they can be transported at the speed of light. Now they can only walk on their own, and only Chicken Brother is faster. But Su Chen remembered Xiaodun's skills. Guard loyally. In a flash of thought, Xiaodun also used his shield to hold a lot of, or horizontally, and teleported over directly. Su Chen has two pieces of equipment that need to be enchanted. One is the gloves of the Hell Tyrant, and the other is the Ring of Courage. Since he didn't know how long his stay was left, Su Chen didn't dare to relax. So he naturally enchanted the Hell Tyrant gloves first based on their value. Some silver ores were also collected, and Su Chen also added them all. Ding! With the sound of successful enchantment, Su Chen quickly picked up the Hell Tyrant gloves. There is no change in the overall attributes. Except for one more entry. Enchanted Searing. Character attack power increased by 30 points. This entry doesn't work. Su Qin directly chose to wash it again. Enchanted Searing. Character attack power increased by 50 points. Enchanted Searing. 
Character attack power increased by 1%. Enchanted Searing. The character's fire attribute increases by 30 points. Is that all there is to enchantment on Treasure Island? No more washing. This piece of equipment can only produce scorching heat. But there are many different scorching heat entries. Enchanted Searing. Character attack power increased by 5%. 5% is not bad. When Su Chen saw this entry, he immediately decided not to wash it. The next item, according to its value, is the Enchanted Elemental Flower Bracelet. After all, it was Zhu Lian who gave the ticket. So Su Chen felt that he was quite fair. At this time, the two guns and others also came back. And Su Chen threw all the mines they brought back into the Enchanting Furnace. Also put in the Elemental Bracelet. Ding! Enchanted Crimson. The character's physical strength increases by 30 points. Su Chen didn't favor one over the other. This one looked like rubbish at first glance. So Su Chen continued to use it. Enchanted Crimson. Character endurance increased by 50 points. Enchanted Crimson. The character's physical strength increases by 100 points. Enchanted Crimson. Character endurance increased by 1%. Enchanted Crimson. Character physical strength increased by 2%. Enchanted Crimson. Character endurance increased by 100 points. The Crimson entry was not very good. Su Chen spent a long time brushing it but could not get any good attributes. The best thing is that the physical strength increases by 2%, but it is not a warrior. So this entry is not very useful for an archer. Otherwise, just pick any attribute and make do. You still have a piece of equipment that is not enchanted. Seeing that Su Chen was at odds with this term. Julian also said. However, she was still a little disappointed in her eyes. After all, being able to generate good attributes was of course the best. Enchanting extremely crimson. Character endurance increased by 10%. Finally got a good one. Su Chen breathed a sigh of relief and handed the elemental flower to Zhu Lian. When Zhu Lian saw this entry, she folded her arms happily. Su Chen immediately put his ring of courage on it again. Ding. Enchanting danger. Critical hit plus 50 points. Defense minus 30 points. Hold the grass. This is a broken entry. Su Chen looked a little irritated when he saw this entry. Enchanting danger. Critical hit plus 10%. Defense dash 5%. Enchanting danger. Critical hit plus 15%. Defense dash 10%. Enchanting danger. Critical hit plus 100 points. Defense minus 100 points. These entries were getting more and more outrageous. And Su Chen didn't even want the enchantment anymore. Enchanting light danger. Critical hit plus 10%. Defense minus 20 points. Seeing this entry, Su Chen finally breathed a sigh of relief. As long as the defense is not reduced by a percentage it will be fine. Although the increase in critical hit is not much. At least the defense is reduced less. It's really dangerous that there is such an entry. Ju Lian was watching just now. She could probably tell that Su Chen had a profession similar to that of a summoner. For a summoner, reducing the percentage of defense would be too harmful. Yes, my piece of equipment was almost scrapped due to the enchantment. Su Chen was also a little speechless. But at this time, fog began to appear on Treasure Island. Su Chen knew that he was about to be teleported out. Chapter 41 Business Expansion Stocking up and speculating After the fog dissipated, the two returned to their original spot. Thank you so much for today. Zhu Lian held a bracelet and said with a smile, We don't need to talk about this. I can't get in without your role. Su Chen said with a playful smile. The word seemed to be right. But why does it sound weird? Then I will go back first. Originally, Zhu Lian wanted Su Chen to brush monsters together. After all, she had someone to level up quickly. But seeing that Su Chen's level was so much higher than hers, there was no invitation. Okay, let's meet again next time when we have time. Su Chen said with a smile. Seeing Su Chen about to leave, Zhu Lian thought for a while and finally spoke. That? Zhu Lian seemed a little hesitant. Just say whatever you want. Su Chen narrowed his eyes and said with a smile. Well, my cousin is from Guanlan Guild. I don't know the specific situation. But my cousin said you can search online. Her guild is very powerful. Hearing Su Chen say this, Zhu Lian breathed a sigh of relief. I know Guanlan is a very strong guild. Su Chen nodded. Of course he knew. Otherwise, he wouldn't have spent so much energy. That is, after your Luo Chiu ID set a record that day, I was very surprised and said smoothly that my cousin was very interested in you and wanted you to join the Guanlan Guild. She didn't even know why I agreed to this matter with my cousin. But that's the kind of person she is. Once she agrees, she has to do it. Although she is a little embarrassed. 
At least she has done it by asking. Although Su Chen understood what it meant. She still felt weird hearing that her cousin was interested in her. Go back and tell your cousin that I'm not interested in joining a guild. Su Chen looked at Ju Lian with a smile. Ju Lian sighed. She actually guessed it. She felt that Su Chen didn't seem like the kind of person who was willing to submit to others and always take the lead in doing things. Just when she accepted the result, Su Chen suddenly changed the subject. But I am interested in cooperating with her guild. Su Chen said with great interest. Even if you vote for something in vain, it's time to work together to get something out of it. Cooperate? Ju Lian was a little confused. Although Su Chen did look very strong. But Su Chen is only over 30 levels after all. How can he negotiate cooperation with a large guild of 100 levels? Suddenly Su Chen came over. Just tell her that I have something that her guild urgently needs. And if she is willing to cooperate equally, let me know. Su Chen lowered his voice and whispered in Ju Lian's ear. After saying that, he didn't wait for Ju Lian's reaction. A teleportation scroll was directly crushed. And the reading bar disappeared in place. What a hateful guy. Ju Lian touched her cheek and muttered. Return to Crook Village. Some low-level monsters around them ran away when they saw Su Chen coming. There are very few enemies as powerful as Su Chen in Crook Village. One person leads several traitors among the monsters. Plundering everywhere. Su Chen had no interest in chasing these low-level monsters. The Sunset Guild and the Excalibur Guild are indeed related. After the game came, the two guilds merged directly. But the relationship between their top leaders has always been vague. Su Chen naturally saw the Excalibur Guild on the ranking list. When cooperating with the Guanlan Guild, it's natural to sell strategies. Su Chen did not prohibit the Sunset Guild from selling this guide for the second time. The main reason was that this copy was not considered a super large copy. It was just a slightly difficult transitional copy. There is no prohibition on secondary sales. Which is actually an invisible bargaining chip to persuade Feng Yu to agree to the conditions. The Sunset Guild can sell it twice. And of course, I can sell it twice. Of course. It is still very important for those first-tier guilds to stay ahead of the guild's progress. If it is not necessary, no one will sell the guide to a competitor. Every time a dungeon is successfully opened, the guild that first clears it will keep the content of the dungeon secret and will not sell it even if it pays to buy it. Therefore, it can be seen that the relationship between the Sunset Guild and the Excalibur Guild is definitely unusual. In addition, civilian players are usually one or two copies behind the first-tier guilds. If they want to get the guide, they must either explore it on their own as a self-improvement team. Those who cannot afford the cost of land development have to wait for the anchors and various bloggers to announce it. Those anchors and bloggers can't even keep up with the first-tier guilds. There was once an anchor who was revered as a god by civilian players because the anchor team he led could barely keep up with the first echelon. As for his live broadcast later, I don't know why, but when Su Chen thought about it, he was just tampering with the cakes of those big guilds. Those big guilds were originally either backed by big capital or were formed by big capital themselves. It is impossible to find real players through the game, New World. But when the anchor registers various information, it is not difficult to find them. This is why even if Su Chen is short of money now, he has not thought about starting a live broadcast. He can definitely become a top traffic person by running a live broadcast. But he will also face the threat of capital. Even the various live broadcast platforms are owned by them. How can he compete with others? So now, it is enough to sell some pleasing guild guides. Now Su Chen continues to kill monsters and slowly waits for news from Guanlan. But he didn't forget one thing. Su Chen found the ID of Ergu in his friend's list, which was Zhou Jing. Lao Luo. What are you doing with me? Zhou Jing originally wanted to call him Lao Su. But he remembered Su Chen's previous instructions and always called him by his name in the game. What are you doing? Su Chen took a look and found that Zhou Jing was in a battle scene. No. The guild has gradually asked the second group and the third group to start playing the Hell Tyrant dungeon. The main thing is that I am in the second group and the third group is for training. Zhou Jing said helplessly. At the same time, Su Chen took a look at the surrounding situation through the video. Sure enough, the people in the third group were mainly training and were resting after the battle at this time. Can I send you an ointment? Su Chen asked curiously. Ointment? What ointment? Zhou Jing was obviously clueless. It seems that neutralizing ointment has not become popular yet. And some people estimate that it is also available in the second group. But as he sells guides everywhere, neutralizing ointment will definitely become popular. In this way, I will give you another list of materials. How much money you have now will be used to purchase them. 
Before long, I will give you another sum of money, and you can help me buy it too, Su Chen said with a smile. The current demand for those materials is not particularly large. After all, only the two guilds, Excalibur and Sunset, know about it, and they have no intention of selling the guide. So it was only for personal use, and there was no thought of stocking up or frying. Besides, given their size, this kind of thing is not their first consideration. Chapter 42 Cousin You are blushing. Okay, Lao Luo, you have the final say. Zhou Jing agreed without hesitation. Today, he finally saw what Su Qin was capable of. He joined a first-class guild like the Sunset Guild. Although he was only a member of the third group, the senior leaders of the guild were very polite to him. Although he usually likes to brag, he is not bragging. He just exaggerates his deeds a little bit. But Zhou Jing also had an idea of how much he weighed. With his status and ability, these first-class guilds would look at people like him with their noses outside. But in the third regiment, Zhou Jing didn't feel a trace of contempt and everyone was very polite. This made Zhou Jing feel respected. Zhou Jing knew very well that this respect was not for him, but for the person who introduced him, Su Qin. He already knew Su Qin's character very well, and what he had experienced today made him have no doubts about Su Qin. It looks like you're doing well. Su Qin looked at Zhou Jing's face and said jokingly, Ha uh ha. -huh. That is, when we have some time to chat, I will give you a good bragging and talk about it. Zhou Jing also laughed. Zhou Jing doesn't need to pay too much attention to his words and deeds, because he just parachuted into the 3rd Regiment and didn't even sign a contract with the Sunset Guild. Okay, once the copy is over, you can quickly collect materials. Su Chen nodded. There is no need to wait for the dungeon to end. The person in charge named Mai Nong said that if anything happens, you can ask for leave at any time. Zhou Jing said directly. This surprised Su Chen. This was equivalent to giving Zhou Jing special privileges. It seemed that the Sunset Guild really gave him enough face. Don't be too arrogant. You are mainly following the people from the third group to hone your skills. Su Chen also said one more thing. After all, his brother Su Chen still wanted Zhou Jing to learn something. It's not like I found him an ironclad job. Don't worry. You know who I am. Zhou Jing directly gave Su Chen an okay gesture. Seeing Zhou Jing's appearance, Su Chen was relieved. At the same time, continued to be alone in Crook Village undergoing crazy upgrades. Real world. A certain villa. Zhao Mingyu was barefoot and eating ice cream on the sofa while watching TV. At this time, another girl wearing a long sweatshirt and shorts came down the stairs. Is it over so soon? Zhao Mingyu looked at the girl in the sweatshirt and said with a smile, didn't you spend a good day with that handsome guy? Don't talk nonsense about spending quality time together. The girl in the sweatshirt blushed slightly. Yo yo yo. Our Yao Yao is blushing. It doesn't matter what you are blushing for. Xiao Ming you caught the details and launched a set of combos. At this time, the girl in the sweatshirt also came downstairs. In response to Xiao Ming Yu's slander against her, the girl also started fighting with her. Let you say it. Let you say it. The two girls used pillows to attack each other and became a ball. Okay. Okay. I give up. We Yao Yao are iron nuns and will not be tempted by men. Xiao Ming you begged for mercy again and again. You are the Iron Nun, Zhou Yao Yao said angrily, wanting to attack Xiao Ming Yu again. No, 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 no. Look, our clothes are all dirty. Zhao Ming Yu raised his hands and surrendered directly. Zhao Ming Yao was eating ice cream just now. Because of the fight, both of them were now covered in white ice cream, especially in the hot summer. Both of them wore shorts. This made them all feel a little uncomfortable. It's all up to you. You have to make me agree to that thing. Do you know how embarrassed I am today? Zhou Yao Yao said angrily. Naturally. This week Yao Yao is absolutely in love. And Xiao Ming Yu is her cousin Cha Ming. So how are you doing today? Xiao Ming Yu came over and looked at Zhou Yao Yao with a wicked smile. You still say? Zhou Yao Yao frowned. A little angry. Oops. Isn't this for the sake of the guild? Our guild has been in such an embarrassing situation recently. In her heart. Yao Yao still wants to help her cousin. Right? Xiao Mingyu, who is obviously older, is more pretentious than Zhou Yao Yao. He said that joining a guild is not an option. But you can cooperate with a guild. Zhou Yao Yao rolled her eyes at Xiao Mingyu. Cooperate? Hearing this, Xiao Mingyu was stunned. Although she felt that there was something fishy about Luo Qiu, she wanted to drag Luo Qiu to the guild first before talking about it. But Luo Qiu didn't say anything. At that level, 
How could he have the nerve to negotiate with a first-class guild like the Guanlan Guild? Yes, you heard it right. He specifically said that he would go to him only after accepting equal cooperation. After all the fun, Zhou Yaoyao still didn't play small when it came to business. But remembering the scene where Su Chen whispered softly into her ear made her feel ashamed. Fortunately, Zhao Mingyu was thinking about something at this time and did not notice the scene. Otherwise, he would have been teased by Zhao Mingyu again. Yao Yao, you play by yourself first. I will go to the game to discuss with Sister Luo Luo. Zhao Mingyu felt that this matter still needed to be taken seriously. She couldn't decide at this time. She planned to go to the game to discuss it with the President Sher Luo Luo first. With that said, Zhao Mingyu ran upstairs. R. You still have ice cream with you. Why don't you take a shower? Zhou Yao watched Zhao Mingyu run upstairs. Definitely to log into the game. But Zhou Yao only answered with a gentle wave of her hand. This also made Zhou Yao Yao couldn't help but sigh. Although Zhao Mingyu was usually not upright. He was particularly serious when it came to work related to the guild. It is also the case that New World is popular all over the world and has the tendency to become the second world of mankind. Otherwise, Zhao Mingyu is a proper internet addicted girl. Zhou Yao Yao was also curious about the game New World because of Zhao Mingyu's enthusiasm. So she decided to play it. Wow. So uncomfortable. Only then did Zhou Yaoyao remember that she still had the ice cream left on her body. She quickly went to take a shower. Guanlan Guild. Cha Ming was talking to Sher Luo Luo about what happened just now. So it seems that the Sunset Guild's first communication is most likely related to him. After Sher Luo Luo heard this, he thought for a while and analyzed. Yes, he specifically stated that there is an equal partnership. I also think that this is the only reason why he has the capital to say such a thing. Julian also agreed. Then I'll leave this matter to you to discuss. And I've given you the authority to do so. Sure Luo Luo said with a smile. What if he opens his mouth like a lion? I think it would be better for Sister Luo Luo to discuss such a big matter in person. Julian shook his head. She was a little unsure of herself when it came to negotiating. Didn't you just say that he has a good relationship with your cousin? With a cousin's relationship. At least, he won't be too open-minded towards you. Sure Luo Luo said matter-of-factly. Say this. Julian felt that what she said made sense. And she actually had no reason to refuse. Chapter 43 100,000 gold coins Greatly increased real ability. Monsters with high experience often only need the simplest beating. After working for a day, Master Su is ready to take a break from the game. Looking at Brother Chicken lying on the ground panting from exhaustion. The two guns lying directly on the ground. And the exhausted summon monsters scattered everywhere. Su Chen shook his head. When will these guys learn from themselves and maintain inner peace, no matter how busy they are? How can such a mess be appropriate? Thinking of this, Su Chen stood up from the sofa and put the thermos cup containing wolfberry water back into his backpack. These are made by daily life players and can be bought very cheaply. Since they are not combat items, they are not expensive unless they are luxury goods made by some high-level monsters. Those are luxury goods. Just when Su Chen was about to log off, Ju Lian's message came over. Seeing the content of the message, Su Chen smiled. He directly added Cha Ming's friends. For negotiations, it is more convenient to use video calls directly. Hello. I am Ju Lian's cousin. When we first met, Cha Ming was relatively restrained and didn't say anything inappropriate. But judging from the video, this Luo Chiu is really handsome. No wonder he confused that girl Yao Yao. Since you accept cooperation, let's get straight to the point. Su Chen was tired after playing monsters all day. Although he didn't do much, the supervisor was still quite tired. That's okay. Cha Ming was speechless. Originally, she was thinking of using her cousin's relationship to build some connections first. When Luo Chiu asked for a price, he can order less. Since you are the loveless cousin, I will show you my cards. I have a guide for the Hell Tyrant copy. Su Chen didn't bother to waste any more words and went straight to the showdown. Cha Ming was shocked. Although she had guessed it, she still felt a little shocked when she heard Luo Chiu say it herself. Of course, she didn't stupidly ask why Luo Chiu at this level knew such an advanced dungeon strategy. Everyone has their own secrets. If you make others unhappy, there will be no cooperation. What do you want? If I guess correctly, your guide should be a third-hand guide right? Even more than the third hand. I had considered this matter before. And Cha Ming also said that he was ready to lower the price before. What I'm giving you now is third hand. 
Su Chen didn't hide anything and said it directly. What's the price? Cha Ming asked. 100,000 gold coins. Su Chen directly stated his offer. 100,000 gold coins is not a small amount. But it is not a huge amount either. Especially for a first class guild. Cha Ming frowned. As if thinking about something. Have any questions? Su Chen asked calmly. No. I was just wondering why you wanted gold coins. Especially in this situation. Cha Ming was foolish for a moment and expressed his inner thoughts. Do you want to use resources instead? Also, Su Chen's tone was still calm. No, that's not what I meant. Just gold coins. Cha Ming quickly shook his head. At the same time, I also felt that I was stupid just now. Why did I bring this up? Then the deal is finalized. Su Chen directly sent the guide to Cha Ming that he had previously sent to Sunset Guild. Seeing how happy Su Chen was, Cha Ming didn't hesitate and sent the gold coins directly from the mailbox without verifying anything. Thank you very much. We will cooperate with you next time. There was no sloppiness in the transaction between both parties. And Su Chen was quite satisfied with the transaction. Looking forward to our next cooperation. Cha Ming smiled lightly and hung up the call. After receiving 100,000 gold coins from the mailbox, Su Chen didn't keep any of them and sent them all directly to Zhou Jing. Seeing that Zhou Jing was online, Su Chen didn't make a call. It was probably that Zhou Jing was still practicing with the group. I collected all the materials from the list sent to me, focusing on purchasing stone statue flowers. Su Chen marked the material with the largest increase for Zhou Jing, and then went offline. After going offline, Su Chen remembered that he had obtained the enchantment today, and the improvement should be considerable. So I also tried the ability to summon now. Originally, Su Chen thought that the improvement would be just a few more summons. But after waving his hand, Su Chen felt something was wrong. The smoke is too big. When the smoke dissipated, a group of skeleton soldiers almost filled the room. He currently rents a small single room. Su Chen probably counted about 50 skeleton soldiers. Compared with last time, it has increased by about five times. He quickly took it back. I forgot. Since the last time I summoned it, not only is it equipped with additional enchantments, but it is also equipped with an additional mythical glove. Only then did Su Chen think about the gloves. But what makes Su Chen a little unhappy now is that because the room is too small, he can't verify how much his strength has increased. As for going outside, forget it. Being photographed by passersby is fun. Maybe I should buy a big house. No, I can just go to the countryside and build a villa on a hilltop. Su Chen was thinking in his mind. Moreover, Su Chen felt that this idea was becoming more and more reliable. After the game arrives, some resource areas will appear. Now, find a resource area in advance, spend money on it, and build a fortress directly. Sitting on a resource land will at least make you more calm in the initial turmoil. Finding a city founding order above the myth level in the game can directly improve the very high basic defense. And with sufficient resources, you could also upgrade the defensive buildings. Since he couldn't choose to be a straggler, he might as well just establish his own territory. There will be a short period of chaos after the game comes and it is still very important to have a foothold at that time. The cities created by guilds in the new world will not be transferred over. You can only build a city by bringing a city-building order to the real world for use. But Su Chen felt that someone knew this information in advance. Just like the Excalibur Guild and the Sunset Guild. At the beginning of the game, they prepared a high-level city founding order. There are several other guilds like theirs as well. However, most of the guilds were dispersed by the arrival of the game. Even those that survived were developed using very low-quality village builders. There are many channels to obtain city founding orders in New World. But after the game came, almost all channels failed, and it was purely about character. However, it still costs a lot of money to cover the mountain. When thinking about money, Su Chen felt a little stretched. Although I only got 100,000 gold coins, the price of gold coins has gradually stabilized and is not as valuable as it was at the beginning of the game. A simple sum of money is not enough for Baoshan. It is money to build some facilities on the mountain and to do some projects to hide from others. Now Baoshan is not as cheap as it was hundreds of years ago. And since it is a resource area, it is not just an area or a mountain. Wait for this wave of speculation first. And then go to other ways to make money. Su Chen also made a plan. Chapter 44 Level 50 Dark Evolution Time flies and three days have passed. Dragon Court Guild as the top guild alongside the Excalibur guild. It was still under a lot of pressure from public opinion 
after being so many days behind the Excalibur Guild. We should be able to overcome it today. A young man with silver hair said to the middle-aged man sitting in the hall. Hai Long was smoking a cigar with a sullen face. President Fu, why do you look unhappy? The young man said with a smile. What do you think? Seabound Dragon said angrily. The young man in front of him was invited by him with a lot of money. And he was nicknamed Gushu Tianchi. As a result, in the first battle after I came back, I fell behind others in the dungeon progress. If Tianji had been replaced by his other subordinates, he would have been scolded at this time. Does the president think that you are lagging behind others? Tianji was not annoyed, but asked with a smile. I endured Sunset's first pass, and I endured Excalibur's close second. Even Guanlan's gang was ahead of us. The seabound dragon finally became dissatisfied. In the past few days, another guild has been added to the clearance rankings, and that is the Guanlan Guild. This is the first time that the top three records have been occupied by more than one non-top guild. If I say, we are the first to pass, will you feel better? President? Tianji still said with a relaxed smile. What do you mean? Hearing Tianji's words, Hai Long frowned. Of course he knew what Tian Chi was capable of. Otherwise, he wouldn't have used the sky-high price contract to attract Tian Chi to join. Moreover, he also promised that the heavenly ruler would have the power to be less than one person in the guild and more than 10,000 people. If this were not the case, if it were other subordinates, Sea Binding Dragon would not have the patience to talk nonsense with him. They do not rely on their own abilities, including the Excalibur Guild. Tianchi raised the corner of his mouth. Obviously he had guessed something. You mean, someone from their guild is helping them? Sea Binding Dragon is not a mediocre person. Hearing what Tianji said, he also reacted. Indeed, this is indeed very strange. A first-class guild surpasses them. And it can be said that there is some opportunity or luck to find some key. But the second first-class guild was also ahead of them. And something was wrong. At this time, Tianji took out a rubbing. President, please take a look first. Tianji said with a smile. See Binding Dragon was a little confused. But took it and took a look. This is, after seeing the above content, See Binding Dragon was a little shocked and speechless. Yes, this is the guide for the Tyrant of Hell. And I have verified that it is true. Tianchi smiled. And then said, but I didn't use this strategy. Because according to the original strategy one set, we could have passed this dungeon today. See Binding Dragon frowned. No wonder Tianji said that they were the real first pass. If it weren't for this guide, they would indeed be the first pass. You should have found out who did it. Hailong said in a low tone. He knew that since Tianchi could come up with a strategy, he must have information about the person behind it. The man did some tricks to hide his identity. But I still followed the clues and found out that it was a player named Luo Chio who was selling strategies everywhere. Tianchi said with a chuckle. Luo Chio? Why haven't I heard of this guy? See Binding Dragon frowned. He had a busy day. And the low-level copy recorded this kind of thing. And he didn't bother to pay attention. He broke two low-level dungeon records in a row a while ago. Rumor has it that he broke it with a novice weapon. However, the screenshots that were rumored to be fake were also fake. It was just a coincidence and someone had mistakenly admitted it. Kienji can be considered to have investigated clearly. But his level is too low. I guess there is some power behind him. But the power behind him is very mysterious, and I haven't investigated it yet. After talking about the results of the investigation, Kienji also expressed this view. In this case, there is no need to touch him first. Let's investigate the forces behind him first. See Binding Dragon felt a little irritated, as another mysterious force appeared from nowhere. There is no need to worry too much about the president. I guess the power behind him is a bit special, and not very strong. Can't you said with a smile. This is also his biggest gain. According to my investigation, the stone flower, the main material needed for the hell neutralizing ointment in this guide, has been purchased in advance and is out of stock. What's particularly coincidental is that every time a copy of the guide is sold, the volume of stone flower sales will increase. Tianji's smile was a bit sinister. Are you saying that it's hard for the forces behind him to even get money? See, Binding Dragon also heard it. The other party's operation is obviously speculating. Speculating is not the key. The key is that the other party clearly wants to speculate, but cannot afford the money to do so. Speculators also need gold coins from selling guides to complete the operation. I leave this matter to you. Try your best to win over. When the sea binding dragon said this, he paused, if it can't be used by me, then destroy it. After saying that, 
Ilong also left directly, leaving Kanji alone. Kanji showed a sly smile. That's exactly what I meant. Kanji's eyes narrowed slightly, making calculations in his mind. He was willing to assist Seed Binding Dragon because he took a fancy to Seed Binding Dragon's ominous character, which allowed him to use his hands and feet. Compared to Wuing Luochio, Kianji prefers the latter. The brain of the Longting Guild only needs him to do it. So even if Luochio has some ability, he still has to obey his orders. Crook Village Deep in the demon-infested village of Crook, there is a deck chair with an umbrella, and Suchin is lying on it to rest. There are several small stones around to protect him. There are also people who feed fruits and fans nearby. A flash of white light flashed. Finally reached level 50. Suchin spit out the seeds. Stood up and stretched his muscles. In addition to the previously enslaved monsters. Three more have been added in the past three days. Name, the Wandering Hunter. Variety Demon. Level 60. HP, 25,000. Level Gold Boss. Name, Corrupted Demonic Bear. Variety Demon. Level, 58. HP, 28,000. Level Gold Boss. Name, Violent Fire Demon. Variety Demon. Level, 55. HP, 20,000. Level Gold Boss. The skills were all relatively general. So Su Chen didn't pay much attention to them. Mainly because I haven't encountered any special monsters in the past few days. And I'm too lazy to run around. So I upgraded peacefully in Crook Village. It was impossible to waste the daily gift of souls. So I just grabbed some ordinary bosses. Of course, if other players knew about it, they would be so angry that they would delete their account. I'm at level 50. And I don't know if there are any new inherited skills. Suchin also looked at his own panel. Player, Luochio. Occupation, God of the Dead. Level 50. HP, 6388. MP, 6700. Strength, 509. Intelligence, 875. Stamina, 398. Spirit, 905. Physical Defense, 8605. Magic Defense, 7903. Inherited Skills, Summon Ordinary Skeleton Soldiers. Soul Gift. Dark Mark. Dark Evolution. Dark Evolution. After your skeleton army has killed the same type multiple times, it can record the opponent's template. When the next skeleton army evolves, you can select the template for functional evolution. Chapter 45 Millions of Skeleton Soldiers Descend on Hijia Town. There is actually one more inherited skill. Su Chen looked at this skill description and thought for a while. If he understood correctly, that template could only be obtained by killing skeleton soldiers. At the same time, the evolution of the skeleton soldier should refer to the time when the light quantity is consumed to start the next stage. But now, he has no skeleton soldiers and no template. Therefore, if you summon the skeleton soldiers to evolve this time, you will not be able to enjoy the dark evolution. So you can only wait until next time. Looking at the messy crook village and a group of summoned beasts, Su Chen couldn't help but sigh in his heart. We are really powerful. Although he had been idle for the past three days, to gain experience. Regardless of the fact, he was still working very hard. Start evolution. At this time, Su Chen also waved his hand gently and activated the second stage of skeleton soldiers. In the original skill bar, the summon ordinary skeleton soldier became summon heavy skeleton soldier. After the evolution was successful, Su Chen first took a look at the new skills. Summon heavy skeleton soldiers. The initial summon is 1 million heavy skeleton soldiers. The level is the same as the summoner's current level. It can be consumed and upgraded. The upgrade condition is to consume 1 million heavy skeleton soldiers. And the next level is 2 million heavy skeleton soldiers. Skeleton soldiers. Is the next level just an increase in quantity? I don't know if it counts as dark evolution. Su Chen was a little confused. But regardless of all that for now, let's take a look at the attributes of the new heavy skeleton soldiers. This time I didn't summon too many. I just summoned a few hundred. Let's take a look at the specific attributes of the units first. Name, Heavy Skeleton Swordsman. Level, Level 50. Limit Life Limit, 5080. Maximum Strength, 100. Strength, 380. Agility, 100. Spirit, 100. Endurance, 300. Movement Speed, 100. Attack Attack Speed, 150. Skills, Heavy Attack. Sweep, Slam, Rage, Whirlwind. Name, Heavy Skeleton Wizard. Level, Level 50. Limit Life Limit, 3700. Maximum Strength, 100. Strength, 100. 
Agility, 100. Intelligence, 360. Endurance, 200. Movement speed, 80. Attack attack speed, 100. Skills, Dark Curse. Soul Bash. Explosion Mark. Dark Spear. Charged Arrow. Name, Heavy Skeleton Gunner. Level, Level 50. Limit Life Limit, 3600. Maximum Strength, 100. Strength, 298. Agility, 260. Intelligence, 233. Endurance, 260. Movement Speed, 230. Attack Attack Speed, 300. Skills Shooting. Firing Time. Hunter Mark. Sprint. Firepower Increase. After a casual look, Su Chin was surprised by the heavily armored skeleton soldiers. The skills are all equipped with five skills as standard, and not all of them are elementary skills, but generally have mid-level skills. Su Chin even saw a sniper with advanced skills, but it only has two skills. One is Eagle Accuracy to increase accuracy, and the other is Advanced Skill Burning Sniper, which can greatly increase damage. It's also that if one's own family beats one's own family, faith will be lost. Otherwise, Su Chin really wants to see the gunman and the two guns fighting. This kind of weapon should be considered a rare one. I summoned hundreds of skeleton soldiers, but I only saw one skeleton soldier with a big sniper. But with millions of people, no matter how rare it is, you should be able to form a small team. It's a bit outrageous that skeleton soldiers can use firearms, but since they are called heavily armed skeleton soldiers, it is reasonable to have firearms. Su Chin smiled. New World is a world where magic and martial arts technology develop in many directions. There are still many indigenous existences such as dual gun demons. At this time, Zhou Jing made a call. Lao Luo, you've made a lot of money. The stone statue flowers have tripled recently. And other materials have also tripled. Do you want to throw them away? Zhou Jing's excitement was palpable. This is where it is. It's only three times. Triple it again, and then tell me. Su Chen said calmly. Ha uh ha. -huh. I've never seen the world before. Aren't I too excited? Zhou Jing chuckled. He listened to Su Chen for all his own property and chose stud. Of course, the majority belongs to Su Chen. Su Chen has been selling guides recently and made a total of about 500,000 gold coins. You do whatever you need to do. And then you just wait and it's okay. Su Chen waved his hand. Okay, then I'll get to work first. With that said, Zhou Jing hung up the call. Seeing Zhou Jing's appearance, Su Chen couldn't help but smile. It's time to leave here. The monster deep in Crook Village was only level 70. As he reached level 50, it was time to move his position. The army of millions was also hungry and thirsty. Hygia Town. This town was founded by the Hygia Guild. And the town was named after the guild. They were not a guild established during the server opening stage. And they missed the best period. Chairman Shang Yun is a veteran in running a business guild. But he also missed the opportunity because he did not settle in New World immediately. The so-called business guild is the leak cutting guild. They have a fixed team of people who are free to play various games. Especially games that often open new servers. After running the guild, if there are official rewards, go get them. If there are no rewards, just sell ads or even resell the guild. Most of the members of the guild, to them, are the leaks that help the guild upgrade. It took a lot of effort to establish some sense of belonging to the guild. But in the blink of an eye, the president and all the senior leaders were replaced. However, although they are just cutting leaks, they can often run the guild and still have certain abilities. The president, Shang Yun, is a master of success. With his outstanding eloquence, he actually managed to attract investors who were willing to invest in their new world. But now, they are still a subpar guild, which makes the financial owner a little impatient. At this time, two guild patrol players were chatting. I feel that our president is spending money day by day, but nothing is actually used. This town has spent more money than others on construction and is not as good as other people's villages. One of the players is a little worried about the current development of the guild. Didn't you hear what the president said? We spent 300 million in vain. If we really want to seriously build a guild and take 1 billion, isn't it just a joke? Another player retorted. However, I feel that our guild is not only a development problem, but our treatment is also quite poor. The player asked a new question. Haven't you heard our president tell his past stories? He even gave away 1 million to the person who betrayed him. If he followed the president well, wouldn't it cost several hundred million? The other player obviously attends lectures frequently. 
seeing what the player who often listened to the class said. Even honest people doubted whether they were really thinking wrong. At this time, a huge black cloud slowly enveloped Hijia Town. Chapter 46 Those skeletons are weak chickens. What is that? Is it going to rain? The two looked at the sky, a little confused, as if to answer their questions. The world announcement soon sounded. World announcement. Hijia Town was attacked by the army of the god of the undead, triggering a special event to defend Hijia Town. Hijia Town entered a combat state. Players in this town are not allowed to go offline. Players offline characters are still in the game and cannot leave through the teleportation array. Please work hard to guard Hijia Town. And if you fail, you will get the debuff gaze of the undead god. Gaze of the undead god, your damage to the undead is reduced by 30%. And the undead's damage to you is increased by 30% duration until you defeat the undead god. Players who were busy in Hijia Town couldn't help but look outside. The scout professional climbed up to the watchtower and the sight in front of him stunned him. Boom! 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 Countless skeleton soldiers in the sky marched in a unified pace, making a huge sound with every step they took. Skeleton soldiers? All! All! The scene was so spectacular that he lost his ability to organize language. Moreover, the orderly pace and well-defined formations made people feel more oppressive. The other side? Shang Yun had just finished the conversation with the financial owner, and judging from his expression, he was a little dissatisfied. This bitch is getting smarter and smarter. And it's hard to defraud money anymore. Shang Yun felt a little irritable. Although he is a member of a low-level guild and earns more than the president of a second or third-rate guild, there is always a time when leaks wither. Just at this time, the world announcement sounded. What's going on? Shang Yun was stunned when he heard this. Suddenly he remembered that the god of the undead seemed to have attacked Ban Yu Town before. Come and hack my little place. Shang Yun was a little panicked. Although Hijia Town and even Hijia Guild are just tools for him to cut leaks. But this is the guy he eats with. If you don't have feelings, you don't have feelings. You have to have a good meal. But after calming down, Shang Yun thought about it again. The god of the undead seems to be a weakling. At this time, he received a message from the game system. It has been detected that you are the mayor of Hijia Town. Now you have the right to forcefully recall all situations in Hijia Town. As well as an opportunity to ask for help cannot exceed one-tenth of the total population of Hijia Town. Upon seeing this reminder, Shang Yun became more confident. Recall all Hijia Town players. Send for help. Shang Yun didn't care about so many, and just used two together. On the World Channel. Isn't this God of the Dead annoying? He's here again. Haven't you been beaten enough last time? But what kind of place is Hijia Town? Why have I never heard of it? I just checked. It was built by a small guild that is not popular but it is still better than a novice town. I didn't even want to run over and watch. Compared to the excitement last time, not many people paid attention this time. After many people saw it, they just ignored it and did whatever they were supposed to do. World announcement. The mayor of Hijia Town asks for help. Click agree to join the battlefield. After clicking, the success rewards and failure penalties are the same as those of the citizens of Hijia Town. Current number of people joining. Zero out of 500. Uh -huh. I might as well go and see the excitement. Watching the excitement. I also ordered it. It's a pity that the god of the undead will not come. Otherwise we would just start a group to grind. Current number of members. 35 slash 500. After the number of people quickly reached 35. The growth became very slow. The reward last time was increased by one level. But if you fail. You will have a permanent negative status. I don't think it's worth it. I don't think it's necessary. After all. There are so many of them. And the Sunset Guild Sledgehammer almost overturned last time. Is there a possibility that Hijaw Guild cannot hold on? Most people are quite rational. Does anyone still remember me? I am Swayphone who did the live broadcast last time. I have already sent it to the live broadcast. The room number of the Crocodile platform is 2356750. Everyone is welcome to join us. In addition to him, there were also some of his water friends who helped him check his room number. It turns out that last time, I started a live broadcast with Sui Fong. I felt the traffic password. Just from that live broadcast, he earned tens of thousands. And he also accumulated a few water friends. Having tasted the sweetness, Sui Fong stopped being a gangster and transformed into an anchor. But that sweetness was just a taste. After that incident, the traffic evaporated directly. This time, he seized the opportunity. Without even thinking about it, I just clicked agree and teleported to Hijia Town. 
live in Hijot Town. Let's see how masters from all walks of life kill weak skeleton soldiers. This time Sway Feng's title was also very popular. In addition, there are still many people who are curious about the situation in Hijot Town. But at the same time do not want to take the risk of going there to see it. As well as passers-by who are purely curious. Immediately, the popularity of the live broadcast room also skyrocketed. Directly catching up with many big anchors. I was the one who broadcast live in Banyu Town last time. I wonder if you still remember me. Swayfong smiled and said H, Lo, and continued talking without stopping. Do you think those skeleton soldiers are scary? In fact, he is a weakling. Swayfong started to explain based on his last experience. Barrage, stop bragging. Go down and kill a hundred of them. And I'll spawn rockets for you. Seeing this barrage, Swayfong didn't want to pay attention to it. But looking at the barrage, the membership level is very high. Based on his understanding of this platform, this boss has at least paid hundreds of thousands. Then thank the boss in advance for the rocket. Swayfong smiled and then raised his sword. The gate to Hijia Town was closed at this time. But Sway Fong came prepared to wait for this opportunity. He directly took out a noose and slipped down from the city wall. The city gate cannot be opened at any time. The last time I was able to go out was because the NPCs were preparing to attack. In Hijia Guild, except for a few hired NPCs, most of them are players. Brothers, I'll hide first. Wait until they get close. And watch me kill these weak skeletons. Sway Fong was not arrogant and rushed over directly, but chose to hide. Anyway, his level has already started to change. And it's not worth much. It's not a loss to change it to a rocket once. The rockets are on the one hand. But the key is that the program is effective. Which is very profitable. After saying that, Sway Fong lay down in a bush and stopped moving. Only sticking his head out to broadcast the situation live. At this time, the war officially started. Shang Yin personally took the command position. This battle is to protect the tools for cutting leaks. At the same time, after completing the task, Hijia Town's name will become more famous. He doesn't seek to attract experts or even ordinary veterans. And he doesn't need those veterans either. As long as he can attract more new leaks. That would be the best. Chapter 47 We Were Abused by Weak Chickens Shang Yun took a look at the foreign aid. There were only a few dozen of them. Most of them just watching the fun and not listening to his orders. But thinking that those skeleton soldiers were just weaklings. Shang Yun didn't pay much attention. Entering the range of the archers. Bows and arrows attack first. Shang Yun saw the skeleton soldiers coming and shouted directly. The range of bows and arrows is usually longer than that of magicians. Unless they are magicians with special skills. Or those top master magicians have various blessing skills. Suddenly, various long-range attacks were launched towards the skeleton soldiers. Shang Yun originally thought that based on the situation last time, no matter how hard this round of attacks continued, tens of thousands of skeleton soldiers could be wiped out. But after getting closer, the skeleton soldiers in front raised their shields. And they also have skills that make their shields glow with a faint white light, strengthening their defense. The players in Hijia Guild who are above level 100 only account for less than 20% and the majority are below level 100. After all, their guild had a poor start, and it looked like a guild with no future. This small group of level 100 players are all paid high salaries by Shan Yun and come to the guild to support their appearance. Even someone like Shou Jing can earn a high salary if he is willing to work as a gangster in Haijia Guild. This is how much the first players were worth, but the high salary is not for nothing. There will be contract restrictions, and you often have to help the guild with things, so you have very little time to upgrade yourself. Therefore, generally not those who can't get along, but veteran players who have a little bit of pursuit will not join this kind of guild. Just like Shou Jing. Even Zhou Jing is relatively short of money, but he has never thought of joining such a guild to earn wages. Once you join a guild like this, half of it is basically useless. Those skeleton soldiers holding up their shields directly resisted most of the attacks. After the whole round, the skeleton soldiers suffered very little losses. There may only be about two or three thousand, which is just drizzle to an army of millions of skeletons. This scene was also broadcast live. Hold the grass. Who said these skeleton soldiers are weak chickens? I was too far away to see clearly just now. Did you notice that the equipment of those skeleton soldiers seems to be better than last time? Needless to say, I really don't think these skeleton soldiers look stronger than last time. At this time, several rounds of bow and arrow attacks were over and the magic group finally started to take action. Colorful magic was thrown towards the skeleton army. 
compared with the attack of bows and arrows. The damage of magic is larger, but the damage is relatively limited. Ridiculous. Why do I feel that Hijia Town is about to be destroyed? The skeleton soldiers have become stronger, but in fact Hijia Town is not much stronger than Half Moon Town. If the long-range consumption only has this effect, what else is there to do when we wait for a blade fight? Most of the people in the live broadcast room are not veteran players, but they have been playing for several months so they still have some discernment. At this time, the camera trembled slightly. Why is the screen shaking? Anchor, please don't move. Uh-huh. Have you forgotten what the anchor said just now? I had forgotten that the anchor was going to kill hundreds of skeleton soldiers. He must be trembling with fear after seeing this situation. Sui Fong really regretted it at this time. If he had known that the situation had changed, he would not have jumped down. Sui Fong wanted to go back the way he came. But when he looked back, he saw that the rope he had just come down from had been cut directly. After all, if this kind of rope is left, there might be skeleton soldiers climbing up along it. Sui Feng's live broadcast lens is head mounted. At this time, Sui Feng's sight was obviously discovered by the live broadcast room. Aha! Uh -huh. The anchor got scared and wanted to go back, but found that the rope had been cut off. It's getting closer and closer, and it seems like Hijia Town can't hold on any longer. Anyway, if you can't hold it anymore, you have to hang up a few more times. Don't be afraid to fight. The barrage in the live broadcast room is also very active. But Suifong couldn't laugh. Like Suifong. Who couldn't laugh out loud. There were others who teleported over to watch the fun. What a broken guild. It's too weak. I thought of one thing. We have to settle the failure penalty with the people in this guild. Wouldn't it be impossible to defeat undead monsters in the future? I'm so mean. I'm just trying to get a hammer reward but I still have to waste my experience. Those who were teleported in were almost crying at this time. At this time, Shang Yun's head was covered with cold sweat. Who said these skeleton soldiers are weak? Only more than 10,000 skeleton soldiers have been consumed until now. When the boundless sea of skeletons rushes to the city gate, will it blow up the city gate in a matter of minutes? However, before Shang Yun could think more, he suddenly felt a dangerous aura. Instinctively, he hit quickly. Taking a closer look, it turned out to be a bow and arrow. It turns out that at this time, the skeleton archers were within range and started to fight back. One or two skeleton archers are not scary. But what is scary is that hundreds of thousands of archers attack at the same time. Even if one drop of blood is hit, it can kill 100,000 blood in a second. What's more, the now level 50 skeleton heavy armed archer also comes with the attack of bow and arrow skills. It's not a matter of a drop of blood. Basically many of them barely break through the defense. As long as the defense is broken, the terror of the skeleton soldiers is truly revealed. In just one attack, dozens of players on the city wall fell. This was scary enough. But not long after, the shooting range of skeleton mages and wizards was also within range. Another round of bombing. This time, Hygia Guild lost more than 200 people in one round. Although players can be resurrected, the experience that should be lost will still be lost and it will take some time to resurrect. Some players start paddling directly after running for the second time. Some people even hid behind the city wall and never came out. He would rather do nothing than make a mistake. Everyone, get up and run over if you are resurrected. We must protect our city, Shang Yun said emotionally. But this was no more effective than his usual speeches. Now everyone could see that it was difficult to hold Hijia Town. It's better to hide and lose less experience. Especially those players who are over 100 levels. Their experience is even more precious. And they are all veterans. To put it bluntly, they are just mercenaries of Hijia Guild. The contract was a contract. And they didn't escape. But the other party was so powerful. It didn't say in the contract that they should be given free money. If these level 100 players tried their best for the guild, they might be able to consume an additional 100,000 or so skeleton army. But now they have lost all suspense. Only those relatively new players, who were fooled by Shang Yun, were still fighting for the guild. Veterans all know what this guild is like, with no sense of belonging at all. If you can, just mix. If you can't, just run away. Chapter 48 Reversal? The inferior cannon exploded. World Channel. Shang Yun looked at the army of skeletons getting closer and closer, and became anxious. Come to Hijia Town to help me. Those who are above level 100 will be given an appearance fee of 2,000 gold coins. Please help me resist the army of the undead god. This may be the key to opening the expansion pack. 
Shang Yan also took a break from his busy schedule and shouted something on the world channel. There's also an appearance fee of 2,000 gold coins. A permanent debuff plus experience loss. Are you kidding me? I just watched the live broadcast. And this guild is basically useless. It's already 2,301 years old. How come there are still guilds where more than half of them are newbies? I met Shang Yan before when I played the game, Myth. He was a business guild owner. I guess he brought the business guild style to this game. Those who deceive have deceived themselves. When Shang Yan saw the situation on the world channel, he simply turned off the world channel. By the way, I also have a crystal cannon. Shang Yan suddenly remembered this matter. Speaking of which, crystal cannons are generally equipment only equipped in big cities. Some guild members feel that the guild always spends money in vain. And this is one of them. A rundown town on the edge. When the infrastructure is very poor, why should we build a crystal cannon? Not to mention anything else. The crystal cannon is just a cannonball. And each one is worth tens of thousands of gold coins. Shang Yin really has no intention of engaging in city defense. At that time, he was purely trying to get more money out of the funder. At that time, he was fooled. Repeatedly emphasizing the importance of city defense and adding various sneaky concepts. It seems that if you don't buy this crystal cannon, the guild will go bankrupt soon. But to buy this crystal cannon, Shang Yin also made a civic cat in exchange for the prince with the merchant who sold the cannon. When the investor accepted it, it was a real crystal cannon. After the sponsor accepted it, he secretly replaced it with a low quality crystal cannon, which was similar in appearance. When it comes to viewing attributes, Shang Yin has also changed it so that only the president can view it. Shang Yin also quickly summoned the crystal cannon. In addition to the cannon, 20 rounds of artillery SH LS were stored. Of course, the SH LS are also inferior, but there is no difference in appearance. Boom! A huge explosion sounded in the middle of the skeleton army. After the crystal cannonball exploded, countless crystal fragments bloomed towards the surroundings with super lethality. This one shot caused about 50,000 losses to the skeleton army. Originally, the popularity of the live broadcast room had begun to decline, and everyone felt that there was no suspense anymore. This crystal cannon reignited the live broadcast room. Hold the grass. How could a small town on the edge have such a powerful weapon as a crystal cannon? This is awesome. Our guild has all upgraded to a small city, but none of them have crystal cannons. The turning point has come. With crystal cannon defense, these skeleton soldiers may not be able to break the city. This shot also gave Shang Yin confidence. One shot. Another shot. Three consecutive artillery fires caused considerable losses to the skeleton army. Like last time, Su Chen was also in town. In a situation like this, you might be discovered if you hide in a corner, but you won't be discovered if you act openly and openly in the town. After all, there are still dozens of outsiders in the town, not all of whom are from Haijia Guild. Su Chen's appearance did not surprise anyone. Man, you guys are really awesome at growing this thing. Su Chen also chatted with people from Haijia Guild next to him. It seems that we have misunderstood the president. We have always said that the president spends money everywhere. But now it is of so much use. Obviously, the person from the Haijia Guild was also restrained by this move. Shang Yin also showed his experience and style. The number of the skeleton army is decreasing visibly to the naked eye. Misunderstanding cleared. Some guild members, who had originally questioned Shang Yin now felt that they had misunderstood the president. But when Su Chen looked at the crystal cannon, it seemed to be changing color. Why did it feel a little strange? He had no intention of stopping Shang Yun. Anyway, he needed to consume these skeleton soldiers to evolve. But he always felt that something was getting more and more wrong with Shang Yun's crystal cannon. In the live broadcast room, this Hygia guild is too rich. A small town with crystal cannons is such a luxury. I don't know why but I suddenly want to go to Haijia Town to receive the reward. It seems that the channel is not closed now. I won't watch the live broadcast anymore. I will go to Haijia Guild immediately. At this time, some wallflowers began to teleport to Haijia Town. After arriving, they first looked at the cannonballs next to Shang Yun, and there were more than a dozen stacked up to form a hill. This gives people an inexplicable sense of security. Shang Yun was also in a state of excitement, forgetting that he originally purchased inferior cannons and SH. LS. Another cannonball fired. The expected explosion did not come. Nor did it cause any damage to the skeleton army. It's actually normal to have an occasional squib. An old bird came over and reassured everyone. Yeah. It's normal to have an empty shot occasionally. 
Others also nodded. Only the smile on Shang Yun's face disappeared. And he suddenly remembered something. He was shaking a little when he picked up the next cannonball. Fight it out! Misfire again. Everyone, comma. Two rounds is normal. Right? Someone said something softly. But no one spoke. Shang Yun swallowed and picked up the third cannonball. Fight out. Squib again. Shang Yun finally remembered what he had agreed with the artillery dealer in order to prevent the financial owner from inspecting it. Put the good ones at the top and the bad ones at the bottom. Just now, he had been shooting only the upper SH. LS. But now all the SH. LS were left were the top SH. LS. Then, there were two more shots in succession. All squibs. Su Chen saw that something was really wrong with the gun. Its color was turning red. And it had already slipped away. Boss, the skeleton soldiers are approaching the city. A team leader from the Haijia Guild said to Shang Yun. Don't make any noise. Shang Yun roared angrily and fired another cannonball. Boom. This time it exploded. But the crystal cannon exploded. Even though the crystal cannon is of poor quality, the firepower of the explosion is not weak at all. He directly defeated level 122 Shang Yun in seconds. Also killed in seconds were most of the main forces on the city wall and those watching the battle. It's over. Su Chen, who was in the distance, thought to himself as he watched the explosion on the main city gate. Soon, the city gate exploded. At this time, those people had just come back from resurrection. As soon as they arrived, they fought hand to hand in the small town. Level 50 skeleton soldiers may still be a little difficult if they are skeleton soldiers with ordinary bone weapons. But these fully armored skeleton soldiers are not at all elite. The difference between them is almost the difference between ordinary monsters and elite monsters. One million elite monsters. This is simply outrageous. Chapter 49 The city is broken. Success master got beaten. Of course, being bombarded by the crystal cannon still caused damage. Now there are only more than 600,000 skeletons left in the army. However, the more than 600,000 skeleton soldiers are still not something that the Hijia town players can stop. The resurrected people were immediately besieged by the heavily armored skeleton soldiers. In other words, Shang Yun's ultimate move caused damage to 5 or 6,000 skeletons. And the other people combined were about the same amount as him. At a loss of more than 10,000 yuan, these people were directly killed again. If they were willing to fight harder, they could still fight tens of thousands of skeleton soldiers without any experience. However, after being killed this time, many people just started to move away and stopped running. Shang Yun also knew that the situation was over. And he was already thinking about what to do next. After the skeleton army killed all the players, it destroyed all the resurrection points under Su Chen's instructions. In this way, even if Haijia Town still has Lung Tu Qing who wants to defend the town, it will not work. After the resurrection point is destroyed, you can only resurrect in other towns. At this point, including the live broadcasters, there are no players in Haijia Town except Su Chen. Su Chen also walked to the core crystal of the town. Boom! Without Su Chen having to do anything himself. The skeleton next to him shattered the crystal with a single blow. After drying up the crystal, all the items in Haijia Town were ownerless. Su Chen didn't hesitate at all and went directly to the Haijia Guild's guild warehouse. There is quite a lot of this stuff. But the quality is too low. Haijia Guild is indeed a business guild that is very good at cutting leaks. In terms of guild welfare, it is simply the worst in the industry. But there are so many things that I can't even fit them in my backpack. Su Chen encountered a problem. Suddenly a question came to his mind. Could skeleton soldiers bring equipment? Hijia Guild has a lot of low-level equipment. Probably to attract new leaks. Su Chen also ordered one of the skeleton soldiers to bring equipment. It turned out to be an iron knife. But Su Chen asked it to pick up a silver-grade knife. And it actually picked it up. It really works. Su Chen was shocked. But then came San Guang. The good stuff is put in the backpack. The bad stuff is directly equipped by the skeleton soldiers. And the other stuff is destroyed. I have to say, it's quite relaxing. World announcement. Haijia Town failed to resist the invasion of the army of the undead. And failed to defend Haijia Town. All players involved in the incident were stared at by the god of the undead. Gaze of the undead god. Your damage to the undead is reduced by 30%. And the undead's damage to you is increased by 30%. Duration until you defeat the undead god. Wow. Hijia Town was smashed to pieces. It's really the rhythm of the expansion pack. Will this siege by the god of the undead become a regular thing? I thought the weakling god of the undead was going to fail again. 
and I didn't even pay attention. Why did you refresh a picture to tell me that the siege had been successful? The Hijia Guild and the Crystal Cannon have failed. So be careful in the next towns. Please don't talk about the Crystal Cannon. I remember that the main force was blown up by the explosion just now. And I want to laugh. I am also in the Crystal Cannon business. And I can honestly say that it is an inferior cannon, and even the SH. LS are inferior. I really wanted to curse. So I just watched the cannon in Hijia Town and teleported it to get rewards. Not only did I lose experience, but I couldn't fight the undead dungeon. Trash Shangyun. Give me back my hard-earned experience. The world channel is extremely lively. Forum. A post on the forum was also very popular. The author of the article is the game guru to peed last time. And he posted again this time. The God of the Dead expansion pack has quietly started. And it is recommended that all major guilds prepare for it in advance. When we were in Banyu Town, I told you about this true god expansion pack. There is no doubt that the god of the undead is definitely at the true god level. There should be a deeper reason why he didn't show up. The skeleton soldier can forcibly deduct one blood at level 1. According to the collected data, it is stronger than a level 50 elite monster. Last time Banyu Town was an NPC town. But since it is an expansion pack, the target must be players. Sure enough, the second time it is a player town. Don't think that the Legion of the Undead God is still very weak. It looks vulnerable to all first class and above guilds. The growth rate has also been seen this time. There is also the standard. High punishment and low reward. I guess this expansion pack may have a plot of a full-scale invasion of the Undead Army. Try not to be affected by that debuff. Otherwise the plot of the expansion pack will be unforgettable. Hold the grass. What P. God said is terrible. This game officially doesn't treat players as human beings. Right? Why release such an expansion pack with high punishment and low rewards? Since the skeleton army will become stronger and stronger, you will probably lose experience if you win. The reward is just clicking the mosquito legs and you won't feel anything. The official people come out and explain clearly. Otherwise we will withdraw from the tour. Whoever planned this expansion pack should be fired. On the other side, Shang Yun also played the game. Because the game cabin prompted that someone was looking for him outside. When Shang Yun opened the door, he found that it was the financial owner, accompanied by several bodyguards. Brother, you are here. Seeing the benefactor coming, Shang Yun didn't panic at all. The town has been completely destroyed. Tell me what to do. The sponsor's face didn't look good. Brother, how much money do you have left quickly? Shang Yun did not panic, but said calmly, How much? I'm going bankrupt now with just a few million. The donor got angry when he said this. He had invested too much money in the town. You should borrow some money quickly. If you can borrow more money after selling your house, you can rebuild the town immediately and make it rich and magnificent. Shang Yun said firmly, Investor, you have no money. Why don't you save your face quickly and borrow hundreds of thousands to organize some activities and invite a few of our alliance guilds? Shang Yun still had a firm tone. Investor? This is to tell your friends that I have stood up again and you have to mobilize those connections again. Shang Yun said it as if it were true and even made the sponsor a little shaken. But this time the sponsor still reacted. He waved to the back. Two bodyguards walked up to Shang Yun with boxes in their hands. Brother, is this money? Don't worry. I will definitely restart the operation for you. When Shang Yun saw the box, a relaxed smile appeared on his face. But when the two bodyguards opened the box, one box contained a long swing stick, and the other one contained a solid steel rod. If I hadn't read the forum, I wouldn't have known you had been fooling me for so long. How about paying me back? The donor pointed to the two boxes and said angrily, I asked you to choose one. Which one do you want me to use to beat you? Brother, if you do this, you will become too small. Shang Yun wanted to continue, but the financial owner got up and kicked him down. Since you don't choose, then I will help you make an adult choice. You want them all? Waving their hands at the same time. The two bodyguards took the weapons in the box and walked towards Shang Yun. Then, there were bursts of screams in Shang Yun's house. Chapter 50 The Guild Was Disbanded New Skills After the financial owner gave Shang Yun a severe beating, he was unable to invest anymore. Since Shang Yun was a guild built specifically on the business guild model, there were no so-called core personnel to rebuild it. The entire guild's upper echelons are all members of Shang Yun. And those with slightly higher levels have signed mercenary style contracts. Contracts are all signed for a short period of time. And the contract here happens to be expiring soon. The valuable things in the guild have been turned into those construction projects. 
Shan Yun usually cheats and builds things that are not useful but are attractive. After reviewing the current assets, the sponsor directly announced the dissolution and sued Shan Yun with a lawyer's letter. Guild information update column. Hijia Guild has been disbanded. There is no world announcement for the establishment and dissolution of guilds, but there is a dedicated subcolumn that is updated. Originally, this was not a big deal. After all, Hijia Guild was just a small, unpopular guild. But due to this incident, the dissolution of Hijia Guild caused a sensation. Look, the Hijia Guild was directly disbanded by this wave. This expansion pack for the God of the Undead is really no joke. It directly destroyed a guild in one go. Don't brag and read the forum. That's because Shang Yun deceived the funder, who happened to be in financial crisis recently. I also saw that Shang Yun was really good at deceiving me. He even deceived me into signing an employment contract with his guild before. Although it is due to the Hijia Guild itself, the army of the God of the Undead is getting stronger and stronger. So I think we still need to be vigilant. The key point is that the army of the God of the Undead attacking the city will directly disable the teleportation array, making it impossible to call for reinforcements. However, in the new world, countless guilds are formed and disbanded every day, and the God of the Undead does not appear frequently. In addition, someone has already revealed that those skeleton soldiers are equivalent to the strength of elite monsters, and their level is only 50. The big guilds are also very busy. Who would prepare in advance for a group of level 50 skeleton soldiers? The intensity of this matter has gradually dropped. Flame Barrier. This place is located in the Chian area, which is a place of war and disputes, and is not an area of main human activity. There is volcanic lava everywhere, and the air is filled with the smell of sparks. Suchin teleported here alone, and the level of Crook Village could no longer satisfy him. In addition, sieges of cities should not be done too frequently as one's own strength is not strong enough to be attacked by others. It is true that being a god of the dead in the midst of strife will only make you stronger. But even if the level 50 god of the undead can summon millions of people, it still cannot change the fact that it is level 50. And now, Su Chen also got what he wanted by attacking the city. There is a skill tree in the guild building facilities. Su Chen directly collected the skill tree by force and could directly choose skills from the skill tree. Evil Flame Technique Fire attacks cause basic attack damage, additional attack power, and have a chance to add flame burning to the target, and continue to lose blood. In addition, using this skill has a chance to enter the blood demon state. In the blood demon state, the target will definitely enter burning state. Finching, increase the character's movement speed. Blade storm, causes a certain amount of damage per second to enemies within a 180 degree fan shaped range in front of itself and its own movement speed is reduced during the release process. Tactical pace, after turning it on, it will increase your dodge to a certain extent and increase your own movement speed to a certain extent. Holy Light Strike, Light Attack. Basic skills cause multiple sections of Holy Light damage, with a certain additional attack power. Because it was collected by force, the skills on the skill tree were damaged to a certain extent. In addition, the level of this skill tree itself is not very good. Su Chen only selected the best 5 skills to learn, and did not learn the other junk skills. The skill he chose was actually not for dealing damage at all, but for triggering the dark mark. He is currently level 50, and it is too slow to deal damage on his own. He can learn better high damage skills as his level and equipment increase. Su Chen learned the 3 multi-stage damage skills without hesitation. The other 2 acceleration skills are also good to make him run faster. There was one thing that Su Chen still felt was a bit outrageous. As an undead, there is no occupational restriction on the theological skills, which is quite logical. But being able to learn even holy light skills is a big deal. Su Qing could imagine that in the future, when his level was high, he would lead a dark type army to fight against the opponent. Is it reasonable to start with a super holy light skill at the beginning? This makes perfect sense. Su Qing felt that perhaps he should have a deeper understanding of the true god. At the level of a true god, the distinction between attributes becomes blurred. Thinking of this, Su Chen no longer struggled with this issue. He did not forget the purpose of coming to the flame barrier. There are few players here. Players over level 100 have already gone to other continents. And the flame barrier is full of level 8099 monsters. And even the top boss in this area can reach level 100. In addition to the environment, if the fire attribute resistance is not enough, blood will be lost almost every minute. Su Chen also just raided a guild warehouse. Even though the guild warehouse was not very wealthy, it was not difficult to build a fire to resist. 
these fire resistance equipment will occupy the respective parts of the original equipment. Unless the main equipment originally comes with fire resistance, you will not be able to kill monsters if you drop the main equipment and bring fire resistance equipment. Su Chen didn't have any equipment to begin with, and he didn't need any equipment to fight monsters. So he piled up fire resistance equipment. Su Chen didn't have the time to get the transitional equipment, so he just relied on robbing the guild warehouse from time to time. Soon, Su Chen discovered a lone monster. Name, Flame Legion Burner. Variety, Demon Type. Level 80. HP Unknown. Level, Elite Monster. Skill Unknown. The Qian area is in a land of war and disputes. And one of the major forces is the Flame Legion, which is also the most widely distributed force in this area. This is just a solitary one. Su Chen now has more than 600,000 skeleton soldiers left. So there is no need to alert the enemy with just one. Su Chen randomly summoned 10,000 skeleton soldiers. Although the burner is level 80. It is 30 levels different from the skeleton soldier. But when a group of skeleton soldiers arrived, every one of them was instantly killed by it. After the skeleton soldiers were promoted to the elite monster level, their defense breaking ability was greatly enhanced. Originally, Su Chen thought that the skeleton soldiers might only be able to forcibly deduct one drop of blood. But in the end, many of them dealt double digit damage. Even the special type of skeleton sniper can actually do hundreds of damage with one skill. The patrolling burner was killed instantly before he even took a fighting stance. Tens of thousands of skeleton soldiers suddenly filled the area.